Where are the Elder Gods, Raiden? <laughs> Their pathetic mortal combat shackles me no longer. <laughs> Toothless worms. My venom spreads. It is the end of all things. Armageddon. Stop! It is done. Your time has passed. He must win. Visions. Your amulet. It is nothing, Liu Kang. The tournament begins. Combatants, I am Shang Tsung. In the coming days, each of you will fight. Some are here of their own volition. Others were brought here by chance. Hey, beautiful. Johnny Cage. Good for you. What? Massive Strike? Citizen Cage? Ninja Mime? None of those ring a bell? Kano. Kano? Wasn't in that one. You participate in the most important Mortal Kombat in history. This tournament, the tenth after nine Outworld victories, will determine Earthrealm's fate. If you defeat all of your opponents, you will face one final challenge. Me. Huh. That old geezer's the final challenge? They might as well give me the belt right now. They do have belts, right? <clears throat> what? How did you... Appearances can be deceiving. Our first combatant will be Mr. Cage. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Who's it gonna be? Reptile. Nice stunt. Who's your agent? Begin! All right, it's showtime! Johnny Cage wins. He got caged. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm so pretty. And I'm taking you down, I'm taking you down, I'm taking you out, I'm taking you out, and I'm taking you out for dinner. <laughs> now for your second challenge, Mr. Cage. Baraka! Hmm, okay. Nice makeup. But is it really necessary? Whoa! 
They will taste your flesh. Johnny Cage wins. Man, I love those blades. My producer has got to meet you. We're doing Tommy Scissor Fists and... Congratulations, Mr. Cage. Now, finish him! Finish him? <laughs> yeah, right. Kill him! Whoa, 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 wait a second. I'm not gonna kill anyone. Very well. The tournament will resume at dawn. W what, that's it? Really? Now, where'd that hottie go? You fought well. Thanks. Nice hat. You should be more respectful of Lord Raiden. He is the protector of Earthrealm, the god of thunder. The Look, I don't know what kind of role-playing you guys are into, but count me out. This tournament is more than a chance for personal glory. We are fighting for the very survival of Earthrealm. What are you talking about? Your last opponent was Tarkatan. He was born with those blades. Yeah, those things are real. He represents Outworld. Had you lost, the Emperor Shao Kahn would have come one step closer to physically absorbing our world into his. Outworld, yeah, right, right, right. The Elder Gods created the Mortal Kombat Tournament to give Earthrealm a chance to defend itself. But if we lose this time, Shao Kahn will conquer all. Dun dun dun! Look, guys, I'm an actor. I saved the world for the cameras. If this Emperor is really a threat, call the military. Me? I've got a date with a blonde. Ciao. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Liu Kang. Though he may not yet know it. Triangulating your signal for evac, but it's... There is no island. I'm standing on it. Just lock onto my wrist comm. Understood. Your current status. They have jacks. And if I don't fight in this crazy tournament, they'll kill him. I'm gonna try to- Need help? I specialize in rescuing damsels in distress. <sighs> you again. Listen, I've got serious problems here. I'm in no mood to be hit on by some movie star. Come on. A girl like you shouldn't be wandering around this freak show alone. Look, baby. I can't let you run loose without an escort. Oh! need an escort, and I'm sure as hell not your baby. Johnny Cage wins. Ha <laughs> ha! Not bad for a... girl. Look, sorry about that. I don't need your help. Fine, have it your way. I'll just leave you to your problems. Good on to you. Yeah. <laughs> Now that he softened you up, it's my turn. Not man enough for a fair fight? I don't do fair. Without you. <laughs> SF is on the way. You won't get far. Oh, I got a knack for survival. You, on the other hand, are gonna die here. <laughs> Step away from the lady. Fans think my moves are all wire work and special effects. Truth is, I am the special effects. Johnny Cage wins. Throw that on your Barbie, shrimp. Thanks. No problem. Who is that guy, anyway? His name's Kano. He was an informant in our Black Dragon investigation. Big time arms dealers. Turns out he was their leader, giving us the runaround. A lot of our guys got killed because of him. So that's not a costume? Your actual military? Special forces. Get out. 
So you know about this threat to the world stuff, right? Raiden called in the cavalry. Raiden? No idea who you're talking about. <sighs> Damn. He can't be far. He'll have to wait. I appreciate your help, Cage. Johnny. But right now I've got things to take care of. My CO is locked up on this island somewhere. I have to find him. Jax. Jax, you in here? Oh my god. What did they do to you? Run, girl. Run. Miss Lee. You do not disappoint. I have been expecting you. Let him go! We're not part of your tournament. On the contrary, you are very much a contestant. You will face Sub-Zero of the Lin Kuei Clan of Assassins. Now you will feel death's cold embrace. Sona wins. Flawless victory. Done. We're leaving. Stand in my way and I'll kick your A challenge? <laughs> no. You will not be the one to challenge Shang Tsung. You want some too? Fine by me. Sonya wins. Enough of this. Shield your eyes. What? Shield your eyes. <laughs> Jax, come on, we're out of here. About time. You aided their escape. You allowed them to escape. They will not get far. Come on, Jax, move it. That's an order. Oh, so you're in charge now? Special Forces Command, this is Sonya Blade. Where's that evac? <laughs> Affirmative. Almost home, soldier. By order of Shang Tsung, no one leaves this island. I don't have time for this. Out of my way. <laughs> yes! Sonya wins. Sure don't need any more surprises like them. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Liar. After I get you to base, I'm coming back. Kano's still here somewhere. Your obsession with him is gonna get you killed. I trusted him. Yeah, we all did. But I was the one he used. I think our ride's here. Challenger, Kano. Uh, Pretty boy ain't gonna save you this time. <laughs> Sonya wins. You're coming with me. Kano is not your prisoner. At least help Jax. He needs a medic. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> There she is. Sonia, you all right? Hey, looks like you found him. What's up, Sarge? He's a... Hey, what are you doing? It's okay. He's cool. What? Jax! Seriously, he's cool.
That's amazing. Told you. Turns out he's a god. Thank you, Raiden. Gratitude is unnecessary. I have foreseen events, like memories of my future. They lead me to believe that you are all connected to Earthrealm's fate. What have you foreseen? In my visions, Shao Kahn becomes invincible. He destroys all life in Earthrealm. We will all die. I believe these flashes are a guide to defeating Shao Kahn. But disrupting the flow of time can have serious consequences. I'm not worried. I bet you can win this thing no problem. Unless directly challenged, I cannot participate. What should we do besides standing around looking pretty? For now, the tournament must run its course. All right, then. We're with you, Raiden. will now begin. Scorpion, Spectre of the Nether Realm, resurrected by the sorcerer Quan Chi. Who among you is worthy of this challenge? Where is the Lin Kuei, Sub-Zero? He killed my family and clan. I will have his head. I know it is you, Kung Lao. The Shaolin monks chose Liu Kang to represent your order in this tournament. I am Liu Kang's equal. That remains to be seen. Watch and see. I accept the challenge. Kong Lao. Never mind the Lin Kuei. Now you face a Shaolin. You will regret your impulsiveness. Wins. Flawless victory. You are not yet a warrior. Kung Lao! Listen, when your elders speak, you could not win this fight. I have defeated the challenger, Shang Tsung. I demand Sub-Zero. Demand nothing. Night Wolf! Your aggression is misplaced. What do you know of my. You are not the only one whose people have been victimized. But I have found new purpose in serving the spirits. I do not cling to the past. You no longer seek retribution, you dishonor your kind. I will honor the memory of my fallen. The spirits have forsaken you, Shaman. An impressive start. You waste my time, sorcerer. Restraint, Scorpion. You will fight Sub Zero soon enough. Scorpion, I understand your desire for revenge, but Nightwolf is right. There are other ways in which you may find peace. Sub-Zero deserves death. Defeat Sub-Zero if you must, but do not kill him. I fear his death will give rise to a more treacherous foe. I will have my revenge. Spare Sub-Zero's life, and I will request that the Elder Gods return the Shirai Ryu to the realm of mortals. Understand there are benefits to the Grand Master's plan, but his plan goes against Lin Kuei principles. We are Lin Kuei, Cyrax. We will obey the Grand Master's commands. It means giving up our free will, our souls. It will turn us into Scorpion. Your inferior clan is dead. Soon you will join them. My clan may walk the earth once more. 
A challenge! Scorpion versus Cyrax and Sector! Your obsession with Sub-Zero ends here. Scorpion wins. I will have my revenge, but I will not kill Sub-Zero. Will not. Or cannot. You! The Shirai Ryu are dead. You will suffer as they did. To hell with your clan. No. To hell with you! The Nether Realm. This is where I was reborn. This is where you will pay! wins. I have avenged my family and clan. This is your retribution? Scorpion, kill him. I... I will not. He has been beaten. Have you forgotten? What is this? No. Plan. Your family. Not me. Ouch. Despite my efforts, my vision has come to pass. An unfortunate end, he once defended Earthrealm from the Netherrealm armies of Shinnok and Quan Chi. Scorpion will pay for this. Sub-Zero's fate is his own doing. His own doing? The Lin Kuei have a history of making ruinous choices. Such as the Cyber Initiative. I am among those speaking out against the Grand Master's plan. Surgically transform the Lin Kuei into glorified robots? It kills our intuition, our instincts. Did you speak out against the Lin Kuei's participation in this tournament? We were invited by Shang Tsung. He pays you to kill Earthrealm warriors. Betraying your own realm? I expect better, even from an assassin. My loyalty is to the Grand Master. Victory for Shang Tsung means the end of Earthrealm and the Lin Kuei.
What are you doing? I am not here to fight you. I am assigned to kill Johnny Cage. Shang Tsung no longer has need of you. What do you mean? He is terminating your agreement. And you. Cyrax wins. I need to have a talk with your master. Ugh, this fight is not over. You mean to finish me? You couldn't even stop the actor. Cyrax wins. Now this fight is over. Shang Tsung has turned on me. I need to find out why. Sector, we need to talk. Our host tried to have me killed. You were speaking with the Thunder God. Your indiscretion has jeopardized my plan. Cyrax is Lin Kuei. He will complete his task. We shall see. The next match will be Cyrax versus Johnny Cage. What, me? All right, then. Not everyone gets to rumble with a celebrity. Ready for your beatdown, sunshine? Here it comes! Cyrax wins. That should shut you up. Finish him! I won't kill him! Oh! You were commanded to kill Johnny Cage. You disobeyed. I eliminated him from the tournament. He didn't need to die. You have broken your oath. I used my judgment. The Cyber Initiative will eliminate insubordination. We are not machines, Sector. I chose to serve the Lin Kuei, but I will not surrender my free will. Cyrus wins. Tell the Grand Master I am finished. No one leaves the Lin Kuei. Uh. Combatants, I present this latest creation of Shao Kahn. He is many warriors, their souls fused into one being. Behold, Ermac! is unlike anything you have fought before. Liu Kang, you are the sole Earthrealm warrior to progress to this final stage of the tournament. I am ready. We are many. You are one. We will destroy you. <laughs> Liu Kang wins. Earthrealm will not fall into your master's hands. He is a greater threat than anticipated. I will ensure he does not reach the final challenge. Remember Bo Raicho's teachings. For my vision to be realized, you must not let emotion overpower you. Your visions? What causes them? My future self sent them to me, perhaps to ensure some outcome. Or to prevent one. <gasps> he must win. He must win. Those are my last words before I die. I believe it is you who must win. 
This amulet was forged by the Elder Gods. It cracked here in the present after my first vision. If we choose wisely, the future will be secured and the cracks healed. I trust you will make the right decisions. We must trust in the Elder Gods, Liu Kang. Underestimate me, Shaolin. Liu Kang wins. I am impressed. Do it. Do what? Kill me. Why would I do that? I came to kill you. I have failed my father, my emperor. Shao Kahn is your father? I have disgraced him. You must kill me. I will not. This encounter never took place. You have disgraced no one. I hope we meet again, under different circumstances. It will be Scorpion. I do not fear you, demon. Fighting with Scorpion, the sorcerer Quan Chi. <laughs> As I said, I do not fear you. I pity you. You have done well, but the tournament is not yet over. Goro. What's a Goro? Liu Kang. It has been years since an Earthrealm warrior has progressed this far. But the reigning champion is far beyond your ability. To the lair with you! expect to fight in this tournament but eventually even the Shaolin produce a warrior worthy of the Shogun I know who you are I am ready for you I will give you a warrior's death you can wins it seems the Shaolin trained a warrior greater than the Shogun
Shang Tsung, only one fight remains. Face me in mortal combat. So be it. Round one, fight! <laughs> You failed me! Five hundred years I have waited. Now I must wait five hundred more. My lord, all is not lost. Uh, curse the Elder Gods in their tournament. My I should lord. have taken Earthrealm by force. But I am bound by their rules. Rules that cannot be broken. My lord! Kill him. But what if the rules were changed? Katana. Continue. I do not understand why my amulet is further damaged. He must win. If not Liu Kang, then who? You got me. Not sure anybody could have done what he did. Made Shang Tsung look like a chump. Here to congratulate us on our victory, sorcerer. What? Shang Tsung? You have been revitalized, I see. I didn't realize your master was in the habit of rewarding failure. The Emperor has an offer, Raiden. A new tournament. <laughs> I see no reason to participate in any plan of yours. The Emperor proposes a single tournament to replace the current system of ten. It will be held in Outworld. If Earthrealm does not win, Outworld will absorb it. But if Earthrealm wins, Shao Kahn will abandon his claim to it forever. Give your Emperor my regards.
combat and escape. I now realize what we must do. Ugh. Anybody get the number that... Wait, where's Sonya? Shang Tsung has taken her. We've got to find her. We must follow them. Shang Tsung has made it clear that Earthrealm will be under constant threat, unless I agree to a new tournament. Another vision? Yes. I saw Liu Kang win the proposed tournament. I believe we must attend. But my earlier vision of your victory over Shang Tsung was not the solution I sought. Therefore, this premonition must show an event I need to change. Perhaps he must win refers to another. Hear me, Elder Gods. I accept the terms proposed by Shao Kahn. We go to Outworld. Soon that's the big man himself. The wrestler guy with the cow skull on his head? And why aren't the Kung Fu twins here helping us? I sent Liu Kang and Kung Lao to free their Shaolin masters. I expected Sonya Blade to be here with Shang Tsung. She better not have a scratch on her. Wait, this is a tournament! Ah, the Earthrealm delegation has arrived. And we have a volunteer for first combat. What? The tournament will begin! <laughs> Jackson Briggs, you will face Baraka! Damn you, but... My blade will find your heart. Jax wins. You shouldn't be running with those. Where's Sonya? Tell me, Major Briggs. Do you and she do anything other than rescue one another? Your next opponent will be... What is it? Excellent. It seems I have a pressing matter to attend to. With the Emperor's permission, we will reconvene later. What was that all about? I think we should follow them. You okay? Sonya Blade. She is to be executed. My powers are compromised here in Outworld, but I will be able to transport us near enough to her. Maybe you could try for even nearer next time? Where are we? I will inform you the instant I know. <sighs> Wish this damn tracking device worked in here. This is just like my movie Time Smashers. We were going around and... Give it a rest, to... will you? Making my ears hurt. So what's the deal with you and Sonya anyway? She's smoking hot. It's not like that. I'm her CO. Honey like that under my command? Oh, I... You'll want to stop talking now. But if it's not like that, then you won't mind if I... That's it! Time somebody shut you the hell up! Jax wins. How you like that, Mr. A-Liz? Enough! Jackson Briggs, you will restrain yourself. Yeah, well, I... Someone approaches. Good. Maybe somebody else needs their ass whooped. You looking for something? The armory's restricted. You will leave now. Gonna have to ask nicer than that. Jax wins. Wrong place, wrong time, lady. Feel better? Um, listen, Cage. I... Don't worry about it. Guess we know where we are now, thanks to her. Yes, and where we must go. Let's do it.
Oh, uh, uh, come on, Cage. What is it with your Shokan and underground cesspools? If you had not dishonored yourself by attempting escape, we would not be here in the sewer. Sonia! Guards, stop them! So much for the surprise attack. She is the Emperor's property, human. She's nobody's property. Jax wins. I guess extra arms don't make a difference. You sure have a way with women. You know me. I'm a class act. Thanks. What took you so long? He was busy hitting me in the face. That's weird. I've got two sets of readings, heavy tech signals, both of them. Technology. Then they cannot be of Outworld. We need to confront the source of each signal. We might discover the one whose victory I must ensure. Wait, what about us? What are we, chopped liver? What? Perhaps you are right, Johnny Cage. You will stay close to me. Great, I... Close as a shadow, and twice as silent. Sonya, you're with me. Keeping my eye on you. Raiden, looks like you'll want to teleport yourself about 30 clicks that way. We should stay together, Tundra. Assuming your brother's identity will certainly draw attention. Not all of it welcome. You are right, Smoke. But assuming Bihan's identity is the best way to honor him. Let us proceed then. Sub-Zero. We should separate. Our fellow Lin Kuei will not be far behind once our absence is discovered. If only they had been more forthcoming with the details of your brother's demise. We will find Shang Tsung. He will tell us all he knows. If he killed Bi Han, he will die. Be stillful as the night. And deadly as the dawn. The Emperor was wise to send me here. The Lin Kuei do walk uninvited in his realm. Wise though your Emperor might be, he was foolish to send his housemaid to interfere with Lin Kuei business. I am Kitana, Princess of Outworld, and I deal harshly with sharp-tongued intruders. Smoke wins. Where there is smoke, there is fire. Sleep well, Princess. Toting these, no one in Outworld or Earth Realm can stand up to you. Well done. You may tell your fellow Black Dragon that I am very interested in your merchandise. Shang Tsung. I'll take care of him. No charge. One dead Lin Kuei in a tick. What is it? Smoke wins. Stay down. I would have words with your associate. Tell me what you know of Sub Zero's death. What? Despite his failure at my tournament, I'll wager he was more powerful than you, Lin Kuei. Assuming his form will not give you his skill, shapeshifter. Let us see if smoke can freeze. Smoke wins. Now answer me. What do you know of Sub-Zero? <coughs> what? Smoke. 
did it. You're a cyborg. We are the Lin Kuei. More stealthful than the night. More deadly than the dawn. Smoke wins. I will never submit. There is great energy nearby. Um, Ray Dude? They must not take him. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Raiden. I am called Smoke. Why are you here in Outworld? To participate in a tournament to save Earthrealm. Join us, Smoke. Forgive me, but if Sector was searching for me, he is hunting Sub-Zero as well. Sub-Zero? Call me crazy with a K, but didn't we see him die? The Grand Master intends to turn every Lin Kuei into a cyborg. My friend is in danger. The tournament. I have a feeling your friend will be there. Then let us go. Sub-Zero's soul depends on it. A pity you could not have cooperated. You are ordered to return to the Lin Kuei Temple for assimilation. Cyrex! I am Lin Kuei Unit LK4D4. You will come with me. I am sorry for what they did to you, but I will not comply. Sub-Zero wins. I will face the Lin Kuei when my task is done, not before. The readings were getting stronger and now they're gone. I... Sub-Zero? But... you're dead. I am not the Sub-Zero you speak of. He was my brother. Your... brother? I am only here to learn Sub-Zero's fate. He was killed by someone named Scorpion. Where would I find him? Try the Colosseum. That's where... You have disturbed our regeneration process. Whoa! 
Sonia Blade to command. Sonia Blade to command. Do you read? Sonia Blade to command. Do you read? You have stopped the bleeding. Yeah, but he needs a medic as soon as possible. I must go to the Colosseum. But I need your help to There's get him. There's a portal to... to the south. You can use it to transport yourselves back to Earthrealm. Mother, f that portal better be close. <clears throat> Father, you must kill me. Kill him. Katana, you will join me. Shao Kahn. I challenge Scorpion, the murderer of my brother. You will bring him before me. No one makes demands of the Emperor. Reptile! Wins. Flawless victory. I would kill you, but that is not my purpose here. Your followers hold you in high esteem, Warlord. They fight and die for your amusement. My brother participated in this folly. I do so only to face his killer. And you shall. What is this? You are not Sub-Zero. I am his family and clan. I fight for his honor. He had no honor. And you will die as he did. Sub Zero wins. For my brother. No, you. Who now interrupts the Emperor's tournament? Sub-Zero? No! You cannot save him. Stay here, or they will take you as well. We request that we may return him to our temple for judgment. And what do I gain from granting this bold request? The Lin Kuei's loyalty and service. Very well. He is yours. The flow of time has been changed. My spirit smoked this fate, only to watch this new Sub-Zero fall. No, I will not be turned! Katana! How is it that Earthrealm ninjas brazenly appear before me when my daughter, Princess of Outworld, was sent to intercept them? Father, be I... gone! Katana's faith is a slender reed bent before the storm, if it can be uprooted altogether. Sure, let's go ruin someone else's life.
Is this how you show your loyalty, Jade? Kitana, I... You follow me when I clearly wish to be alone. Then you upbraid me? I will not be scolded like some child. You need to be careful. I have never seen your father this angry with you. You are a princess. He expects more from you than I this. I know what he expects. We will talk later, when you are in more of a mind to listen. Princess Katana, I request an audio. Earth Realmers, you dare approach me. Hey, listen, honey. We don't want to fight, but we will if we must. You will learn respect. <laughs> Katana wins. Shao Kahn wants death to follow combat. I will give it to him. Perhaps Liu Kang was wrong about you. Or perhaps he sensed, as I do, that there is conflict within you. Thanks. Ow. You couldn't have seen that in one of your hot flashes? Something whispers to you that circumstances should be different. That you should be different. You are much more like Sindel than Shao Kahn. But she is dead. My mother is dead, yes. Why do you... You need answers, Katana. I can help you find them if you will trust in me. Go to Shang Tsung's flesh pits. Much will be revealed there. The flesh pits? But I am forbidden to... Yes, you are. And why is that? I don't know. Tell me... You must discover your true path alone. Show yourself, Jade. I know you're following me. Again? Following you still. I know where you're going. I am ordered to prevent you from going there. And why is that? I do not question the Emperor's commands. Katana, please, turn back. I cannot. This path might lead me to the truth. I'm sorry, Jade, but I will not allow you to stop me. Katana wins. I tried to warn you. This is something I have to do. She looks like me. Huh? Sister. Pretty. So fair. Come, let us be a family. You are not my family. You are a monstrosity. Farewell, sister. That is no way to treat your sibling. Despicable swine! Do you think my father will stand for this... These... Abominations you have created here? I am merely perfecting you, princess. As difficult as that might be. Silence! I will drag you before Shao Kahn by your pointed beard! Kitana wins! Get up! You will stand before my father and confess your deeds. Ugh. I would not disturb you, father, if this matter were not of utmost importance. I felt you should know what Shang Tsung has been doing as of late. 
This conjurer has created horrid replicas of me, crossbred with Tarkatan blood. One was alive and attacked me. Well done, sorcerer. You know? You approve? How could you? My own father! I am your emperor! Your father was a weakling Adinian king. I annihilated him while merging his realm with Outworld and took his queen as my wife. If only I had not allowed Sindel to convince me of your worth. But now I have a true daughter. Raiden was right. You have lied to me my entire life. Escort her to the tower. I will make an example of her. Return to the flesh pits. Bring me my daughter, Melina. I failed you, Kitana. Now I will make amends. All of them. That is no toy. It belongs to Shang Tsung. We are finished. Return to your post. Stand aside. I will see Katana. No one enters the tower. You are an excellent guard dog, Baraka. But you must learn to heal. I do not take orders from you. Jade wins. Good boy. Adenians have no loyalty. Blind loyalty is not a good thing as I have learned. You must keep your eyes open to anticipate the finishing blow. What are you talking about? You make it too easy. Clear. No one is allowed in the tower. As you can see, I am here. Here to help the princess escape. You would deny her execution? The only means of regaining her honor? We have very different concepts of honor, Shokan. wins. Not much of a jailer, are you? Now then, your highness, let us see how quickly we can remove these bonds. Jade, I... I am too. Go. Find Raiden. Ask for his help. That should distance me from any pursuers. <gasps> Others pursue. I find. By the gods, you are Melina. You must return with me. There's to be a celebration for my sister. She's going away. Jade wins. I am more of a sister to Kitana than you. I must find Raiden. He is here. Kitana turns away from Shao Kahn, so you attack her rather than join her? This is not Smoke, stop! That is not Katana. You will come no closer. Jade wins. I did not wish to do that. Lord Raiden, I come at the request Lord, of... Lord? I was with Smoke. I thought she was a bad guy. A uh, girl. Guess he turned another one. What's Raiden got that I haven't got? Godlike power? A personality that is not at all like sanding paper? Jerks. Kitana does not have much time. Kitana? Executed? Where is she? Held captive in the tower of Shao Kahn's fortress. I will I'm not pleased with this outcome either, Liu Kang. But there is no time. We must return to the tournament. But you are responsible for her capture! You persuaded her to turn against Shao Kahn! Lord Raiden, we can free her as others fight in our stead and join you thereafter. 
Very well. We will meet you at the Colosseum. I hope your girlfriend is worth Lord Raiden's anger, Liu Kang. Notice that I am ignoring you. Hmm. They must have relocated Katana. We have indeed. We knew someone would come for her. May you join her in death. wins. Be thankful I choose not to spill your tainted blood. Who are you? There is something familiar. Do you need help? Four arms against two is hardly a fair fight. Liu Kang? You have had your match against Liu Kang. Now you will face me! wins. Now if you have any honor left, you will tell us where Katana is. She has been taken to the Colosseum, where she has no doubt been executed. Why? She may yet live. Let us go. There's Katana. I must free her. Not now. Smoke and Johnny Cage have been defeated, and I no longer sense Jackson Briggs or Sonya Blade's presence in Outworld. Despite my doubts as to whether you are Earthrealm's savior, you must fight. But I am not he who must win. Raiden! Put forth a worthy champion. If you can. Perhaps you are meant to be the victor. You will face Shang Tsung <laughs> and Quan Chi. No Earth Realm war can stop this deadly alliance. On that, we agree. Kung Lao wins. It is done! No, Kung Lao. Not nearly so.
win. <laughs> Round three, fight. <laughs> For Kung Lao, the Shaolin, and Earth Realm. have spoken. Earthrealm is free of Shao Kahn forever. But the price of victory was almost too steep to pay. Kung Lao's death is my fault. I encouraged him. Our triumph was not meant to be achieved in this way. I see now. He must win refers to you. But to prevent Armageddon, you needed to defeat Shao Kahn, not Chang Sung. It cannot be. Shao Kahn is dead. Yet the future remains unchanged. Shao Kahn is finished. Melina is his heir. She should rule. Melina? She exists only because of my sorcery. And you breathe because I restrain mine. Emperor! You live! I am not so easily killed. Quan Chi accelerated my recovery. Emperor! I... Not one word. Because of you, Outworld can no longer merge with Earthrealm. There may yet be an alternative, Emperor. Invasion. Uh, invasion? Do you mock me? Sindel's ward prevents me from setting foot in Earthrealm. Have you considered why your wife and Empress chose to betray you in this particular fashion? Of course. But even after millennia, her motives are a mystery. She realized that the safeguards afforded by the Elder Gods through mortal combat are but fiction. She sacrificed herself to give protection the Elder Gods could not. So Earthrealm could not suffer as had Edania. Indeed. I have mastered the spells necessary for her resurrection. Her ward will be nullified, and with it, the barrier that prevents your entry into Earthrealm. I will return her to you, of course. You will find her much more... cooperative. This is a very magnanimous offer. I wish only to serve, Emperor. I am weary of sorcerers, Quan Chi. 
prove your worth. Sindel. Quan Chi? Shao Kahn looks forward to your return. The Emperor. Yes. What of Kitana? Kitana now allies herself with Earthrealm. Then she is no longer my daughter. Take me to Shao Kahn. Yes, Empress. The invasion of Earthrealm can now begin. Seventeen. Eighteen. Come on, call it in. Base, Eagle 2, we count 18. One eight bogey, southbound on Olympic. Roger Eagle 2, out. This is not happening. Not what I was thinking when I swore to protect and serve. What is that? I'm thinking shoot first, ask questions later. Fine with me. me, freak show. Striker wins. <laughs> Spitting? Sticking out your tongue? Bet your mama's real proud. Oh. Come on. We're going street level. We've been compromised. It ain't safe down there. Better there than here. Check her out. What do you think? Friend or foe? Foe. Dressed like that? Definitely foe. Cover me. Hey, what are you doing out here? <laughs> Looking for a new playmate. <laughs> Striker wins. You're coming with me. <laughs> who... Who are you? You all right? Johnny Cage fighting a giant monster? What is this, Time Smashers? That guy just shot lightning from his hands. How'd he do that? No idea. <laughs> Spread out. Give him multiple targets. <laughs> Less ugly when they burn. Striker wins. Never knew I had it in me. Cabal! Base! Eagle 2! No Eagle 2. Need medevac, current position. Cabal is down. Third degree burns. Medevac unit routing to you. What the? Say again? Yeah. Eagle 2, report. The Emperor will have your 
soul. Yeah, come and get it. Striker wins. I think I'll be keeping my soul. I have been searching for you, Curtis Striker. Well, you found me. Who are you? I am Nightwolf. Lord Raiden is gathering Earth's defenders. You are among them. What the hell are you talking about? Raiden leads Earth's defense against these outworld invaders. He is our best hope for survival. Yeah, well, Earthrealm Defender is about ten steps above my pay grade. I see you doubt yourself, even after your victories. Come. Please dispose of litter in the proper receptacle. What? Where is he? Medivac hasn't been here. Perhaps he has gone to find help. Nah, he was way too banged up. Someone took him. Easy there, mate. You've had a rough one. Kano? <laughs> In the flesh. I was... on fire. Burned to a crisp you were. Good thing I found you. Uh, I'm hideous. Shang Tsung's magic healed the rest of you. But your lungs? Eh. Take it off. Can't. It's permanent. What? No mask, no breathing. I'm a freak. Go on, give him a whirl. I don't use those anymore. Yeah, you're all proper police now. The Black Dragon ain't the same without you, mate. You should come back. We're in the money on this war. You sold those monsters their firepower. Guilty as charged. This is your fault. What are you on about, eh? You're here, ain't you? I should be dead. Now you're gonna be. Cabal wins. Now, how do I get out of here? Not so keen on being dead now, are you? How do I get out of here? <laughs> Good luck. No one gets out of Outworld without Shao Kahn say so. Outworld? Shao Kahn? Shao Kahn's a big boss round here. And soon, Earth's new master. Where is he? Don't bother. You can't get near him. No, but I'm guessing you can. What is this? Raiden has killed Motaro. That's him. Raiden. On the throne. You're a right genius, you are. It's no great matter. I will go to Earthrealm to finish Motaro's work. Yes. Shang Tsung. Yes, Emperor. The Empress requires something of you. <laughs> See there. I'm thinking he's a bit much. I can take him. And 
I thought I was a freak. Quan Chi, seal the portal. Let's get it. Time to go. Incredible. This is a side effect of the outworld magic. You are not authorized for portal use. Yeah. Says who? Sub Zero, it is LK520. <laughs> you say that like it means something. As you will soon discover. Cabal wins. <laughs> not as cool as you thought. Why do you turn on your brother, Lin Kuei? That is not my brother. He's machine. I'm human. You do not appear human. Don't let the mask fool you. Cabal wins. Starting to feel like the old days, only faster. Sub-Zero. You have great power indeed, Cabal. Wait. You're the lightning guy. You help Stryker. Stryker, is he- He is safe. He has joined us in the fight against Shao Kahn. We would welcome your aid also. Sub-Zero. That which made him Sub-Zero no longer exists. He is my friend. What they did to him. It is... hideous. You're right. We gotta help him if we can. Sub-Zero? Can you hear me? You should. Sub-Zero. Yes, Smoke. How do you feel? What is it? I remember... the things I have done for Shao Kahn. He cannot be allowed to merge the realms. Aoka, how can Sub-Zero best help us? I do not know. My attempts to alter future events have had negative consequences. Sub-Zero should never have undergone this transformation. Enlisting him may only further divert the flow of time. We need intel, right? Let's send him back to Outworld, undercover. They will be unaware of my defection. I could deceive them. Earthrealm has been destroyed. It will not be missed. <laughs> you will return. You report late. Where is the intruder? I killed him in Earthrealm. He should have been saved for interrogation. He was formidable. I had no choice. Follow me. We must lead a new mission. What mission brings us here? I have scanned your neural net 520. Your neural modulators have been recalibrated. Impossible. The experience has been deleted from your system. Remove your access panel. <laughs> your programming has been corrupted. My soul was corrupted. Now it is cleansed. <laughs> Artificial enhancements are no substitute for the human soul.
Thank you, Sator. Finally! Come on, we gotta get him to the graveyard at St. Dominic's. On your feet, all of you! For what purpose? Don't care, really, so long as I get paid. He said on your feet. Come on, I'll get up. Hey, what it done? I will help you. Treachery will be punished. Sub Zero wins. All those teeth and claws, yet still overmatched. Thanks. I thought we were done. I must go. I need to investigate the graveyard. We'd go with, but we have to return to our unit. That is for the best. Good luck, man. <laughs> he ain't gonna need luck. Raiden, what is it? What did you see? One of Shao Kahn's Solnados, on a scale I thought unimaginable. All of Earthrealm's souls imprisoned, absorbed by Shao Kahn, multiplying his power. That is what Sub-Zero has found? No matter my efforts, the future remains in peril. How could I have failed Earthrealm? Do not lose faith in the spirits, Raiden. They will guide you, protect you. Sub-Zero, we will disrupt the Solnado. I will be there momentarily. Hurry, the spell appears to be nearly complete. Who is that? The one King of Warner. He is mine. You, you are not worthy of the name Sub-Zero. Who are you to judge? I wore those colors before you. Bihan? Yes, Kwai Liang. It is I. Quan Chi restored me. Restored? You and I both. We are flawed copies of our former selves. I have no flaws. Quan Chi has perfected me. For what end? To serve the Netherrealm and Outworld? It suits my purpose. But brother... We you share blood. We are not brothers. Then I will not regret your defeat. I run. Sub Zero wins. You are right. We are not brothers. Ratna Sumbink Natargo. O Tashin Go! 
your soul is not safe. Earthrealm's fate is sealed, Nightwolf. Not yet. We fight until the end. Nightwolf wins. Your time is over. <laughs> But how do we know? Raiden could be having visions of possible futures, not THE future. Sonya's right. Was I supposed to have my arms replaced with these, or was it caused by interfering with the timeline? My head hurts just thinking about it. This isn't helpful. We cannot second-guess our decisions. Raiden, what are your thoughts? Raiden? Yes, that is best. What is our next objective? Nightwolf! It is done. Earthrealm souls are safe. No! Oh, is it not enough? I must speak with the Elder Gods. Shao Kahn's violation must be punished. But the battle is joined here, in Earthrealm. We cannot win without the Elder Gods. But, Master... Liu Kang, close as a shadow. Nightwolf, you will lead until we return. As you wish, Heoka. Well, now what? Standing around here won't do us any good. Wait. The Lin Kuei, they surround us. So much for standing around. Attack! My speed and skill are beyond me. Nice. Wins. Mere speed and skill will not win this war, Cyrax. <laughs> You are weak, Smoke. Now do you understand the power of the Grand Master's vision? You are no match for the power of the spirit. Nightwolf wins. Perhaps even you can be saved. What is it? Mother. Come forward if you dare. I will finish what the Lin Kuei could not. <laughs> Let's do this. Attack! 
I am no longer your mother. Mother, this is not your way. Shao Kahn has corrupted you. Shao Kahn has resurrected me. You have betrayed him, embraced a pathetic cause. Remember Edenia, mother. Remember your rule before Shao Kahn's invasion. Quiet, child. It is time for you to join your friends. <laughs> Monster. Still alive? No matter. Soon you will reunite with your ancestors. Night wins. Now, Sindel, face the spirit's judgment. Tunkasila, Moisisielo, Unsimalayu. Raiden. Raiden. Where are you? Elder gods, I beseech you. Earth realm is in danger. We are aware of your plight, Raiden. Then you must intervene on Earth realm's behalf. We cannot. But Shao Kahn, Liu Kang has bested him twice, yet he still... Shao Kahn has not violated the rules of mortal combat. What? He invades Earthrealm as we speak! Invasion is not itself a transgression. It is the merger of realms that is proscribed. A distinction without a difference! Innocents are dying at the hands of Outworld! It is regrettable. But the mortal combat tournaments are not intended to prevent certain outcomes. They are intended only to maintain balance among the realms. Please, you must. We have spoken. The last doors are closing. We are nearly trapped. is mine, shaman. Not if I take it from you. To Godzilla. <laughs> By the Elder Gods. Katana! Liu Kang... You were right. I wish we had met... under... different... circumstances. Katana!
dead. Liu Kang, I... We abandoned them. And they're dead. My heart, too, is heavy with their sacrifice. Their deaths achieve nothing! What is next, Raiden? Tell me the future! How do we honor their sacrifice? I climbed to heaven. Now I must plunge into the depths. I will go to Quan Chi, ally our realm with his against the forces of Outworld. What? Grovel before Quan Chi? What will he demand? What price will be paid? Would any price be too high to save Earthrealm? I had prayed it not true, but you have gone mad, Raiden. Your visions, they are nothing. Delusions of an adult mind. Liu Kang, please. Enough. I must help the wounded. Leave on your hopeless quest. May the Elder Gods protect you. Quan Chi! Quan Chi! It disappoints me to see you here. Save your pity. I will have an audience with Quan Chi. You may address me. I will inform him. Is this why you chose not to save your family and clan? To maintain your place at his feet? Do not talk of my family, Raiden. Fetch your master, Scorpion. I must speak with him. You speak only with me. <laughs> Audience. I seek cooperation between Earthrealm and the Netherrealm. Losing the battle, are you? We will prevail, but with the Netherrealm fighting at our side... You lie poorly, Raiden. Earthrealm's defenses are overwhelmed. You have mere hours. Name your terms. What do you offer? I offer... I offer the souls of Earthrealm warriors who die in this conflict. <laughs> they would agree. You are a cavalier with other men's souls. Not just others! I offer my own soul as well. If I die, you will have it. How noble, Raiden. Yet utterly pointless. No! You see, their souls are already mine. Shao Kahn's payment for Netherrealm's allegiance. No, this was not meant to be. Earthrealm has lost Raiden. Now so shall you. Finish him. As you command, my master. Raiden wins. May the Elder Gods watch over you. The Elder Gods cannot help them. Their souls are mine. Kitana, Nightwolf, Kung Lao. You sealed our fate in this place, Thunder God. You have condemned us all. Raiden wins. Curse you, Quan Chi. Shao Kahn's victory is nearly complete. Soon he will arrive in Earthrealm. No! The Elder Gods cannot allow it! The Elder Gods are toothless. Your world is near destruction, yet they do not act. They must! Only through mortal combat may Shao Kahn merge the realms, lest he face the judgment of the Elder Gods. Lest he 
face the judgment of the Elder Gods. He must win. It is you who face judgment, Raiden. Thank you, Quan Chi. I now know what must be done. Back from the Netherrealm empty-handed, I see. Liu Kang! Liu Kang, I now realize what we must do. We must allow Shao Kahn to merge the realms. That is insane. The Elder Gods forbid it without victory in mortal combat. When he does, the Elder Gods' fury will fall upon him. Defeating Shao Kahn before the merge is but temporary. He will return, bringing Armageddon. I have foreseen it. Enough, Raiden! He is here. No! Do as I say. Have faith in the Elder Gods. Have faith in me. Liu Kang, I cannot let you fight Shao Kahn. Then you are my enemy. Raiden wins. Liu Kang, do not interfere. Stop! Uh. Liu Kang! Raiden! No! Enough of your madness! If you must die, so be it! By the gods! No! No. This was not meant to happen. What did you do? Liu Kang, forgive me. You have killed us all. Oh. Come on. It's up to us. <laughs> ah, Raiden. You have come to your senses. Earthrealm citizens suffer. Further resistance serves no purpose. All these ages you have fought me. You denied me my rightful claim. Not this time. The Elder Gods fear me now. <laughs> Their pathetic mortal combat shackles me no longer. Ages wasted in foolish resistance. I have won. Yes. You have won. Now, Raiden, your world ends.
Our will shall come. You merge realms without victory in Mortal Kombat. Our penalty is clear. <laughs> An anemic effort from ineffectual deities. Today, I become the Elder God! Round one. Fight! <laughs> It is over. But only at the gravest of costs. So many are gone. Their light has sunk into the earth. I am responsible for their loss. You did what you had to, to protect Earthrealm. Losses in war are, are inevitable. Come, let us tend the fallen. Then we must help our realm rebuild. Our work has only just begun. Lord Shinnok. 
Shao Kahn was blinded by rage. How easily he was convinced that the Elder Gods would ignore his merging the realms. Yet the Thunder God still lives. No matter. Neither Earth Realm nor Outworld can now withstand the Nether Realm's onslaught. It is time. Soon I will be free. Earth Realm and Outworld will be ours. Millions of years ago, Shinnok, one of the Elder Gods, turned on his fellow deities and invaded the Earth Realm. Raiden and the Elder Gods stopped Shinnok, locked him up in the Nether Realm. Others followed in Shinnok's footsteps, like Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, who was obsessed with conquering Earth Realm. So Raiden convinced the Elder Gods to enact the Mortal Kombat tournament as a way to even the odds, give Earthrealm a chance. For generations, Shao Kahn followed the Elder Gods' rules. The war moved to the arena, where he sent his toughest fighters to challenge Raiden's greatest defenders in Mortal Kombat. Two years ago, we beat him. But Shao Kahn wasn't ready to lose. He violated the rules of Mortal Kombat and invaded Earthrealm. Most of Earth's defenders, our friends, were killed, turned into evil undead warriors. Despite the odds, we stopped Shao Kahn's invasion. As punishment, the Elder Gods destroyed him. We thought the long nightmare was over, but it turns out that Shinnok had been manipulating events. Shao Kahn's invasion, his death. All part of Shinnok's plan to escape the Nether Realm and resume his war on the Elder Gods. Nice and easy for me. Don't I always? If by always you mean not once. Major? All right, you have the rendezvous coordinates, far into the forest. From there, we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple. Where there's an angry former Elder God and his devils waiting for us. Gods, portals, flying demons. Blind guys with magic swords. The world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's temple, he means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the Netherrealm. Oh! <laughs> 
Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? Gotta get back to the chopper. Sonia, get out of there! was unpleasantly cold. I liked it better when we fought on the same side. <coughs> you okay? We fared better than the men. Add them to the list of things Shinnok will answer for. Fortify the portal's defenses below. No, Fujin. It is too late. The mighty gods of Earthrealm. You be foul of these hallowed grounds, Quan Chi. Be gone. Surely you are pleased to see your friends. You abandoned them to their deaths. I returned them to life. A life worse than death. One you will soon share, and my lord himself shall witness your fall. Jax wouldn't punch his best friend. 
Johnny Cage, killing you will be a pleasure. You got a problem with that? We're gonna fix you someday. Well, nice seeing them again. Sonia, that's not him. Sergeant, what is it? That the elevator? Yes, the elevator. Sento contains the souls of my ancestors. They guide me. Could they hurry the hell up? You guys stay here. Close the door. Look at the reach! You see it now, Raiden. Your legacy. You poison their hearts with hope. And what do you offer? The same as you did millennia ago, when you betrayed your fellow Elder Gods and attacked Earthrealm. We stopped you then, imprisoned you in the Netherrealm. We will do so again. Remove the shadow from the light. The shadow grows. The legacy of life is death, Raiden. My followers accept this and live on. They fight for me. <laughs> <laughs> The Jinsei! Oh, I will. And all of Earthrealm will learn the truth of death. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Didn't see you there. Miserable wretch! Insignificant speck of feculent scum! How dare you! <laughs> that is mine! <laughs> Ready? 
ready. As always. I'm not sure what just happened to me, but I am sure of this. You don't even think of hurting her. Hello. You really are a fallen elder god. Johnny Cage, the amulet! Enjoy the new digs, Gramps. Sonia? Johnny... Did we...? Yeah. We got him. Remain here. The Chamber's properties will heal Sonia Blade in short order. Quan Chi and the others, they're gone. A surge of power within the chamber overwhelmed my senses. We can deal with Quan Shi later, Kinshi. We've netted a bigger prize this day. Shinnok's amulet. And within it, old Fishface himself. Let us take the amulet to the Elder Gods. They cannot destroy it. No one can. They might offer counsel. Shinnok can never escape. The war is not over. Quan Chi has escaped. Why are you smiling? She called me Johnny. Raiden told me later that I'm descended from some Mediterranean war cult. Bred as warriors for the gods. I've never been able to resummon that green halo. Raiden thinks it was triggered when I saw a loved one about to die. <laughs> How about you, Cassie? Can you summon anything like that? Or did it skip a generation? Take it easy, Jin. We didn't need a Halo in Darfur. Or Iran. Or Kurdistan. Did we, Jackie? Nope, we didn't. Shaolin monks ever send you there, Jin? I've seen plenty of action. Takeda and I both. Stuff that blow your special forces mind. F At ease. You're all here because you deserve to be. You're beautiful and unique snowflakes. Now, as I'm sure you're unaware, judging from the lack of gift cards, today is our team's six-week anniversary. Secretary Blake says he's pleased with our progress. You could spit in his hair and he'd be pleased with our progress. He was smart enough to have Mr. Cage put this team together. I'm glad the Shira Ryu chose me to join. New places, new faces. As the secretary pointed out, us older folks are gonna retire someday. So it's time for your generation to step up. Shaolin, Shirai Ryu, SF, together. For your team's first mission, you're going to the Lin Kuei Temple. We haven't heard from the Grand Master in a while, so we need to make sure he's still on our side. That he's got our backs if things flare up again with Outworld. You need to bring him in, but don't be surprised if Sub-Zero's not willing to cooperate. Why be worried about Outworld? I thought Kotal Khan respected the Reiko Accords. He does, but he's facing a civil war. The Rebels win, those Accords will be history.
million. Emperor. What's the expression? It's not worth the dirt on my shoe. Kotokan has always bargained with you fairly, you know. Sure, sure. I'm just saying. Upgraded weapons, my intel, and poof. The long outworld civil war. Done. Might be nice to kick back a bit, eh? You know Melina's location. And a whole rebel army. It's gotta be worth at least... 50. I must attack her. Immediately. End this conflict. As you say, it drains us. Right. Do we have a deal? What is it, Devora? The Emperor should not be concerned. Accident ahead. This one will clear it. Make way for Kotal Khan! Move! The Tarkatans are in position. We await your order. It is given, dearest Tanya. Stopping a carriage is nothing. Killing an emperor... False emperor! ...requires power. Power you have, Melina. And won't use. It pains me to use it, Rain. I need more time. The usurper's excursion came too soon. The rain falls when it may. No matter. If Kano does what I paid him to do. Now! Do it! You said a mouthful. Melina's given me twice that to take you out. You're not worth the dirt on my shoe. I'm pleased you remember me, Koata. 
I will never forget those who freed Melina. She vowed to create a free Edinia, something you refused to do. A united outworld stands strong against its enemies. It will never be united under your rule. Your rebellion is all that prevents it. You are a fool to trust Melina. She tasks me for the last time. Melina. Kano was to kill you, miserable snake! Rubro not day! Another Adenian. The supposed half-god. Kogakir! I am a son of Argus. I was not merely declared a god by befuddled commoners, Bulak. Surely Melina suspects your true intentions, son of Argus. <laughs> Silence you. You won't touch him again. But I will. To my father, Shao Kahn. I, Melina, Kanem of Outworld, order your execution! There will be an execution this day. You will atone for your descent, Melina. Your blood will make right. Up the stair path. To the fire's edge. What did my emperor see? A mere cub, grown to be a jaguar. Once we hit the drop point, we split up. Jackie and I will come in from the south, you two from the west. Rendezvous here, the north entrance. Then what? A simple pick up and go? We bag him if he resists. Resistance might be more possible than you think. Don't sweat it. It comes to that, Sub-Zero won't know what hit him. The forward defenses stand down as you command, Grandmaster. It is confirmed. Four intruders. It is time to entertain our guests.
All right, I've got point. You and Jin, that side. Move! Ready? You! I need to- You are not welcome here. State your intentions. Grandmaster, we need you to come with us. My name is Sergeant- You demand my cooperation, yet you are cut off, surrounded. What will you do? My father always spoke highly of you, Sub-Zero. He wants to talk. Talking. Always his first choice. Okay. Let's try pummeling. Now! Wait! <laughs> Cassandra Cage. You lead this group, but they do not follow. What would your mother do? Stop wasting time and take you down. You are more like your mother than you think. Your power should have revealed my intention, Takahashi Takeda. No doubt Genshi taught you how to use them. My father taught me a lot, Grandmaster. Let us see. You are not your father. Not yet. Damn it. You announced your arrival, Jacqueline Briggs. Specialist Briggs. Yes, military decorum is important in your family. If you know my father, you know me. Thought you and he were friends. Our histories share a dark chapter. Do not judge yourself harshly, Specialist Briggs. rather than mock your superiors. I'll remember that, in case I ever meet one. False bravado does not suit you. Any ideas? Sub-Zero, let's talk. That opportunity has passed. Got a new plan, Cage? You could have followed the old one, Jin. You're gonna catch hell if you kill us. Yes, I suppose so. Chuo, Dang Jin! That worked? This was all a, a... A training exercise. Damn. I should have seen it. You and your friends show much promise, Cassandra Cage. But until you function as one, you will fall short. T 
So other than that, you enjoyed your visit? The Lin Kuei shredded us. You, maybe. I see plenty of frozen boot prints on your ass, too. Come on now. You're all winners in my book. New orders from General Blade. Priority one, Outworlders. Here in Earthrealm. An invasion? Couldn't be. You're not afraid, are you, Mr. Cage? Outworlders, I can handle. So when did they show up? The portal opened by the docks a few hours ago. Nearly 5,000 in all. Refugees from the Outworld Civil War. Must be bad if they risk coming to Earthrealm. After you. Do not dwell on your encounter with the Lin Kuei, son. Pretty hard not to. Thanks, Kenshi. Could you and Mr. Cage join us? Sergeant Cage, you and your team as you were. This is Li Mei. She seeks asylum for her people in Earthrealm. Our village, Sando, was the epicenter of a fierce battle. We barely escaped with our lives. Such is war. I mean, no offense, but you outworlders kind of live for that, right? This was different. The rebels, Melina, had a weapon unlike anything. Entire battalions erased. It was not honorable, not combat. Tell me more about the weapon. A talisman, gold, with a center jewel. Melina wields its crimson energy without precision. Well, that's good then. Not now, Sergeant Cage. It is enough that she possesses it. It turns the tide in her favor. The Emperor grows desperate, and those caught in the middle pay the price. If this talisman is what I suspect it to be, we may all pay a price. We talking about Shinnok's amulet? Can't be. The base, the vault, your wardings. SF, Shaolin, no way anyone can get past all that. I must be certain. Well, this is cozy. You remind me of an Earthrealmer who crossed over with us. He also found humor in everything. Handsome guy, right? He was an Earthrealmer. One of his eyes glowed red. What does she mean? Kenshi, continue with Li Mei. I'm going to the refugee camp. <laughs> Gotta get to him before he finds a way out. I'll come with. Go get an update on camp security from Colonel Flagg. Why? Because then you won't be here. Are we with you? No. I need to confirm with Kotal Khan that Li Mei's story is true. You and your team are going to Outworld. I don't know, I expected the sky to be purple or something. Don't believe everything you see online. And what makes you an expert? The Shaolin Archives. I studied a lot about Outworld. No substitute for experience. So what makes you our leader? Guys, let's stick to the mission. Li Mei has to be telling the truth. An invasion would violate the Reiko Accords. Because you can always trust an Outworlder. But if Outworld's our ally, why didn't they help us during the Netherrealm War? Against Quan Chi and his team of... Revenants? Like Jackie's dad? Asshole. It's not an alliance. Not an aggression pact. Outworld is not our ally. A point you might make with more subtlety, given your surroundings. Now state your business, including a reason why we shouldn't kill you. I can read you. You're not from Outworld. I'm from Earthrealm, like you. 
But my employer, Koto Khan, is from Outworld. So now I'm from Outworld. State your business. We're emissaries. We need to talk to Kotal Khan. Here, we have Raiden's official seal. I can buy one of those at that stall right over there. Look, you can arrest us, even kill us. But if we're telling the truth, you probably get a pay cut. Or worse. You take us to the Khan, I'll tell him you took us down. Maybe you get a bonus. You can't lose. Follow me. In these times of war, we are required to view every resource as a weapon for our Emperor to use at his discretion. To take without his leave is to steal from the hand of Kotal Khan himself. Therefore, having been found guilty of theft, you shall be put to death. I was hungry. Your sentence will be carried out immediately. Death? For petty theft? Remember where you are. Jin? shouldn't have listened to you. A lesson in trust from a mercenary. Here's another learning opportunity. I'm a quick learner. for a pony like every other girl? The archives never mention symbiotes. to learn more about you. Too bad you're insane. You guys all right? <laughs> the Earth Bombers, yes? This one must learn more of your diplomatic techniques. We're here to see Kotal Khan. General Blaze. You interfere with outworld matters. The penalty is death. I'm sensing a theme. But, as we honor the Reiko Accords, we will consult the Emperor. You will await him here. You want to take this opportunity to tell us what the fuck shit you were thinking? I gotta wonder why you'd risk interrealm war for a bread thief. Because not all thieves are irredeemable.
It has more sentimental than monetary value. Nevertheless, I would prefer you did not steal it. It's a family heirloom, one that shouldn't have been given to you. Your family honored me with this memento of your cousin Lao, after his death. A death you caused! You made him fight Shao Kahn, and stood there while that bastard snapped his neck! You go too far, Kung Jin. No, not far enough. Just let me go. Blood of Kung Lao, descendant of the great Kung Lao, a common thief. Did you think you could walk unimpeded into my temple and walk out again without my complicity? You wanted me to attack you. Why? To release your anger, make you amenable to reason. Make me feel like shit. Self-loathing has always been an unfortunate part of your makeup. There lies ahead a brighter path. One that will truly honor your ancestors. One that is worthy of you. Go to the Wuxi Academy. Join the Shaolin. Like Kung Lao before you. I can't. They won't accept. They care only about what is in your heart. Not whom your heart desires. It's too late for me. It is never too late, Kung Jin. Your news of refugees is troubling. Their exodus to Earthrealm was not known to me. I do know this. I invited no guests from Earthrealm. Certainly none who would disrupt the execution of justice. How do I know you are not allied with Melina? Perhaps her newfound power has earned her new friends. Friends? No. No, we're not even sure that Shinnok's amulet she has- She employs Shinnok's amulet against me? The very item Earthrealm swore would be safe in its care? When Outworld was offered no participation? We were under attack, not Outworld. Kotal Khan, the fire that burns the sun. We are here because we share your concerns about the missing item. We intend no ill against your rule. At least one Earthrealmer can forge words like silver. But I recall an Earthrealm expression. There is more honor among thieves than diplomats. I've had the questionable fortune to be both Emperor, but I'm telling you the truth. You are allied with Melina. You may carry out your sentence. Kotal Khan, under outworld law, I claim the right of defense by combat. What? You're gonna fight a duel? To absolve us of all accusations. Denying the request brings dishonor upon the accuser. You know much of outworld. No, also, the duel ends in death. You have won nothing. Merely a few more seconds of breath. And now, Emperor? The charges against you are void. I say to all that Earth Realm means outworld no harm. Now kill me. Be done with it. You're not actually gonna. Instead of your life, I claim your service. If Melina does have the amulet, we can get it from her more easily if we work together. Emperor, they cannot be trusted. Devora, can you not perceive I am indebted to them? You honor us, Kotal Khan. Our gratitude is wide like the ocean. 
I'll talk to General Blade. Tell her about our new... arrangement. Thanks for the heads up, Sergeant. Stay with Kotal Khan. We'll figure out next steps once I've got Kano locked down. Yes, ma'am. Cage out. He's still here. I can feel it. Report. One of the refugees. Found her near the north perimeter. That's one of Kano's neckties. Inform Lee May. Tell her we're investigating. Raiden, what'd you find? Shinnok's amulet has been stolen. Replaced by an exquisite duplicate. Damn it. Something is wrong. I will speak to you once I... Raiden? Raiden! Lieutenant, I need you to take a team to Fort Charles. Check in with Raiden and report back. What's going on? What's your update from Colonel Flagg? He said, why are you bothering me? And I said, because my ex-wife is a pain in the... Where are you going? You can't just walk away. I'm in this too. Not my decision. Thank your buddy, Secretary Blake. This is what split us up in the first place. You disappear in your work. Never time for me and Cassie. I had responsibilities. Sorry you couldn't be the center of attention. There was a time when you cared more about your family than your job, General. Nope, no evil sorcerers in here. Would you get serious? Quan Chi needs to clean up his man cave. It's cleaner than yours. You're comparing me to Quan Chi? Only in terms of cleanliness. What's this? I wouldn't do that. Aw, oh, come on. Where's your sense of... Adventure. If you wish for adventure, you shall have it. Fire! I have no need of your soldiers, but you and Mr. Cage will serve me well once you are dead. Do you? Not as tough as you look. Quan Chi, you've lost. A delay, Miss Blade. The inevitable still beckons. Johnny! not happen. I'm sorry, Jax. I'll get you out of here. 
You'll be fine. Don't know. Blood's supposed to be on the inside. Raiden! I must reverse his spell. Ata Romileko Esaltika Arventika Ata Romileko It's working! Esensalta Barpeta You cannot save him. <laughs> Weak Thunder God, Johnny Cage is mine. No, he's mine. Save him. I've got this son of a bitch. That wasn't even close to what you deserve. Sonia Blade, the link with Quan Chi is not completely severed. Not a problem. The others are restored to the living. By coupling Quan Chi's dark magics to my own, I was able to restore their souls. Is he gonna make it? Haven't I told you? Uh, he's a god. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and they said I couldn't do horror films. <laughs> He's gone? How did he... We gotta go after him. He can wait. Right now, we need to get you and the others back to Earthrealm. Why is it taking so long? Name. Rayen Edu Keire. Thanks. All right. You Thank seem you. to know this Kano intimately. Not the word I'd use, but yes. I chased him for years until he escaped to Outworld after Shinnok's invasion. Why would he return now? All that matters is he's... Caught. Gotcha. Are you lost? Hello, love. Been a while. Not long enough. This is General Blade. I need MPs to my location immediately. Oh, let's keep this between friends. A trade. Info for freedom. I don't negotiate with scumbags. Well then, if mother won't play nice, maybe daughter will. If you ever... Back off, and all's well. 
piss me off. And Cassie's gonna meet Uncle Kano. I swear to God, I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not done with you. All right. All right. Get off me. Sonia, ease up. You killed me. Never fight. Amulet. Move, move, move. Sonia, we need that info. Sonia, don't make this another thing you'll regret. Talk! The Quatan jungle, with at least two divisions of Tarkatans. They're on the move constantly to avoid detection. That's not far. Maybe 200 kilometers. You know what to do. Yes, ma'am. Good luck. Blade out. You have new information from Earthrealm? Kano talked. Gave us the details on Melina's location. She has the amulet, but she's got a lot of protection. We will strike immediately. Perhaps a two-pronged approach. The army will engage Melina, distract her. But this one retrieves the amulet. Not alone. This one's coming with. Stealth is of the essence. Did you not hear me? You may assist in the main strike. Devora, we will grant their request. And I will finally be rid of Melina. This one understands your logic, but does not reach the same conclusion. Like others, this one is not pleased with Melina as color, but it is not clear your crew will succeed. That is why I invited our Zaterran friend. Listen, and join us. I know things about Melina. Her troubled rule will fall in the telling, and pave the way for Quatal. What would you know that- <laughs> Ah, there they are. Three of your fellow counselors, whispering like handmaidens. About what, I wonder? If only you would hear our counsel, as war with Netherrealm looms. I have urged detente with Earthrealm. And I've told you I would sooner die than treat with my father's murderers! You refuse practical solutions to credible threats. You endanger the realm. And sedition does not? Speak your last before I have your tongue. You are not Shao Kahn's true heir. She is a construct formed in Shang Tsung's flesh pits. I saw this. Your best claim to the throne is moot. How dare you! I succeed Shao Kahn by his decree! Succeed him you have, but Outworld demands new leadership. From you, Arshtek fool. Kill him! <laughs> this one serves Nelina no longer! <laughs> ah! You will defend your Empress! Creator Shao Kahn is dead. We will serve whom we choose. Still, you found Melina. Shao Kahn conquered my realm. I owe him my loyalty. I honor his will.
Raka is dead. Your last ally has left you. Take her away. serve the new ruler of Outworld. Then you serve Kotal Khan. Here to surrender, traitor? You speak of treason. This one knows you desire the throne. Why serve Melina? I advise her. Stealing the amulet was my genius. It kills her a bit each time she uses it. As both sides diminish, you fill the void. Exactly my plan. <laughs> 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 A shame you will not see its fruition. Excruciating death. Your schemes end here. Leaving without your friend, Devora? Your people believe we avoided your island out of respect for your solitary nature. We just didn't like you. The Kaitian do prefer solitude, which I will achieve momentarily. <laughs> now two Edenians will die. I know you said you weren't friends, but you're not killing them. Head's fine, by the way. Very well. Let us go. Step aside. That is really disturbing. Devora! This one knew you would not stray far from the amulet. You took my throne. Now you wish to steal my means of reclaiming it? Neither was meant for you. Who are you to say? I will take something of yours. Your life! One will enjoy your death. Enough of your prattle. Finish me, that I may join my father. You do not deserve death by an emperor's hand. Instead, I give the honor to my worthy first minister. Is over. Well, thanks for that. I know I'll never eat again. With your leave, we're gonna head back to Earthrealm. Put the amulet back where it belongs. <gasps> the hell are you doing? Earthrealm cannot be trusted to protect the amulet. It will remain with me. The Reiko Accords require the that accords you- The Accords no longer concern me. But you may prove useful when Raiden comes for this. Uh. 
This one deceived them. The amulet is in Kotokan's possession. You can retrieve it. He trusts no one else to transport it. Keeping you close to the Outworld throne these many years has proven most fortuitous, Devora. They never suspected one of their own to be a disciple of our lord. This one lives to serve Shilok. You have done well. Now bring it to me. Without delay, Anki. from Outworld. Shinnok will soon be freed. We make for my fortress. Is there a problem? Two problems. Your wife told me I'd find you in here. You and Vera have a nice chat? Always. Is that a national? I haven't seen one this- You didn't come here to discuss farm implements. All right. I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. My help? I know. I don't have any right you to- You knew what I wanted. Jackie volunteered. She came to me. I know. Listen, I get why you didn't want Jackie joining SF. Why you retired. I mean, if I had to live with memories of being one of Quan Chi's thugs, I would have eaten a gun a long time ago. Well, you know Vera. She never would have allowed that. So what is it you need help with? The Outworld refugees? Worse. Shinnok's amulet. Melina has it. Damn. And we've gotten word from Serena that Quan Chi has resurfaced in the Nether Realm. He shows his face after 25 years, just as Shinnok's amulet is in play. That's not a coincidence. That's why I need you. Your Quan Chi expertise. We wouldn't reactivate your commission. You'd be an observer. Cage. Jax. What is it? Just wanted to see if maybe... You could help close the cell? <laughs> yeah, because that worked out so well last time. Can't blame a guy for trying. We need you, Jax. Help me capture Quan Chi. None of us is safe if he gets near that amulet. So where's Jackie in all this? <sighs> Outworld with Cassie's team recovering the amulet. She'll be fine. We expect to hear mission accomplished from them soon. So what you guys think? Are they gonna kill us? They would have done it by now. Unless Kotal Khan's planning on having us as guests at the Coliseum. Well, if they don't kill us, my mother will. Me, at least. Tough being the General's daughter? <sighs> you have no idea. I do. My great whatever grandfather took down Shang Tsung, saved Earthrealm. How often do you think that comes up at family gatherings? That was 600 years ago. And yet, you'd think it happened yesterday. <laughs> no pressure there. I've trained all my life. OK, 
can fight my way out of nearly anything. But I still feel like a second-rate cage. <laughs> At least you grew up with people expecting things from you. I thought you and your dad were best friends. <laughs> now? He was a no-show for a long time. I can relate. What was that like growing up, having an ex-revenant father? Jen. No, I'm asking. Couldn't have been easy. He was just a bit overprotective. When I joined SF, Mr. Cage insisted on being the one to tell my dad. He thought it'd go smoother. <laughs> I'll never forget that day. My dad came home with a broken jaw. <laughs> You've got what exactly? Trust me. Away from the bars. Overloaded his senses. It only works at short range. Being the son of a telepath has its perks. I didn't used to think so. You honor me, Master Hisashi. Now that I'm Chujin, how will I serve the clan? Your future does not lie with the Shirai Ryu. But the clan's my family. When I took you in, I promised your father... I don't have a father. Yes, you do. One who's proud of you. A Chujin in record time. You knew he was coming? You said nothing? Knowing this would be your reaction, yes. Takeda, your father is not your enemy. Ten years. No visits. Nothing. You abandoned me. I did not abandon you. I was eight. My mother had just died. Now you come back? Think you can jump right in as a proud dad? Son, I... To hell with you. I am not your son. I thought you were quicker than that. Now get up. I want to knock you down again. Takeda, cease! Kenshi did not abandon you. He brought you here for your protection. Protection from what? From those who murdered your mother. She... She died in an accident. That is the story I asked Master Hasashi to tell you. But in truth, your mother was killed by Red Dragon assassins. I was the target. 
Su Chin was the victim. Son of a bitch! It was your fault! Your father has devoted his life to fighting animals like the Red Dragon. It is they who are without honor. You shouldn't have hidden the truth. You would have gone after your mother's killers unprepared. I could not risk that. Master Hasashi has perfected your fighting skills. Now it is time to complete your training. How, how did you do that? We are telepaths, a family gift. I can read minds? Through training, we will determine your full abilities. And then we will hunt down the Red Dragon. Together. This is Devorah's work. No argument there. Only she could create wounds like these. That Devorah's full of surprises. Question is, is she working with anyone else? What is it? Damn, he's made us. Okay, guys, standard diamond formation. Takeda, you're on point. Jackie, bring up the rear. Kung Jin, air cover. You got it. The Earth Realmers, Devorah, free them. One down, two to go. When we get back, you're teaching me that. Deal. Go help with Ermac. I got this. Think you can handle me alone? You're either brave or foolish. Brave or foolish, I'm alive. Let's see what's worth learning in there. So many minds trapped inside. We exist to serve. Bound by Shao Kahn's magic. Chaos. The voices. We are many. You are one. Your abilities fail before us. I think I've had enough of Outworld. I'm starting to get why my dad retired. We have to find Devora. Get the amulet. Let's go. We won't be out long. Devora. And the Earth Realmers? She stole the amulet, then helped them escape. She betrayed us to the Thunder God. You wound me, Devora. Prepare the legions. We go to Earth Realm. We will wrest back the amulet from that devil Raiden.
We're all in one piece. No one seems to be tailing us. Have you been able to determine where Devora was headed? We think she's headed for the Sea of Blood. Damn. Dad? She's coming here, to Quan Chi. There's a secret portal near the Sea of Blood. Quan Chi had it built when we were getting ready to invade Outworld. Great. Dad, what are you doing? Why are you in the Nether Realm? But now who's being overprotective? I know you think you have things to make up for, but... I'm doing this for Sonya. She's family. That's why I'm worried. I'll be fine. You stay safe, you hear? You stay safe, too. I love you. Briggs out. Briggs out. Feeling better? Or worse? Not sure. Maybe both. <laughs> They'll be fine. The question is, will I be? We have good crossfire position. But why is it Quan Chi travels by conventional means? He seems unable to fully use his magic. He's weaker than when I was in his service. Serena's dead on. He doesn't have Shinnok as a power source. He's still Quan Chi, though. I realize you agreed to guide and observe, but you are welcome to assume any role you wish. Too rusty. I don't want to jeopardize the mission. He approaches. Go back into hiding. Hiding. Guess I have been. That knocked some of my rust off. Welcome home, Jackson and Briggs. This hill is not my home. Then why be fool enough to return? I got a family to protect. Quan Chi reunited me with my family. He will do the same for you. How do you like that? Quan Chi is not helping you. It is possible to escape Quan Chi Katana. I can aid you, as Bihan aided me. You became too familiar with Bihan, allowed emotion to corrupt you. Emotion freed me. I don't understand, Katana. I mean, I hate the things I did here. 
But you enjoy being a revenant. It suits me. I am a victim no longer. Yeah, I know what you mean. But this ain't the way to assert yourself. I gotta believe there's hope for you. Mother of God. We've lost many. The rest are wounded. And our friends? The tide turned against them. They fled. How you two doing? I'm fine. That's what I thought. Where are you going? Go to bag me a sorcerer. Alone? You'll be killed. Wouldn't be the first time. In your weakened state, is it possible for you to release Shinnok? I am more than capable. And Devora? Are you certain she is capable? She will bring the amulet to me. And I'll be waiting for her. Jackson Briggs. A pleasant surprise. Nothing pleasant about it. So you return to Raiden? The foolish follow fools. <laughs> Raiden did his best. He saved Earthrealm. He murdered me! No, that isn't true. You are not there! He stole everything from me! You do not deserve to join us. Instead, you will learn. There are worse things than death. I wish I could help you, Wu Kang. Jax, there is no need to stop it. It's good to be back. Kenshi, I got him. Excellent work. I'm staying here. Devor is on her way. You need to get Quan Chi to Sonya. She'll make him spill his guts. Sit. I'm guessing it's not your first time in cuffs. What's your safe word? Advise Secretary Blake that Quan Chi is in custody. We'll be moving him to the Supermax facility at Fort Charles within the hour. Yes, ma'am. You two stand guard. Prisoner transfer will be here in 20. Oh, now she trusts me to babysit. Cage, report. We haven't caught up to Devora. We had her tracked to the Makiba Cliffs, but then her trail went cold. Damn. Jackie thinks Devora's unique physiology may allow us to pinpoint her location. She's retooling her smart comp to track Devora's pheromones. On my command How only. Wound. Do not code. kill. We're looking at two hours? Sergeant, your team doesn't have two hours. We need her found immediately. Sonya! Cassie, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but there isn't time. Bring your team back here. We need to regroup and redeploy. Yes, ma'am. They're doing their best. I know. General, we have a visitor. You two are friends, right? He tell you he was coming? Nothing. General. Master Hisashi, I hadn't received word you were coming. I will have Quan Chi. We have things under control. You can- He must die. Raiden needs him. Without Quan Chi, we can't restore Liu Kang and the other revenants. You'd leave them trapped? Like you were? Only Quan Chi concerns me. Don't do this, Hanzo. I'll put you down. Then we are at an impasse. Sibiru! <laughs> Qu 
Quan Chi is mine. I wish you no harm, General Blade. Call off your men, Hanzo! If you value our friendship, you will give me Quan Chi. Withdraw. Without Sento, you are vulnerable. Just like old times. Only Quan Chi's death will abate my anger. Hanzo, no! You've earned great trust for the Shirai Ryu. Do not squander it murdering a withered sorcerer. That withered sorcerer is the architect of my suffering. Master Hasashi, I am grateful that you've come. Speak your mind. I do not wish to linger here. You re-establish the Shirai Ryu as I reform the Lin Kuei. We both seek to shed our clan's dark pasts. Dedicate them to Earthrealm's protection. Our common purpose gives us a chance to end old rivalries, to start anew. You'll confess what you've long denied? That your clan's hands are soaked in Shirai Ryu blood? In the blood of my family? Our honor is indeed stained. Please, sit. After you and I were freed from Quan Chi's control, I sought out my clan. I had hoped rebellion from within would have quashed the Grand Master's plans. But Sector had realized his father's vision. The Lin Kuei had been fully cyberized. I pledged to kill Sector and his followers, reform the Lin Kuei, and restore our honor. I am not interested in Lin Kuei politics, Sub-Zero. When I finally killed Sector, I discovered the Lin Kuei had not sacrificed its honor with the Cyber Initiative. We had abandoned it long before. There will be no peace, Scorpion! Frost! The Lin Kuei are still without honor! <laughs> Master Hasashi, wait! For what? More treachery! I will have your head! Our story ends here, Sub-Zero.
What is this? I did not bring you here for treachery. Frost is strong, but lacks judgment. She cannot see the wisdom of peace. I will deal with her. You spoke of the Lin Kuei's lost honor. For years, I had thought you had unfairly blamed the Lin Kuei for the deaths of your family and clan. But Sector's cyber-preserved memories revealed the truth. The Lin Kuei need to abide their agreements, Sector. The Grand Master gave Shinnok his word. Shinnok's currency is lies, as is yours. Payment is due. I exterminated the Shirai Ryu, as promised. Hanzo Hasashi lives. He's your Spectre Scorpion. I created Scorpion from Hasashi's soul after he died. We observed the agreement. The letter, not the spirit. You are owed nothing. Harumi. Satoshi. Had I known of my clan's complicity in the Shirai Ryu's extinction, our history would be different. I killed your brother because I thought he... Quan Chi is responsible for Bihan's death. Sector was wrong. There is a debt to be paid, and Quan Chi will pay it. Unbind him. Scorpion. We can't... <laughs> My name is Hanzo Hasashi! You killed my wife. My son. And then you burrowed your way into my head. Misdirected my vengeance. Cost me my one chance to have them restored! Your family, I... Ah! Quiet, sorcerer. Nothing can help you now. At last, you feel my pain. One greets Lord Shinnok. Quan Chi chose his servants well. 
He was wise to restore me in Earthrealm, behind their defenses. Once he deceived them, allowed himself to be captured, he knew they would bring him here. A pity he did not live to see his work completed. <sighs> there will be no surprises from you, Mr. Cage. Bring him. Praise be to Lord Shinnok. Let us be on our way. There is an Earthrealm force in Netherrealm. I am aware. They will be neutralized. Mom! Where's Dad? Shinnok. Mom, Mom, where'd they go? Uh, Mom? Your father. Shinnok's prisoner. At the Sky Temple. Raiden! Raiden, my old friend. Master Borecho, I am pleased to see you. It has been many years. Too long. Yes, too long. We old warriors need to stick together, eh? Most certainly. I presume recent circumstances precipitate your arrival. Yes, yes. I am concerned that Shinnok may return. I've been trying to contact you. I feared the worst. When Kano misappropriated Shinnok's amulet, he left behind a snare. Disabling it required that I travel to many strange realms. I must retire to the Jinsei chamber, regain my strength. You are close to recovering it then. Shinnok's amulet? I do not know. Disabling Kano's snare demanded my full attention. Once I am rejuvenated, I will confer with General Blade. If only we could have destroyed Shinnok during the last war. If only he were mortal. Such beauty, like gazing upon the Elder Gods themselves. I hold out hope that we can turn this crisis to our advantage. Our soul? Quan Chi's magic binds the souls of many we hold dear. Capture him, and we can force him to release them. Lu Kang and Kong Lao restored. I suppose it is possible. As long as Quan Chi lives. I've long regretted losing our comrade souls to Netherrealm's evil. Kung Lao and Liu Kang, they were like sons. I would move the heavens to bring them back to the light. It is as Master Boraicho said. The Shaolin Masters are aboard that ship. Boraicho said two ships. The other has disembarked. We need to determine its destination. They will talk. I will see to it. No extraordinary means, Kung Lao. They raided the Wuxi Academy, killed Master Wen. Even with Tarkatans, there are boundaries we do not cross. Yes, Lord Raiden. I still cannot believe Shao Kahn would order such a brazen attack. It demonstrated Earthrealm's vulnerability. Shao Kahn knew we would have no choice but to agree to a new tournament. Liu Kang defeated Shang Tsung. He will beat Shao Kahn. In good time, Kung Lao. First we free the Shaolin. All are aboard? This one leaves with the tide. We are ready. 
Shao Kahn demands the hostages be unharmed. Their wounds are not fatal. I would hope, Baraka, for your sake. For yours as well. <sighs> if you harm them, you answer to me. <laughs> Our cousins are beaten so easily. <laughs> Hey, Baraka! Empty threats, Raiden. You will not see the tournament. <laughs> you will return to the wastes with no prize. Step aside. <laughs> Such power. What are you, Raiden? I am of truth and light. I protect Earthrealm. This one cares not for Earthrealm and worships no gods. <laughs> When a god speaks, heed him. They were not so vexing, all sneers and growls. Let us free those aboard this vessel. Then you will find the second ship. Where will you go, Lord Raiden? The tournament begins soon. Join me as soon as you are able. We will succeed, Lord Raiden. Of that, I am certain. Yet another of your allies falls to me. When he dies, I will claim his soul. You know not his power. His soul cannot be subjugated. Shall we kill him, Lord Shinnok? Not yet. He will bear witness as I conquer his realm. Then I will imprison him as he did me. I would not boast of victory premature. <laughs> I have already won, Raiden.
Kung Lao, desist! I serve Shina and the Nether Realm. Because Shao Kahn murdered you. Something you allowed to happen. I will not be so passive in your demise. You deserved a better fate. Not your destiny, Liu Kang. More visions, Raiden? Do you still see the future? The visions are gone, but I know what should be. I was put here by your hand. An accident, which haunts me to this day. I should thank you. You freed me. The Elder Gods you blindly serve, I will help Shinnok end their rule. I regret our paths have led here. <laughs> Say Shinnok. We have battled for eons, Raiden. Now, finally, it ends. <sighs> We land in 15 minutes. We'll enter the Sky Temple from the terrestrial entrance. Why not go straight there? It exists in a different quantum state, slightly out of phase from our reality. It can't be reached by conventional means. <sighs> what? It's just us. No one's coming to help. We either pull this off or... We will get it done. By the... What is that? Don't know. It's headed right for us. All their gods have mercy. Buckle up, people. I gotta put her down. 
Looks like the temple entrance is 15 clicks that way. A moonlight walk in the woods. Another time, it'd be relaxing. I wouldn't have pegged you for outdoorsy. My mother and I live near a forest a lot like this. Really takes me back. After we wrap this up, we should go. Fuck me. We're grounded. That shockwave fried the leads. Then let's get going. We're almost out of time. What are they doing here? Looking for the amulet, I bet. We have to tell them about Shinnok. Call a truce. Bring them to me! Or not. The woods. Come on. Quiet. Sneaky. They're back. We sense them, but the forest deeds the souls. Yes. So close. Look out! You hurt him? You answer to me. Go crawl back under your rock, reptile. Stop! You need water. Lean your head back. Can you see? Yeah, yeah it's, it's fuzzy, but... Better? Beautiful. I've got our Mac. You will spawn a Jackson Briggs. And damn proud of it. I know what you did to him. We took your father's arms. We will take all of you. That was for you, Dad. No more tricks. Just a straight up beatdown. Come strong or not at all. Two for one. I'll take it. Devorah is here. 
Where is the amulet? Koro Khan, the situation has changed. Do not fling your spittle at me. You tell him? Not yet. He needs to know Busy. that- Busy! I will kill you both. Shinnok's been freed. He's at Raiden's Sky Temple. He's already infected Earthrealm's life force. The heavens boil. Earthrealm is lost. Not if we hang together. I will appease Shinnok. Bring him your heads. Gain time to bolster Outworld's defenses. <laughs> <laughs> You need to help us, Kotokan. It is too late for Earthrealm. Shinnok is now its master. Run and tell your mom about that. You should have been with us. That's enough. Fuck me. Don't know about you guys, but I'm living the dream. You have our dreams. Chattel, you die tonight. Nita! stood together against formidable odds. Lesser warriors would not have fared so well. Thanks, Grandmaster. I will remain here to push Kotal Khan back to Outworld. Proceed to the Sky Temple. Earthrealm's fate lies with you. Lord Shinnok is nearly finished. Soon the Jinsei's corruption will be irreversible. The invasion can then proceed. Raiden and his allies will be unable to offer resistance. Once the realm falls, our path to victory will be clear. Advise Lord Shinnok that the Oni and Oroki are ready. At his command, we'll unleash them on Earthrealm. Have you found Raiden's portal to the heavens? Yes, but his ward's protected. We can't break through. That is unacceptable. After Earthrealm is destroyed, we must complete Lord Shinnok's vengeance, invade the heavens, and destroy the Elder Gods. Calm. Make war on the heavens? If Shinnok can take down the Elder Gods... End of the universe. Got it. Come Lao. To see him like this. We'll all be hanging around the Netherrealm water cooler if we don't pull this off. Come on. Takeda! Has your mother ever told you what I did to her friends? Kill them all in the blink of an eye. And your own daughter. You proud of that? We are bonded in death. You will join us. And I will give you a proper upbringing. Nice offer, Mommy Dearest. But I'll pass. <sighs> Princess. You think mere words can stop me? Thanks for the assist. Anytime. Tick tock, ladies.
You're not killing anyone. Help Jackie. Messed you up pretty bad. Uh, great bedside manner. I can fight. Jackie? It's nothing. Just like Kurdistan. Boot it up! You two go. Jackie and I will handle them. What? We'll just slow you down. Forget it. Damn it. Keep your heads down. We'll see you on the other side. They taste your flesh, burrow deep. Inside you, they will grow, gnaw your innards. By the gods. Dad! Father and daughter, will they taste the same? You're the bug, I'm the windshield. I'm a little old for pumpkin. No. Get Shinnok. But... I love you. Dad? So you are the issue of Johnny Cage. Fitting that I exterminate his entire line. If you want him, you're gonna go through me. run in the family. Your father's power will not save you. You cannot hope to survive. You got caged.
Is he alive? Barely. I'll help him. Help your father. And to think, I was worried when you started dating. Afraid I'd come home with someone like you? <laughs> Funny, beautiful, saves the world. My work here is done. This way. In here. Isolate Shinnok and Devorah, and get the medic. We'll fix you up. Help is on the way. You should have seen Cass. Wipe the floor with Shinnok. I believe it. And you, you did a great job with your team, Johnny. You hear that, Cass? She called me Johnny. I thought she might. Realm to endure the horrors of war. Time and again we've defeated our enemies, but we've exacted no retribution, demanded no remuneration. What have we gained for our mercy? More intrigue, more senseless violence. As the new rulers of the Nether Realm, heed me. No longer will I simply defend Earthrealm. I will seek out and destroy all who threaten it. No mercy will be shown, no quarter given. Shinnok was an Elder God, impossible to kill. There are fates worse than death. Oh! 
Silent Shinnok! deny the truth I was cast out for speaking the truth I embrace Shinnok is that mercy is wasted on those who defile Earthrealm I will destroy our enemies before they destroy us starting with you <laughs> Not even you can kill an Elder God. There are fates worse than death. serve as warning and an emblem of my wrath. This was not your destination, Ark. Once again, the Thunder God has upset the balance of history. But know this. The arc of the universe bends to my will. It is only a matter of time. As you were. For 25 years, the Special Forces have been Earthrealm's sword and shield. We've pushed back Shao Kahn, defeated Shinnok, yet none of our victories have come without cost. Recently, Commander Jackson Briggs was honorably discharged. His wounds, both physical and psychological, left him no longer fit to serve. We honor Jackie's father, and we honor his sacrifice by doing what he would do. Tirelessly defend Earthrealm. Sergeant Cage, step forward. Your leadership and warfighting ability have earned you promotion to commander. But there are no family favors here. By special forces tradition, you still have to pass one last test. I need to kick the CO's ass, ma'am. Your ass, ma'am. All right then, Sergeant. Let's see if you can take me. Commander Cage, reporting for duty. Congratulations. Commander. Come on, Dad. You really have to go? 
Well, you've got your duty, Commander, and I got mine. Starring in yet another Ninja Mime sequel isn't what I'd call duty. I need to provide for you in the manner to which you've become accustomed. Jeez, guys, I'm right here. General Blade, Cassandra Cage. What is it, Raiden? The Nether Realm. We should open a dialogue. Maybe there's an explanation. Liu Kang and Katana were friends once. They are irreparably polluted by Shinnok's evil. They are no longer the champions we once knew. We must strike them preemptively. It's about time we brought the fight to them. What's the target? Buried deep beneath Liu Kang and Katana's castle is the Cathedral of Shinnok, the seat of their power. Destroy it, and their undead army will fall, removing its threat to Earthrealm. Aren't your powers weaker in the Netherrealm? Yes, but I will have sufficient strength to occupy the undead army. That'll buy us enough time to infiltrate the Cathedral, destroy it from the inside. We get pinned down in there, there's no way out. To ensure Earthrealm's survival, we must all be willing to sacrifice. Uh, you know, it's been two years too much of your grim and gritty makeover droning on about sacrifice. You don't have a family to lose. I know loss, Johnny Cage. Raiden's right, Johnny. We're not ready for another war. We've got to take out Netherrealm's army now, before Liu Kang can bring it here. Position. Hope Raiden's planned one hell of a diversion. Withdraw or feel the wrath of Earthrealm's protector.
Should Raiden get this far, eliminate him. That burn victim's cabal? Wasn't he Kano's goon back in the day? Don't let the scars fool you. He's fast. Take out him and Jade. I'll go downstairs and set the C4. Roger that. Jackie, where's Jade? She bailed. Getting help, I'm sure. General, how we doing? Need ten minutes. The support columns are further apart than expected. You need help? Negative. Just watch our back. Ten more minutes. We need it to be taillights in five. Well, we're in the shit now. We have extra C4, yeah? Yeah, why? Let's buy ourselves time. Lock and load. Empress of the Dead. I've not forgotten our last encounter in the Sky Temple. How are your scars healing?
She's trapped, Cassandra Cage. How the Chosen One has fallen. Raiden's right. Whatever Shinnok did to you, you're a lost cause. <laughs> Fuck you. General, can you hear me? Here, Cass. Hang tight, we'll get you guys out. <laughs> They're gone. Cass. And I'm not gonna make it. What? I'm not leaving you behind. Get your team home. That's an order. Your duty. Mine's to finish the mission. I love you, Cass. <coughs> Give your dad a kiss for me. are to leave. God, you're back. How did the mission go? here to taunt us? No, Kitana. I am much more. Behold. What power is this? I am Kronika, Keeper. Every soul therein. 
I've carefully crafted them to keep the realms in balance. But my work's perfection has been irreversibly tainted by Raiden's actions. The two of you have felt that pain most acutely. What can be done? The past is the past, is it not? It need not be. I intend to wind time back to its beginning and restart history. But even with my vast power, I cannot create this new era alone. How will this new era be different? In many ways. But most importantly, there will be no Raiden. How do we begin? Escaped my justice. Sucked dry the bounty of Outworld's people. Today, your debt is paid. Kill me, Kotal, and you lose profit. You mistake me for Shao Kahn. I do not inflict bandits upon the poor. Shao Kahn approved. His word was law. Your master is dead. So is his law. Never again will Outworld suffer from his corruption.
Raiden? Shao Kahn? General Koto? Koto Khan. Khan? Pathetic fool. You pretend to my throne. It is mine, by right and deed. You were killed long ago, as was your repugnant spawn, Melina. We were at the Mortal Kombat Tournament. Kung Lao had just defeated Shang Tsung and Quan Chi. We are decades beyond those events. For us, they happened only moments ago. What game are you playing, Raiden? What magic powers this delusion? If it is a delusion, it is one we all share. Is it possible that the past and future are colliding? Katana, Baraka, Scarlet, all outworld champions long since gone. If you have all returned, has... I am here, Kotal. Jade. Ashtek custom requires all refugees be offered assistance. I offer it to you, Shao Kahn. I am no refugee. I am Khan of Outworld. Vacate my throne, or I'll soak these sands with your blood. <laughs> What do we do? I have not met Kodal, but he is reputed to be a man of honor. It's true. I know him well. Then we must navigate this crisis by aiding him. Takatans are dead. Impossible. They allied with Melina against me. Persist, and you will die again. <laughs> Filthy Takatan. turned assassin. Better to thrive in Shahkan's court than starve in the streets. You, Oshtek, may practice blood magic, Kotal, but I am the master. Pride will be your downfall. Kotal. I thought you were dead. What happened to you? Shao Kahn betrayed me. Ambushed my legion. I was kept alive for Shang Tsung's experiments. Only when he died was I freed. Seeing you again makes it worth living this nightmare. I will not lose you twice. Go help the Earth Realms. I will deal with this. Your future self is ally, not enemy, Aaron Black. <laughs> to hell with the future. I live in the moment. Given who you become, I would not have thought you so reckless. <laughs> Oh my God. 
Outworld! Outworld rejected your pointless wars. Empires must expand or die. <laughs> Your conquest served you alone, not Outworld's people. You are Khan no more. Stranger days. Kotal Khan, I am Raiden, protector of Earthrealm. I know you. We are acquainted in your era. We were allies who became enemies. I am surprised, given our shared antipathy toward Shao Khan. Everything changed after your defeat of Shinnok. Shinnok's defeated? Our realms joined to fight him. But in victory, you were hardened. To protect Earthrealm, you lashed out at all realms you deemed threats. That... cannot be. My Raiden wears Shinnok's amulet as a symbol of his fury. Be assured, Kotal Khan. I am not that Raiden. We have common cause. Both in solving this temporal crisis and in defeating Shao Kahn. Agreed. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, and I will return to Earthrealm and learn what temporal anomalies have occurred there. We must better understand the phenomenon we are experiencing. I will have my scouts track Shao Kahn. So, this is goodbye. Only goodbye for now. I can't leave while Shao Kahn threatens Outworld. I must seek justice for what he did to my family, and to all Adinia. I will come back for you, to aid you, Princess. Questions, Devora. I routed your people, burned this hive, yet you aid me. We can't trust her, Excellency. Kotal Khan did, and she betrayed him to Shinnok. Kotal Khan. How is it I'm dead and he sits on my throne? You tried merging Earthrealm into Outworld. The Elder Gods intervened, and Raiden killed you. That's when Melina became Khan. After this one killed your daughter, Kotal claimed the throne. You killed Melina? If this is true, you will die! Devora is under my protection, Shao Khan. As are you. I am Kronika. The legends are true? I am displeased with how history has unfolded. So you broke time? I stopped time. I enlist all those who disdain the current course of history. By merging past and present, we may draw upon allies from both eras. How will fighting your battles benefit me? I offer a greater empire in the new era, Shao Kahn. Raiden will not exist to thwart you. You can wipe Raiden from history? It is an immense task, requiring great power and effort. My hourglass requires protection while I work. Will your outworld armies defend it? They shall. I saw. 
swear to God, I'm losing it. Can't someone, anyone, explain to me what the hell is going on? Right? I've been in the future for a whole hour and I haven't seen one jetpack. Not one. So it is true. I walked a darker path. After Shinnok went down, you became a different person. Red lightning, black clothes, authoritarian attitude adjustment. Yeah, about that. What happened to Dark You, hmm? How come you're an only child and I got an evil twin? As an immortal, I exist outside the normal laws of time. That could explain why I am affected differently. Thanks. Weird, isn't it? Not being in charge. That's what's weird? That and having daughters our age. Look at her. How do I have a kid with him? <laughs> at least she's not an actress. Come on, at least think about it. We each get points off the gross. Coming this summer, Johnny Cage and Johnny Cage. In time, quake. Any thoughts on what we do next? For months, I've been receiving vague premonitions of the future, but none of them foretold this. I must confer with the Elder Gods. Liu Kang, Kung Lao, please assist the Special Forces while I am gone. Yes, Lord Raiden. Follow me. Commander? Yes, Mom. I mean, General. I mean... <sighs> this is strange for me, too. You have no idea. What? Uh, how do I say this? This morning, we were on a mission. And, and you gave your life to save it. Son of a bitch. Seriously? Yeah. And now here you are. Young enough to be my sister. Cass, you need to see this. Sapphire show another realm incursion of the Wuxi Academy. Nether realm? Taking out Shinnok's temple was supposed to stop them. It's gotta be the time anomaly. We must help our Shaolin masters. Why would the Nether Realm want to bust up your alma mater, Liu Kang? The Dragon Grotto. It's underneath the Academy. Earth Realm's Jinsei energy bubbles up in its springs. That's no good. We've seen firsthand what happens when the Nether Realm screws with Earth Realm's life force. They will not reach the Grotto. It is protected by powerful magic, the deadliest traps. I am sure our counterparts from your era are already dealing with them. Kung Lao, Liu Kang, you might want to sit down. I die in the Colosseum. You on a rooftop fighting Lord Raiden. Our future, Liu Kang. It is insane. Obsessing over it will not change it. Neither will accepting our destiny as evil undead warlords. I'm not. But we can't change a future we don't fully understand. Lord Raiden will guide us. Can we trust him? It appears he got us both killed. on these traps. Do you know how? The monks never taught me. More likely you did not attend class. Watch for the pattern. And pick your moment.
Easy enough. What's next? Everything. Poison gas, shooting spears, flame jets. How about we avoid those? I did not do that. I did. Scorpion. Of course you survived the time merger. You will not stop Kronika from restoring my family and clan. If Scorpion doesn't kill us, these traps will. Find a way to shut them down. Let's see whose fire burns hotter. Your fire is out, Scorpion. I can't stop them. Restoring my family and clan. Can you stop the traps? I learned my lesson fighting you at Shang Tsung's tournament. This time, I am prepared. I can't stop the traps. The locks have been changed. You cannot turn us against him. We know about our deaths. They were caused by our mistakes. You have been deceived, Liu Kang. The truth is, Raiden murdered you. Raiden killed you because you stood in his way. You lie, Jade. You will not test my faith. Raiden murdered you. Lord Raiden may make mistakes, but he doesn't murder his followers. Is it not murder to send an ill-prepared warrior to his death? Raiden's mistake cost your life, Kung Hao. I like the real you better. through there what if the next revenants we have to fight are us then we fight them Kung Lao. elder gods I have come to seek counsel the realms are in crisis. The crisis is grave indeed, Raiden. Every being will be erased in a temporal Armageddon. Even we Elder Gods, 
Already our power weakens. I will fight Cetrion. But how? You must find Kronika's key and gain control of her hourglass. Only then will time's momentum be restored. It will be done. Speak your mind, Raiden. Since this time merger, I have learned about my future. That my champions fall. That I become a tyrant. If Kronika is defeated, will I be consigned to this grim fate? The restoration of time will not predetermine your destiny. That is for you to shape. asking you to put those back? They said you'd come. Who said? Who do you think, Kung Lao? Welcome to your future. Courtesy of Raiden. Our future may be tragic, but it's not Lord Raiden's fault. You've both been warped by Shinnok's evil. Shao Kahn snapped my neck in the arena. Raiden saw it coming and did nothing. I would have defeated Shao Kahn, but Raiden wanted the glory. His lightning cut me down. No, I don't believe that. One day Raiden will betray you. Then you will believe. You spew Shinnok's lies. You attacked Lord Raiden, and he defended himself. He did what he thought right to protect Earthrealm. Protect? Raiden enslaves Earthrealm. How was I ever so blind as you? Unbalanced. How did I get so deluded? Then you will believe. The thought of becoming you sickens me, but I won't blame Raiden. You owe Kronika. She saved your life by stopping time. You shame our family name. Is it me, or could they be telling the truth? Worry about it later. We have bigger problems. You should have listened to your Revenant counterparts. With this power, Kronika will remake history. That was easy. interest in you. It's why she recruited your revenant self. Serve her. She will bless you. <laughs> Fetch me. 
catch the Jinsei, Chosen One. You're good, but you're no great Kung Lao. You've met my ancestor? He stood a chance against me. You have none. You Shaolin monks succeed your reputation. I respect your spirit, but Kronika's will must be done. to let them live. If they die, their revenant selves will cease to exist. We need them to defend the keep. Yet again, Liu Kang, you've chosen the wrong destiny. of time. The Nether Realm's undead army will protect the keep as I work. Shao Kahn, when will you deliver the Outworld army? Soon. It will be mine once Kotal is killed. And what is your progress, Sector? The Cyberling Quay factory is modified to your specifications. Production exceeds projections. Lord Raiden, what did the Elder God say? We must find Kronika, wrest the control of history from her. If we succeed, our destiny can change. So what we were told is true? You were... involved in our deaths? Yes. Had the timeline continued, my decisions would have led to your deaths. But the Elder Gods assure me that such a future is not inevitable. This is but one of many possible timelines. That is a lot to take on faith. Rest assured, Kung Lao. I am aware now of what may come. I will not bring harm to either of you. You have my vow. Thank you, Lord Raiden. We must find Kronika's keep and strike it, as hard and as fast as we can muster, before all is lost. What have you learned about Kronika's effect on Earthrealm? We're tracking sites around the globe with major temporal anomalies. Texture's still fuzzy. Our kid's something, isn't she? We see no pattern so Oh, Cage. I'm not your Sonia. Sorry. Too easy to forget. We've prioritized info that correlates attacks from the Nether Realm with time anomalies. Helpful. But we have more to worry about than the Nether Realm. Yeah, we do. Grandmaster Sub-Zero reports heavy losses to his Lin Kuei clan. The Time Merger has resurrected his old enemy, Sector. Sector? Was he not the Grandmaster who years ago enslaved the Lin Kuei? That's him. He's reactivating and upgrading the same factory he built to convert the Lin Kuei into cyber-killing machines. Undoubtedly, to construct new and more powerful cyber Lin Kuei. Kronika may seek to co-opt them. What of Sub-Zero? Already on his way to shut down the factory. Grandmaster Hasashi is going with him. Grandmaster Hasashi? Hanzo Hasashi?
is feeling, Sub-Zero. I recognized your footsteps, Hanzo. Where's Sector? I will not let him threaten my clan again. The old Cyber Lin Kuei factory was defunct, buried beneath this quarry. Until the time disruption. Now, Sector's returned and reactivated it. He's building an army by processing Lin Kuei warriors kidnapped from my temple. I can see why you need me. We could enter through that tunnel, but a frontal assault would be... Bloody. Needlessly dangerous. There's another entrance, less populated. And the rest of your plan? We get help on the inside. We'll avenge your clan. is your inside man. He was converted against his will. If we disable the behavior inhibitors that control him, he will turn on Sector. All Cyber Lin Kuei are linked to a common network. Cyrax can shut them down from within. Who is the woman? I don't know. Focus on disabling Cyrax. He's the key. We require additional candidates for standardization. Once delivered, how long before the next generation is done? <laughs> Is this Kronika's doing? To their service. 
Excelsior. We defend Kronika as she rewrites history. So you're nothing but pawns? We act to secure the Lin Kuei's glory in the new era. Take the others. More cyber Lin Kuei. You'll need a moment to initialize. <laughs> Sector, show yourself! Your 
clan so Quanchi you would slaughter mine. He should have killed you as he promised. Now I finish what he could not. <laughs> For Haromi and Satoshi. I'm in. I'll reformat the system drives and shut us all down. Goodbye, Kwai Liang. It is not the end. I will find a way to restore you. Anything is possible. Hanzo and I are living proof. Please, don't bring me back as a machine. I can't live like this. Machine or man, you have a warrior soul. As long as I am Grand Master, the Lin Kuei will welcome you. Until we meet again. Kroniker will get all the service she needs. But I can't quite defeat until I know the job. You will see. Can you restore him? Some frame damage. Circuitry looks good. It looks like someone did a software wipe. Fixing that won't come cheap. Once he is repaired, can he be replicated? Hundreds of times. Thousands. That's a tall order. But anything's possible. With the right help. Serve Kronika, and she will provide. Take the deal. Trust me. Otherwise, who can you trust? You weren't kidding. It's like a mirror reflecting the past. How about that? Over 50 and still a ripper. <clears throat> There's still the matter of our fee. We get paid in the new era. Kronika will make sure the Black Dragon come out on top. Not only in the black market, in every market. Right then, let's get to business. You reach your dad yet, kid? The network's still down. I hate being so far away. Dad must be climbing the walls. Be patient. You'll get through. I know my dad's still alive, but... It's like I'm seeing a ghost. You and me both. But they aren't ghosts. Oh, they're definitely real. Can this get any more bizarre? Come on.
Jackson Briggs. Do not fear. I have come to offer you a new life. A better life. That's awfully generous, seeing as we never met. We have not met. But I know you. How valiantly you have served. How horribly you have suffered. That was not my plan for you. Your plan? You were to retire distinguished. Not in disgrace. Years from now, General Jackson Briggs. More importantly, your daughter was not to serve, nor endure the same tragedies you have. Your home should be filled with grandchildren. Help me, and it will be. The Tarkatans, long extinct, have also returned. Shao Kahn will seek them out. He relies on their power. Kotal scouts tracked a Tarkatan war party to the Kai Tin's lost hive, Devorah's ancestral home. Her hand in Shao Kahn's escape makes that our starting point. Please advise me of what you learn. I must consult with the Elder Gods. When do we leave? Your duty lies elsewhere, Princess. I need you to enlist Queen Shiva. Her support is critical against both Kronika and Shao Kahn. Surely you can... Queen Shiva does not trust me. No Shokan has since my bloody battle with Goro. Shiva's always respected your opinion more than anyone's. When she hears you support Kotal, she'll join us. If that is my duty, so be it. Thank you, Princess. Are you my friend or his consort? It was my idea, Kitana. It's in your best interest. Succeed with Shiva, and Koda will pledge his loyalty to you. There's no bond more sacred to an Oshtek like him. I remember when we could ride like this alone. My life has changed as Outworlds come. Thankfully, you have not. You haven't changed much either, despite the years. You're still the same noble warrior I met in Shao Kahn's court. And now you're Khan. I'm surprised no woman has claimed your bed and become your queen. <laughs> Many have tried. Yet they failed. Why? None of them were you. There are fresh tracks leading into the hive. If Shao Kahn's in there, he'll be difficult to find. The tunnels are endless. Set fire to them. If he's hidden, he will be smoked out. Kotal, we don't know who else is in there. Katana's friendship for anything. It is pitiful you choose servitude. She and I fight side by side against Shao Kahn. His oppression cannot stand. <laughs> when called for a higher purpose, we must serve. <laughs> You 
will bleed for your betrayal, Devora. This one acts only for the hive's survival. <laughs> to find Shao Kahn. Ghosts of my past. Devora spoke the truth. We are outnumbered. Give me a few of your best soldiers. We'll infiltrate the camp and search for Shao Kahn unseen. What you propose is dangerous. Of course it is. Shokan, Kolkata Trabakar. Wak Haka Turk, Waka Katarina Kotun Karak. Tohana, Takana, Aki Tarakata. Ne, ne. Trakati. No. Parga. It's all right. Parga, I won't harm you. Neti, Otono Kora. We're looking for Shao Kahn. You exploit others to rise above your station. I have risen to my station, Jade. <laughs> are not equals.
Line them up. Execute them. <laughs> Fight us. They are children. You forget. In my time, they joined Melina in rebellion against me. These aren't the same Tarkatans, Kotal. A better Khan would offer them a warm hand, not cold steel. <laughs> Your heart has hardened, Kotal. Blame yourself for the Elder God's deaths, Raiden. Your actions have irrevocably altered Kronika's golden balance of light and dark. Shinnok's decapitation was the capstone. You are a paragon of virtue. You should wish evil vanquished. I abide my mother's will. You were begotten by Kronika. As was my brother, Shinnok. The darkness to my light. Nature demands equilibrium. Balance is perfection. You have stepped out of your role, made that balance impossible. That's why the new era holds no place for you. You will not succeed. Kotal Khan is captured, Raiden. The combined might of Outworld and the Nether Realm will keep your forces at bay. ...while my mother finishes her work. Do not underestimate Earthrealm's warriors. You are right to have been fond of these mortals. They were good souls. upgrade. It'll be payback time next time I see Ermac. Oh, I made sure he got his. Hmm. I imagine future me is out kicking ass with these right now. Cassie told you that future you spent time as a revenant, yeah? Sounded horrible. Can't imagine becoming Shinnok's puppet. But she says I come back from it. The experience haunted Dad. But then he, you, met Mom. She brought you back to life. The love of a good woman. Like the sound of that. She was Dad's everything. She died last year. Ever since Dad stayed on the farm, he feels safer there. Here's how you access incoming reports. Swipe here to cross-check them with past reports. The software can suss out the deltas. Now that's progress. So, a Mary Lieutenant Princess over there. Yeah, always had a thing for blondes. Ever since Susie DiNardo, junior, junior year. Take it from me, <laughs> you didn't miss much. That woman over there, she's the real deal. Oh, I got eyes, brother. As younger you, I saw him. You swear to tap that at the earliest opportunity.
What? It's our destiny. Ah, 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 ah. How the hell do I ever sleep with that guy? Who's your father? I can't believe I just said that. Look, my dad isn't the Johnny you know. He grew up. I like to think you rubbed off on him. As a kid, I looked up to both of you. My dad, your grandfather, was my hero. Called me Private Pumpkin. Huh, that's what you called me. We should get back to work. Biometric verification required. ID verified. General Sonia Blade. General Blade? <laughs> Dad would be proud. Untwist your panties, older me. I'm a star. This is a military operation. Not a movie set. I'm only the best fighter here. But your daughter's got me sitting at the kids' table. Our daughter is CO. A little humility might earn her respect. Dad always said, hungry people eat lunch. Humble people serve it. Dad was an asshole. Hollywood made us an even bigger one. Yeah! An old man just kicked your ass. You got lucky. Left me behind? Excuse me? My final mission. How did you... Shit. No, I'm not doing this. Not now. Not with you. Damn it, Cassie. You abandoned me? I just saved the company. That was my order. Who the hell gave you that order? You did. Read the full report, Lieutenant. <laughs> Go to condition red! We're under attack! Repeat, we're under attack! yippee ki -yay, right? Follow my lead.
like Friday. The shot, our face, Johnny. The shot, our face. Ah, uh, he's gonna get us killed. saying howdy partner i was saying goodbye now why is a nice texas boy like aaron black in bed with the black dragon older you works for kotal khan he's one of the good guys kind of when i pick sides i pick a winner every time <laughs> You chose poorly. Cassie! Sonia! Breathe, kiddo. They took mom, Sonia. I'll get her. Can we find out where they've gone? Tarmac B. On it. Keep her safe. online long enough for your friends to make it, Tinhead. Johnny Cage, Cyrax defeated you when you were younger and stronger. As I am his superior, I am yours. You're forgetting the time I beat Shinnok mano a mano. Oh, wait, you were dead when that happened. Go back to the 90s. Who's next? Oh, I'm next, Hollywood. Shit. As if throwing.
throw back me wasn't bad enough. Oh, it gets bloody worse. Sonia and your little girl, they're gonna die. Right in front of your face. No one threatens my family. Well, well. Got ourselves a full-on generation swap here. Don't think so. Between Ninja Mime and Lady Liberty, we've got all the leverage. We're leaving. I have. And the base? Taken care of. Let's go get them. Anyone else hear that beeping? Have I arrived too late? You're back in the nick of time. That's what I call a miracle. Yeah, Raiden. Thanks. Grandmaster Hasashi, I humbly request the Shirai Ryu's hospitality. My Sky Temple has been compromised. There is no safer place for us to gather. Lord Raiden, welcome to the Fire Garden. The Elder Gods are gone? Shinnok is Kronika's son? No wonder she sent the Black Dragon after me and Dad. We both kicked his ass. It is not vengeance that drives Kronika. She restarts history to balance light and dark among the realms. What can we do, Lord Raiden? Gather Earthrealm's forces. But that effort will be for naught if Kotal Khan's armies cannot join us. Cetrion informed me that Shao Khan has captured Kotal Khan. We must spare no effort to free him. Kung Lao and I will go. We will rendezvous with Princess Katana. Thank you both. May the Elder Gods protect... May you return victorious. You are passionate, Princess Katana. But 
I am not persuaded. Queen Shiva, haven't your people fared better under Kotal Khan than Shao Khan? In some ways. But we can only guess which Khan will prevail in this struggle. We gain no advantage choosing sides now. Princess! Liu Kang, why are you here? Kotal Khan has been captured by the Tarkatans. We must act quickly before he is executed. My people will not rally to a Khan held in chains. We have Earthrealm's support, Your Highness. With yours, we can guarantee victory. There is no path to victory without the Tarkatans. If they can be swayed to Kotal Khan, it would be to our advantage to join him. I will return, Queen Shiva, with the Tarkatans at my side. Together we will march on Shao Kahn. you, Scarlet. Indian blood is most sweet, Your Excellency. It is also a rare commodity. Where are they taking him? To the Colosseum, no doubt. Then we attack now. We'll never sway Baraka to Kotal's side by taking the offensive. We must turn Baraka first, then attack Shao Kahn together. The Tarkatans won't grant an audience. Their instinct will be to attack. Not to mention Jade. At the first sign of trouble, they could kill her. I have an idea. gift for Shao Kahn. We wish to join his fight against Kotal. All those years, the Khan's high and mighty daughter, now brought low by common soldiers, have you learned finally that you're no better than the rest of us? She is for Shao Kahn. We demand to see Baraka. You won't be seeing anyone. Liu Kang. your father, Kitana. I was Shao Kahn's daughter by conquest. He stole a dinner from its rightful ruler, the father I never knew. Because your people and your bloodline were weak. There is more to power than conquest, Scarlet. As requested. Zero casualties. Jade, 
Are you all right? We must find Baraka quickly to save Kotal. Baraka won't join us. Kotal's hate for the Tarkatans runs too deep. If I hadn't stopped him, Kotal would have executed them all. Yes! Kotal has made his intentions plain. Baraka, please listen. No more Tarkatans need to die. Kotal Khan threatens all Tarkatans. In the new era, Shao Kahn will rule. Hear me, Baraka. I speak truth. Jade, Liu Kang, Kung Lao, stand down! Good! Now come back, Draka! Speak! You've earned the chance. Shao Kahn has pitted Outworld's peoples against one another for millennia. And for what? The honor of dying in his wars? We must fight for each other, Baraka. Not with each other. Kotal wants us dead. He said as much to my face. Aid us, and I'll make sure you sit at Kotal's table. Which do you prefer, Baraka? To be Shao Kahn's slave? Or Kotal Khan's trusted ally. No one has ever made Tarkatan set an offer. But these are your words, not his. Help me save Kotal Khan. We'll ask him together. <laughs> he offers less. I'll slit his throat. If he offers less, Baraka, I'll help you. Suffered too long at this pretender's hands. But I've returned, and I will save you from his madness. Only I can rebuild the Empire. All realms will tremble before me. Outworld will again be conquerors, never the conquerors! shown it before, I'd have had no need for Melina. My sister was an unholy monster. Exactly like you, father. Ungrateful shrew. Born to privilege which you throw away. Who are you to judge me? You have not known cold or hunger. If you had, you would value the gifts Shao Kahn gave you. Be grateful you still breathe.
the consequences. Surrender on the brink of victory. You're as feeble-minded as Jared. King Jared. The father you murdered and stole me from. I wanted Jared's wife, not his heir. I kept you only to appease your mother. Do not expect mercy this time. Inherit your cruelty. Do you feel anything? Shao Kahn has crippled me, left me defenseless. Not while I am by your side. You would have me, even with my hardened heart? I know your heart. It can change. It is over, Kotal Khan. The throne is secure. Thank you. Baraka. Shiva. I have not served your peoples well. Yet, still you aided me. I will not forget. We don't need charity. We will share an outworld's rule. But is up to her now. What? The throne is yours. You have united Outworld, Kitana Khan. She's now officially out of your league. I am humbled, Kotal. From this day on, may all our peoples fight together as one. The news from Outworld is indeed hopeful, but the location of Kronika's keep remains a mystery. It is beyond the realms and has proven to be beyond my sight. Do you know of Karan, Raiden? Karan, of course. Who is Karan? Master of the ancient ship of the dead. Sub Zero and I met him during our time as revenants. He travels in the space beyond realms, transporting damned souls to the Nether Realm. If the keep lies there, Caron may know its location. Would he help us? It is possible, but I cannot be sure. I urge you both to investigate. We will leave immediately. Locking down Outworld's army is huge. But still, I'd feel better if we had more manpower. The Shaolin will join us. Liu Kang and Kung Lao travel now to aid the monks' preparations. Good. I'll be leaving soon to go after Johnny and Sonya. I'll go too. We're both going. No. Raiden needs you for an intel op. We need to get Sonya back. Undoubtedly. But Kronika's behavior makes it clear that while mighty, she is not all-powerful. Otherwise, why would she attempt to steal Jinsei? Think maybe she's still building strength? A distinct probability. Then what's her next move? With the Dragon Grotto's Jinsei Fountain sealed, there is no greater energy source in Earthrealm than the Well of Souls beneath Shang Tsung's island. Then we'd better go check it out. I regret that I cannot join you. I must keep vigil for signs of Kronika's further tampering with time. We all have our duty. I am told you defeated Shinnok, Cassandra Cage. You will defeat the likes of Kano. But proceed with caution. 
If either Johnny or Sonya die, you will cease to exist. It will be beyond my power to save you. So Sonia's the skank who burns me? Uh, she more than burns you, Cabal. She goes black ops on your ass. Shocks, knives, the bloody works. Patched you back together myself. Well, most of you. She's dead. <laughs> Miss Law and Order really does that to him? No. But now he's motivated. You're ready for some preemptive vengeance. What the hell are you talking about, Cabal? You, torturing me to get dirt on the Black Dragon. Don't believe every rumor you hear. I'm done entertaining you clowns. Get in here, you cowards! Tempting love, but we think our next contender is a beaut. watching us fight? Like hell. You said it. They'll kill us whether we fight or not. Fighting buys us time to find a way out. So, quit being a diva. Hit me! Dive when they see one.
ain't this a thrill? Bag in the legendary Sonya Blade. He needs a medevac. We're gonna have to fight our way out to the rendezvous. You'll need these. about this future love I'm alive but you're dead as a doornail worst thing is it's those nether realm stiffs did you in should have been me let's have ourselves a do-over <laughs> Might be alive in this future, but that can change. Let me give you a break. Now, this is a pickle. Can you break his neck faster than I can gut, pretty boy? Don't forget. It's two for one. He dies, so does your little girl. Thanks, Kano. For what? For reminding me of the rules. Totally stealing that one for time quake. How about uh, dinner sometime? You know, thank you for saving my life. And uh, apologize for being, well, me. No pressure, no romance. Patience is a virtue, Cage. What is that?
Who's the special guest villain? Gyrus. Kronika's goon. Allegedly, he can't be killed. I bought a dude like that in Fatal Infinity. <sighs> Get him evac'd. I'll keep this thing occupied. Sonia Blade. Mother of Cassie Cage. Yeah. What of it? Cassie Cage defeated Shinnok, son of Kronika. I am his mother's vengeance. Stay away from my daughter. Try coming back from this. be fine. I come from tough stock. Listen, what I said back at the base about the mission, it wasn't fair. You're a damn fine soldier. I'm so proud I can almost picture myself dating Johnny. Almost. I wish I could go back to our last mission over. It wasn't easy finding out how I'd die or could die. But I reread the file. You followed orders saved your squad. I'm just glad that my sacrifice saved Earthrealm. And you. Besides, you heard Raiden. Things will never go back to what they were. We all have to choose our destiny. Kang and Kung Lao were kidding about this guy. All squads withdraw! Evac! Now! Gyrus failed. When he returns, I will strengthen him further for the final battle. Speak your mind. We've lost Shao Kahn, his outworld army, and now the Black Dragon. While Raiden's allies have burned precious time fighting Kano and Shao Kahn, our most important work has continued uninterrupted on Shang Tsung's island. That island is in ruins. What could possibly... Timecraft requires an abundance of raw temporal energy. Every mortal soul contains a lifetime of this power. Every hour, every minute, every second lived is stored within. Shang Tsung fed off souls. He collected them. In his well of souls, which remains untouched beneath his island. A destiny I crafted for Shang Tsung, in case I ever had need. Shang Tsung souls will be mine. How's the view? No sign yet of the mystical barrier you mentioned. Oh, you'll know it when it comes. How you feeling? For the first time in a while, in control. I got tossed into the deep end of this world of gods and monsters. But now, knowing my future, I feel like I finally come up for air. Those bad things that happened to me, I mean, will happen to me, like Raiden said, it's gonna be different. Isn't this good news? The things that happened to my dad, that trauma he suffered, it's why my parents met. They fell in love while he was in recovery. 
If they don't happen, you and Mom may not meet. I may never be born. Jackie, I, I can't pretend I get all this cosmic time stuff. But I do know you are here for a reason. You're not just some random accident. I hope so. Shang Tsung's Island. Here we go again. I was here for the tournament. There were people everywhere. These guys looked a lot younger. Seems like only yesterday. <sighs> Guess after Shang Tsung died, this place did too. Nobody's home. So much for needing stealth. Should have brought the whole squad. Kind of hoping Raiden's wrong about the Well of Souls. I don't want to be here longer than we. Multiple contacts. How many? Two, but one of them circling us real fast. Give me ten seconds with this guy. Jax Braves. We were partners under Quan Chi's command. You'll join me again. Got the wrong Jax. I haven't been a revenant, and I never huh. will. <laughs> Times are changing, Cabal. I'll take the speed free. We buried you in the nether realm. You a glutton for punishment? It's only you and me this time. There's no castle to bury me under. Think that hurt? You have no idea. <laughs> I'm guessing that hurt worse.
disturb Kronika's work. Disturb. Try ending. You're done messing with the Well of Souls. You're not as strong as you think, Jax. As I recall, Sindel made quick work of you. I'll take the lady in green. Time when you knew to fight for, but between Quan Chi and Kronika, your mind ain't right. I joined Raiden against Shao Kahn. He led me to my doom. Now Raiden leads you there too. I'll take my chances with Raiden. Enough dancing with the dead. Raiden said this well of souls would be underground. This way. This is Goro's lair. Thankfully, mine is Goro. Shang Tsung kept me locked up here, back at my first tournament. Never thought I'd be back. Remember where a well of souls might be? I couldn't tell you. I was pretty beat up. It's all a bit hazy. I'm guessing this is it. That crown. Five bucks says it's Chronicles. It's drawing swords from the well. There's no way that thing's unguarded. Let's grab and go before whoever's on duty gets back. That is? The first Sub-Zero. Scorpion ripped out his spine, left it in a heap upstairs in Shang Tsung's old throne room. An event of the new era will wipe from history. Hang on, Jackie. I got this. <laughs> Got that right. I'm just that tough. Guess Ermac's not the only one who's weak. Come on, let's get that thing and get out of here. Enough of this new era crap.
You're not rewriting history. Vectors write history, and I do not know. <laughs> Who's writing history now? Come on, let's get that thing and get out of here. Yes. Dad, your your arms. Those look like Kronika's design. What are you doing? Giving you the life you deserve. By destroying the universe? Restarting it, not destroying it. Being a revenant. The years I lost. The things I did. Your ma held me together. But I was never the father you needed. You're talking nonsense, man. You raised a fine daughter. She's one hell of a soldier. She shouldn't have been a soldier. I never wanted you out there, taking those risks. If I hadn't fallen apart, you wouldn't have felt the need to enlist. That's not why I do this, Dad. Please! Give that crown to me. I don't want to hurt anybody. This is seriously messed up. Hang back, kid. I know I wouldn't want to fight my dad. How about we keep this between me, myself, and I? Never thought I'd stoop so low. You don't know how bad it gets. Losing your arms was just the beginning. I know you suffered. You still do. But you don't betray your unit. And you sure as hell don't betray your family. Time's up, punk. There's got to be a way to make this right. He's out, but he'll recover. How are you? Tripping. You? Ditto. We can't leave him. Let's get him and the Crown out of here. If I never come back here, it'll be too soon. I heard that. Mortal! Surrender Kronika's crown and the Elder Jackson Briggs. No harm will come to you. No deal. We know you betrayed the Elder God, Cetrion. Kronika must restore the balance that Raiden destroyed. Can you not see? He is the devil in these matters. At least he's the devil we know. Can we take an Elder God? Cassie beat Shinnok. Only because the cages are born with crazy magic powers. Maybe we have our own magic. Stand down, please. Resistance only ensures your suffering. What are you doing? Stand back. You don't know what this thing will do. That crown is meant for Kronika. Your human physiology cannot control its power. Only got to wear this thing long enough to beat you. Mission accomplished. I can't let you do I'm not discussing it. My mind 
is too frail to wield Kronika's weapon. For your own safety, remove it. It's not time for safety. It's time for action. Eat your heart out, Cassie Cage. Not control the crown. I did not wish to harm you, but now you have forced my hand. the crown and I will spare her don't don't give it to her go her life is in your hands nobody here wants to hurt anyone now please don't let this happen to our girl damn it Now bring Jackie back. Dad, how could you do this to me? I'm not doing this to you, Jackie. I'm doing it for you. I love you. Kronika awaits our return. Come on, this fight isn't over. This will bring us our deliverance. Thank you, both of you. I sense apprehension, Jackson Briggs. I'm not usually surrounded by so many friendly faces. We are unlikely allies, united for a common cause. Worry not. Liu Kang, Kitana, are the armies assembled? They're en route. Kitana and I will see that they arrive as planned. Excellent. My strength gathers. The new era draws ever closer. The report from Jacqueline Briggs. Her father's actions have compromised our situation gravely. I know. I can't... I can't believe he did this. Even if we locate her keep, Kronika's power now likely exceeds the might of our combined forces. Maybe we should rethink using Shinnok's amulet. We cannot, Cassandra Cage. I've seen what you can do with it. You held off the entire Netherrealm army. You weren't even at full strength. I dare not risk the temptations of its dark power. Even now it calls to me. Despite Kronika's advantages, we must attack as soon as we know the Keep's location. It's been hours since we heard from the Grand Masters. What's the plan if they don't come back? They must, or else hope is lost.
Kalkia's keep. Agreed. But why not use Karan's fleet? The bridge clearly taxes her power. The fleet's bound to Karan. It sails only by his command. That it's still moored suggests he won't help Kronika. In which case, he may help us. Looks like caught on his home, perhaps hosting some unwelcome guests. Return to Earthrealm. Tell the others we found him. We'll deploy as soon as I return. Are you certain Karan will aid us? No, but he's our best chance. Chronica, Charon. Now you must suffer. I am a mortal, Devora. You cannot kill me. This one needs only render you unfit to bury Chronica's enemies. First Shinnok, now Chronica. You fight for lost causes. This one ensures the Hive's survival. You will not save the Shirai Ryu. The Shirai Ryu will not fall. The clan of imposters will indeed fall. I've restored the Shirai Ryu. Built a clan that's never been stronger. On a foundation of pretenders and outsiders, Kronika told me. Shirai Ryu. Our clan's massacre extinguished them. Kronika will revive the true Shirai Ryu in the new era. Do not trust Kronika. She uses your anger to enslave you, as Quan Chi did both of us. I let go my rage, and it saved me. To save yourself, you must do the same. It's past time you were freed. We both know what truly drives you. It's not Shirai Ryu pride. It's your wife and child. Harumi and Satoshi were stolen from me. Murdered. Seeing them again is all that matters. We share this pain. I fought through hell to end it. But Kronika's new era is not the remedy. She would resurrect Shinnok, the same devil who brought death to our family and clan. He cannot be allowed to return. When I revived the Shirai Ryu, I vowed our clan would ensure Earthrealm's protection. Help me keep that promise. Is at the fire gardens. Enlist caught 
Ron's aid. Bring Raiden's army to the keep. You must. You have my word. The new Shirai Ryu are worthy. It's heart, not blood, that makes them warriors. Your Shaolin masters, they're ready. They will fight until the last man. That is likely what it will take. There will not be a fight if Karon does not help us. Is there any word from Grandmaster Hasashi? No. If we do not hear soon, I will return to the Nether Realm. Wrong Scorpion. This cannot be good. Get Raiden. Fire gardens. Be built. The Shirai Ryu are indeed restored. Why are you here, Scorpion? Where is Grandmaster Hasashi? He is dead. Now you have come to finish us. I understand your mistrust, but I am here to assist you. I find that impossible to believe. Fight. Scorpion. My future self is dead. I am here at his behest. Grandmaster Hasashi sent you. I honor his dying wish. Karan will ferry your armies to the Isle of Kronika. We must leave at once. Do you have proof of Karan's offer? Only my word. Your word is worthless. At the tournament, I trusted you to spare Bihar, and you betrayed me. A mistake, Lord of Rage. I seek redemption. Lie, Scorpion! You are a slave, and Kronika is your master! Fight! <laughs> Raiden, you must listen. Spout your falsehoods elsewhere, Scorpion! Kronika will not entrap us. It is no trap. Karan awaits you in the Nether Realm. Lord Raiden, we should listen. He may be telling the truth. There is only one way to find out. <laughs> now, Scorpion, the truth! Raiden, stop this! Step aside, Liu Kang. Put down the amulet. Its darkness is taking hold of you. Our time has run out. I do what I must to save Earthrealm. Stay down. This is not the way. Scorpion is not the enemy this time. Liu Kang, do not interfere. <laughs> Not force my hand, Liu Kang. The realms hang in the balance. To defend them, I must command order. I thought it impossible, but the revenants were right. You cannot be trusted. I do not need trust. I demand obedience. Enough of your madness. If you must die, so be it. This, this has happened before. Do 
not interfere. You cannot fight Shao Kahn. <laughs> Liu Kang, stop! Enough of your madness. If you must die, so be it. <laughs> I have been a fool, Liu Kang. Kronika's puppet. We only battle because she wills it. I must help him. I was wrong to doubt you. I too have been a slave to anger. I do not understand, Lord Rain. Your rage was caused by Kronika? Yes, I succumbed to her influence. But then, our confrontation, it unlocked memories. Memories not only from this timeline, but from timelines that have come before. Wait a sec, timelines? Plural? Kronika has restarted time on countless previous occasions, using each timeline to learn and to perfect her plan. The details of each timeline are different. But in each one, events conspire to bring Liu Kang and I into conflict. In each one, he dies. Only Kronika has such power to control time and fate. I don't get it. Why do that? I do not know. But be assured, Kronika will control us no longer. At long last, you see the pattern. The pattern, but not the purpose. Why set me against Liu Kang? Is it not obvious? Your combined power threatens my vision for the timeline. Liu Kang and I will not be divided further by your machinations. <laughs> oh, Raiden. Do you think this is the first time you made that vow? We have repeated this exact conversation so often in so many timelines. I have lost count. This timeline will end differently. We have played out all possible scenarios, Raiden. You cannot win. You are welcome to try, of course. But without Liu Kang by your side. Enjoy these final hours, Raiden. They are all you have. Liu Kang! Where is he? Kronika has taken him to her isle. We must leave immediately to save the realms. We must save Liu Kang.
A new look? Just for me? You shouldn't have. What do you want from me? You will aid in my protection. Not likely. I have mastered Shinnok's sorcery. I will add your soul strength to mine, and finally avenge myself upon Raiden. My friends, Raiden's armies are coming. They will fight us, and they will lose. beyond the fog. cannot fight a war. This fleet is under my protection. If Karan falls, our fleet cannot sail. Protect him at all costs. Rapping speed! Jackie's sake and mine. Let me help you. Kronika's promises to you were a cruel deception. She is the mother of Shinnok, the architect of your revenant enslavement. But... No. She's Cetrion's mother. Cetrion is Shinnok's sister. In Kronika's new era, Shinnok will be the darkness to balance Cetrion's light. Which will only happen if the realms keep on fighting each other. What have I done? I'm a fool. It is not foolish to fight for your family's betterment. I'm sorry, Raiden. I promise to make this right.
chosen deaths to prepare for this battle. My defeat is impossible. Yours, inevitable. Your fate is decided. I will suffer you no more. It's unfortunate for you. The sea of blood is bottomless. You will fall forever. Now do I have your attention, Raiden? The warriors sinking your fleet are under my command. You have made a devil's bargain with Kronika, Frost. You ignored me my entire life. Kronika saw my talent from the start. <laughs> The good she could have done, in command of these Cyber Lin Kuei. She commands them, not Sector. If so, she is linked to them. They follow her thoughts. Then let them follow her to defeat. Time after time, Kronika's schemes have pitted us against each other. That cycle must end, Liu Kang. This time it will! Your power? Is this Kronika's gift? A gift to myself, say. You stole your own soul, perverted your own nature. It's a lesson you taught me, Raiden. To fight my enemies by any means necessary. I have conquered the darkness within me. You must do the same. You 
will have to kill me. I would rather save you. to Raiden. He is part of me, bound to my soul. He made me a god, for now at least. A god? Incredible. Now he's out of her league. My revenant counterpart. I have absorbed his knowledge of the Keep, of Kronika's plan. I know where to find the Hourglass. We can beat Kronika. Out of desperation comes invention. I had not thought it possible for Raiden to surprise me. Our success is no longer certain. We must make haste.
mean you're back? This means I'm sorry, Jackie. And hell yeah, I'm back. prevent Liu Kang's interference, but you will require more assistance. Whatever happens, I am honored to fight at your side. Likewise, Liu Kang. Me too, brother. May the Elder Gods protect us. Combining with Raiden has the benefit of novelty, but it is also too little, too late.
Regardless, your allies are gone, while mine remain to defend me. Finish him! Earthrealm's Jinsei flows within you. Let it fuel your fire. No mistake. Your ego knows no bounds. I did not ask for this. It was thrust upon me. It should have been me, Liu Kang, from the beginning. Thanks to Kronika, it will be. <laughs> Still, you are alive. Yes, Kronika. You are right to fear mine and Raiden's powers combined. A demigod's power cannot rival that of an elder god. Cetrion! As you wish, mother. <laughs> Match me step for step. Because your heart is not in the battle, Cetrion. You fight for your mother's vision. But as a goddess of virtue, you know that her desired balance is folly. Heed me, Cetrion. He lacks our vision and wisdom. Please. No virtue is served by condemning the realms to endless war. The greatest virtue is abiding my mother's will, Liu Kang. I cannot fail. Your heart betrays you, Cetrion. I have failed you, dearest Cetrion. You have done admirably. Yet there is one final service to perform. Yes, Mother. I understand. Exists. 
There is only the new era. Fight. The realms will not fight your endless wars. Fight me further and your friends are lost. They have no future unless I create it. The future you offer is not worth living. It will not come to pass. is finished, Liu Kang. Lord Raiden. I am merely Raiden now. You have proven worthy to take my place as Earthrealm's new protector, Lord Liu Kang. Where do we go from here? The sands of time are yours to shape. You must return the hourglass to the dawn of time and sculpt a new history, a better one. The fate of all realms in my hands? Raiden, I cannot do this alone. Yes, you will need a partner with whom you can share the eons. Kitana. Your destinies have always been intertwined. We are far in the past but not so far that I cannot reach her. Return with her to the dawn of time. Sculpt the hourglass's sands to forge a better future. I look forward to meeting again in the next timeline. Then I will not say goodbye. Are you ready? Yes. But no matter how we sculpt the sands, we cannot plan for every possibility. Mortals will make their own choices. New evils will arise. Each realm must choose its own destiny. Whatever those choices, we will face them together. is finished, Liu Kang. Lord Raiden. I am merely Raiden now. You have proven worthy to take my place as the new protector of Earthrealm, once it is restored. You honor me, Raiden. The honor is mine, Lord Liu Kang. The sands of time are now yours to shape. It falls upon you to architect a new history. The fate of all realms in my hands? Raiden, I cannot do this alone. I shall advise you for as long as my mortality allows. But have no doubt, you are up to the task. 
Then together, let us begin. Before you doom us all. Even here, at the dawn of time, you spew lies and deceit. We will not hear it. In defeating Kronika, you destroyed her crown. Without it, you can't restart history. The hourglass will shatter. All realms will be lost. Pujan, is this true? Kronika's every action was taken to ensure her crown's preparation. She would not dare to restart history without it. How do you know this? Kronika came to each of us. For our help, she offered places in her new era. For refusing her, we were banished to a void beyond time. We could observe the events leading up to your siege of the Keep, but we were powerless to intervene. But then you killed Kronika. The void seal was broken open permitting our escape via the Hourglass. If you know so much about the Hourglass, how do you propose I reset the timeline? With the Crown. The Crown is destroyed. Only in our present, not in our past. And while I cannot restart history without the Crown... You can send travelers back into the current timeline. I see. I must return to the moment before Kronika's defeat. End that battle differently, so that her crown remains intact. That leaves too much to chance. Kronika must never possess the crown. Otherwise, you cannot guarantee victory. What do you propose, sorcerer? That you send me into the past to steal the crown from my island before Kronika sends Cetrion to claim it. I'll then deliver it to Lord Raiden, and together we'll defeat Kronika. With the crown and hourglass under our control, we can restart history safely. <laughs> Why are we listening to this snake? Because I am a snake who's toiled beside Kronika, learning her secrets. I know them. Do you? He has a point, Raiden. Put it. A word? How is it you conspire against Kronika? Did her promises of grandeur not suit you? She wanted me to be her pawn, not her partner. She sculpted my entire existence to serve her, to collect souls for her crown. When my purpose was served, she betrayed me, casting me into the void. Your grievance does not fool me, Shang Tsung. Then trust that we have a shared interest in breaking Kronika's stranglehold on our destinies. Inevitably, our interests will diverge. This alliance is temporary. Have no illusions otherwise. I understand your misgivings, but it is the only way. But the risk, Liu Kang, will be rewarded. Say nothing to Nightwolf. We will proceed with your plan, Shang Tsung. I must stay behind to operate the hourglass. But Nightwolf and Fu Jin will go with you to supervise. I welcome the assistance. 
I will join you. No, Raiden. I need your counsel here. Have faith in Fujin and Nightwolf. If I have faith in anyone, it is you, brother. I will try to send you back to the Time Merger. You should have enough time to claim the crown before Cetrion delivers it to Kronika. Your confidence is inspiring. As the Keeper of Time, I am still a novice, Nightwolf. May the Great Spirit protect us. Pretender's hands, but I've returned, and I will save you from his madness. Only I can rebuild the Empire. All realms will tremble before me. Outworld will again be conquerors, never the conquered! was an unholy monster. Exactly like you, father. <laughs> Battle between Kotal and Shao Kahn. No, look! It's much later than that. This is Kitana's battle with Shao Kahn. Then we're almost out of time. We must escape quickly. Changing this battle's outcome could cause Cetrion to claim the crown earlier than expected and guarantee our failure. Let's go! Business is none of yours, Collector. My business is collecting what Shao Kahn wants. He will pay handsomely for you. 
You're outnumbered, Collector. Am I? our goal. Kronika's defeat. You will be partners in death. Thank you, great spirit. Shao Kahn. He always had more ego than skill. Come, let us leave while the crowd is distracted. No, we're already here later than we wanted to be. Let's go to your island now and take the crown. No detours. Our rather public arrival at the Colosseum makes that impossible. Chronica's outworld allies will inform her of our presence. Go to my island now. We could be ambushed by Cetrion herself. And our combined power won't stop her. We need help. But whose help? We can't recruit any of our allies without altering this timeline's events. Sindel. Sindel's a revenant. Who can be restored to life. And who plays no major part in the battles that lie ahead. We can safely recruit her without disrupting events. <laughs> it's a tactic Kronika is unlikely to anticipate. She was Shao Kahn's empress, his equal in evil. Because he had her bewitched. Returning Sindel to life will restore her original, more heroic self. And if we fail? The Sindel I knew wiped out most of Earthrealm's champions in a single battle. If Nightwolf hadn't sacrificed himself, she would have killed them all. And that is the power we need to assure victory against Cetrion. Sindel is the key. And I suppose restoring her will be easy. Anything but. We can use Earthrealm's Jinsei to heal Sindel's body. But to break Quan Chi's spell and revive her soul, we will need access to Outworld's Soul Chamber. You have a different plan, Nightwolf? A better one? One hint of betrayal, Sorcerer. And we will finish you. Where do we start? Earth realm to acquire the Jinze. Coliseum. How is that possible? It should not be. Those cast into the void do not return. If Shang Tsung were to... I am aware, Garrus. Take Frost and find them. We must discern from when and whence they came. That will be sufficient. You two may leave. I'll stay behind to secure the grotto. Your aid is not required.
Perhaps so. Excellent. Who knew the Shaolin was so diabolical? From you, that's high praise. Indeed. Song, come. Kronika is keen to question you. Isn't the future, Frost. We've seen it. Join us on the right side of history. The only side is Kronika's. My place in her new era is assured. <laughs> <laughs> Is he finished? I am eternal, Fujin. My will and my strength, infinite. I have fought. You are the fiercest. It must be why the Great Spirit chose me to wear the mantle. You are also anomalous. No one has ever escaped the void. Fight! To buy us time. We must be rid of him before he recovers. Fujin, summon the wind. Realm. Havoc will keep him entertained. Let's get to the Nether Realm. 
We're running out of time to find Sindel. Highly unexpected, given that she did not aid in the Keep's defense. What was her role, then, if she is such a formidable weapon? Is it possible that... <sighs> Great Spirit. What is it? My Revenant. cannot save you. Take them to the Bone Temple. Shang Tsung! Nightwolf! Shang Tsung! Where are we? Shinnok's Bone Temple. Raiden's violence against our lord will not go unavenged, Fujin. Prepare to pay for your brother's sins. Sindel, you look well. Death becomes you. Always the charmer, Shang Tsung. I will enjoy feeding Lord Shinnok your soul. most. Only the best will do for the man who killed me. I should have saved you. Hopefully we will today. <laughs> without killing my revenant. I'm not going to kill you. <laughs> As Raiden said to Lord Shinnok, there are fates worse than death. I can imagine few fates worse than yours. <laughs> Sacrifice will save the Matoka. 
Kronika has no love for our people. The Great Spirit is a fraud who allowed us to suffer. Kronika is our future. Fight. Kronika is not the answer. Oh. Shang Tsung, stop! We can restore him! He wounded me. If I die, we fail. Sorcerer, I'll... No, Nightwolf. Shang Tsung must live. Are you happy now? I am healthy, Nightwolf. That should be your concern. Both of you, please. We must make haste to the Soul Chamber. Then let us hurry. And hope Shiva is as eager to aid us as I anticipate. Escort you and your comrades to the Soul Chamber? Yes. Have you come from the future only to insult me? I am no sword for hire. This request is far below your present station, your highness. But defeating Kronika depends on us reaching that chamber. Why? Because we must restore Sindel. My Empress. You've captured her revenant. Together, Fujin and I can restore her to life. Why? To make a slave of her, as Quan Chi did? So that she can aid us against Kronika. But you have my vow. She will return free of all influence. As I recall, you were bloodbound to Empress Sindel. I was her protector for life. How it must have pained you when she died. That was not your fault. You could not save her then. Now you can. Then I... No. We must present this to Kitana Khan. Respectfully, your highness. If we approach Kitana... She'll cut Shang Tsung's head off. Kitana never appreciated my contributions to the Empire. Like replacing her with an evil clone. Yes. Time is short, Queen Shiva. We must act now and beg Kitana's forgiveness later. After restoring her mother. Will you help us? By concealing you from Kitana, I betray my oath to her. But my life belongs to Sindel. You will be recognized by Kitana's Imperial Guard. True. They won't take to me kindly. That will do. We've made it this far. There's a stairway beyond those doors, and at the top, 
The Soul Chamber. I feel it. So there he was, neck deep in shit, cowering at the business end of an outhouse. He picked a bad place to hide, and an even worse place to die. business, Baraka. We're equal partners, remember? The Khan's business is my business. You are not Shokan. I know that scent. Smells like... Shang Tsung. How's that for strange bedfellows? What do you say we skip the preliminaries and y'all come with us quietly? We'll have a nice, friendly chat with Gitana Khan. There's no time for chat. We must get to the Soul Chamber urgently. Then go on and get to it. But we're taking Shang Tsung and that coffin. <laughs> 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 My sincere apologies. Tarkatan blood is shed. You will atone, Shiva. Were you not warned? Tarkatans are all mouth and no ears. You speak when you should listen. Time to spill it. Who's toes up in that coffin? Empress Sindel. We can restore her with the soul chamber. Hold up, Shiva. You're resurrecting Katana's evil mama. Whatever your reasons, this ain't a good look for you. Know your place, Outlander. Let's move quickly. What in Argus's name is happening out here? Shang Tsung. I thought I saw you slither away from the Colosseum. You always were perceptive. We have no wish to fight, Jade. This is Sindel's revenant. We can restore her to life, so she can join the fight against Kronika. Please, Jade. We must enter. You have yet to convince me. Even if you do, the Soul Chamber is occupied. Kotal uses it to mend his broken spine. Disrupting him now could leave his injuries permanent. I promise we will not disturb him. Your promises are empty, sorcerer. We will not harm Kotal. As my ally, you should trust me. So much for Adinian loyalty. No! 
you will recover. Now we must... I recall my captivity in your flesh pits all too well. You need more time to heal. I am strong enough to kill him. Today he is our ally. With his sorcery, Sindel can live again. Necromancy is forbidden. You have taken leave of your senses. Reverse the spell you have cast on them, sorcerer. <laughs> Submit to Katana Khan's justice, not yours. Queen Shiva. Katana Khan, I. Hold your tongue. Jade told me everything. Nothing good can come from that sorcerer's hands. He will restore your mother, Kitana Khan. For a thousand years, I've dreamed of seeing her alive again. But her soul deserves better than to be corrupted by Shang Tsung. This perversion ends now. How quickly your oath to me has broken, Shiva. I have been bound to your mother for millennia. I must honor her. Fight. Forgive me, Katana Khan.
Welcome back, your highness. It pleases me to see you, too. Am I alive? Is this real? It is, Lady Sindel. A miracle we could not have achieved without your most loyal subject. Shiva? Empress, though today I have aided you, too often have I failed to protect you. I am not worthy. Ah, oh, nonsense. Today, you give me the greatest gift. A second chance. Your duty is fulfilled. I am in your debt now. Thank you, Empress. Where is my daughter? Ah, oh, Katana. It is me, Katana. Your mother. I... I want to feel joy, but... All I feel is... I was only a child when you... You... How could you kill yourself? Why did you abandon me? I did neither, Katana. After being forced to wed Shao Kahn, I ran afoul of Quan Chi. He accused me of distracting Shao Kahn. Then the miscreant murdered me and staged my death as a suicide. As I had always suspected. But all this time? Everything I've been told about you, it's all lies. What can I trust? Trust that I loved your father, Jared. Trust that I love you. No, oh, mother. This reunion is a blessing, but we have little time to celebrate. We must leave for Shang Tsung's island to finish our quest. I would go with you, fight by your side. But Outworld needs its Khan. I know. Rest assured, Kitana, I will come home. Sindel has been restored. Shang Tsung would only undertake such an arduous task if her aid promised a decisive advantage. She is but one mortal. And one of the few who can harm you. I fear no harm. They are at Shang Tsung's island. Your crown. Shang Tsung knows. Then our time for preparation is over. Go to the island now. We cannot win their hearts, so do not try. Do not permit your better nature to compromise you. I understand, Mother. Question their judgment. Have neither of you any compassion? Not for fools who follow you. Are we not following him now? At least we do not follow that fool, Raiden. Then we would surely die. a better plan. There's more to come.
return to the void. Not even she can help you. <laughs> Slow. I expected better, Fujin. Now do I meet your expectations? Cetrion must be on her way. Sindel and I will occupy her. You two get the crown. I must ask, sorcerer, how long before you betray us? <laughs> I find your lack of faith amusing. When it happens, we will be ready. favor, Fujin, and take one giant step back. You too, sorcerer. Makes sense we'd meet again down here. When you caged me up, beat me within an inch of my life. The hell if I ain't gonna return the favor. Always so generous. Amusing, but insufficient. You lost to me at your temple, Fujin. Now, Crony Guys made me even stronger. You did not win that fight. You ran away. Fight! <laughs> Promises cannot be trusted, Jackson. Bihan, Kano, Shao Kahn. Look at the scoundrels she employs. That's a card you can't play, Fujin. Not when you're buddied up with Shang Tsung. Fight! Kronika will not heal your wounds, Jackson. Damn it, Fujin. You know what I've suffered. Kronika's my one chance to prevent all that. Not just for me, but for Jackie, for Vera. Shit. You're a god. Ain't no way you get how this feels. 
You know, the only time Raiden and I ever fought? When I left the Sky Temple to live among humans. Do not become attached to them, Fujin. Sentiment will impede the execution of your duty. But warriors like you and I, we are strengthened by sentiment. We do not fight to kill enemies. We fight to protect our loved ones. That is why it cuts so deeply when we fail. Well, I'll be. Maybe you do get it. Kronika knows your pain. She manipulates you with it. Jacqueline is on her way here. Kronika expects you to fight her. Worse even, break her heart. Is that someone who cares one whit about you or your family? Can you fight? I'll do what I can. Kronika offered the future, but instead you will have none. Blame only yourselves for this fate. Fight! It is your fate that should concern you, Cetrion. <laughs> Well, Shang Tsung, your strategy proved sound after all. Of course it did. Hands over your head, Shang Tsung! You too, Sindel. That hair so much as twitches. Ease up, baby girl. Dad? How did you get here? We're all on the same side against Kronika. Yes. And now we must bring this to Raiden. Is that a crown? Kronika's crown. Without it, she lacks the power to restart history. About time we had some good news. Now that we have this, we're in uncharted territory. We've changed this timeline for good. Correct. 
No one can predict what happens next. Not even me. I must return to Outworld to aid Katana Khan. Thank you for aiding us. We will rendezvous at the Sea of Blood in six hours. Until our next battle. Sorcerer. I'll go with the Briggs family to brief the special forces. May the Great Spirit protect you. May she protect you, Fujin, when Raiden lays eyes on you with Shang Tsung. Failure rests on my shoulders. No. I underestimated Shang Tsung's ingenuity. To escape the void. To return from the future. I will face him again, Mother. This time, I will succeed. I must go. With Shang Tsung in possession of the crown, he's become far too dangerous. And I doubt his new allies realize quite how dangerous he is. Your Shaolin masters, they're ready. They will fight until the last man. That is likely what it will take. There will not be a fight if Karon does not help us. Is there any word from Grandmaster Hasashi? No. If we do not hear soon, I will return to the Nether Realm. Wrong Scorpion. This cannot be good. Get Raiden. The Fire Gardens. Rebuilt. The Shirai Ryu are indeed restored. Why are you here, Scorpion? Where is Grandmaster Hasashi? He is dead. And now you have come to finish us. I understand your mistrust, but I am here to assist you. I find that impossible to believe. What is he doing here? We are not together. If you are here to help, prove it. Join me against the sorcerer. I shall. Fujin? Raiden thought you lost when the timeline was broken, but you stand with Shang Tsung. We have urgent news for Raiden. Please, let us pass. This may be the sorcerer's trick. The Fire Gardens will not be defiled by his presence. <laughs> Why you have joined Shang Tsung is beyond me, Fujin. What has he done to corrupt your mind? Perhaps listen, before you judge. Thank you, Fujin. The storm is not yet past. Shang Tsung! We must speak with you, brother. We, Fujin? Since when are you friends with this filth? I'm here to save you, Raiden. We hail from your tragic future. In it, Liu Kang defeated Kronika, but their battle destroyed her crown. Without this, a broken timeline couldn't be repaired. 
Our only hope was to return here, steal the crown, and make use of its power. Now we can change the outcome of the fight against Kronika. We can defeat her and fix time. I had never thought you gullible, brother. Shang Tsung's schemes serve only to benefit him. How could you fall for such lies? Be rational, Raiden. Spread your falsehoods elsewhere, sorcerer. You will not deceive us. Lord Raiden, we should listen. He may be telling the truth. There is only one way to find out. <laughs> Now, Shang Tsung, the truth! Raiden, stop this! Step aside, Liu Kang. Put down the amulet. Its darkness is taking hold of you. <laughs> you also betray me! This is not the way. Shang Tsung is not the enemy this time. The realms hang in the balance, and you form this unholy alliance? <laughs> Enough of this madness. If you both must die, so be it. My brother is my problem. I will signal if I need help. Shinnok's amulet inflames your anger and clouds your judgments. Have faith in me. Now listen, brother. We're running out of time. I am a fool. I have allowed myself to become a slave to anger. I will not allow my temper to fracture our resolve further. Surely you jest, Lord Fujin. Not at all, Liu Kang. Raiden's power makes you a fire god. Of course it does. Unfortunately, I cannot transfer my power to Liu Kang yet. First, I must free his Revenant from Quan Chi's curse. We will face the Revenant soon enough. What else can you tell us about the final battle? We must use every advantage. Enjoying your travels. You have already been defeated once, Kronika. Of course, Fujin. How else could you have escaped the void? If you know this, accept the inevitable. Surrender. But clearly my loss was not your victory, Raiden. If your future savior had gained full control of my hourglass, we would not be here. This timeline would no longer exist. I see no harm in confirming your suspicion. Even if you defeat me, what then? Who claims the Hourglass? Surely you realize that Shang Tsung will break your alliance. We are prepared, Kronika. Are you? Have you wondered why Shang Tsung knows so much about my crown? Because he did your bidding, gathering souls to fuel it. Shang Tsung is far too modest. The crown is his design. No one, save me, knows more about its power. Had I told you, we would still be marooned at the beginning of time, bickering among ourselves. You must decide, Raiden. Who do you wish to keep time for all of creation? Me, or Shang Tsung? Neither, Kronika. You will be beaten. And if Shang Tsung betrays us, we will finish him. You are a fool, Raiden. Do not condemn the realms to oblivion. <laughs>
challenging a titan. Now I end your existence. Truly, my finest work. I will instruct you in its ways. What just happened? Kronika came here to retrieve the crown. We forced her to retreat. We must strike while she is weakened. Let us join the armies massing at the Sea of Blood. Together, we will storm Kronika's Isle and take command of the Hourglass. We will rendezvous at the Isle of Kronika. The fools believe victory is at hand. Their misplaced confidence will be their demise. Such a pity my daughter embraces their sentimental values. Having second thoughts in them. Hardly. Katana courts a peasant and obeys the Thunder God. She couldn't be a bigger disappointment. One can only imagine. The Isle. Do not be late. An eternal empire awaits you. Enter. Kitana Khan. Oh, don't be so formal, Mother. You are Khan Kitana. Command the awe of your subjects, even me. Oh, I shall never tire of greeting you. Nor will I tire of calling on you. Our battalion is leaving for the Sea of Blood. Queen Shiva and the Shokan will follow as rear guard. May I request something? Mother, you don't have to... ...make your request. Shiva. Queen Shiva. Risked everything to restore me. Honor demands that I accompany her into battle. Yes, it does. And that display of loyalty is sure to rally the Shokan spirits. Thank you, Kitana Khan.
doesn't know when to quit. Let's finish him. Chamber will heal your wounds. Then we'll discipline Katana and take back our throne. Empress? Tell me I misheard. Tell me you would not betray your daughter. She takes after her father, Shiva. Jared was a weak king. Katana is a weaker Khan. Weak? She defeated Shao Khan. Yet she lacked the resolve to kill him. Now she will learn. Enemies must be crushed, lest they rise again. That was true once, but now there is a better way to lead. Elder gods tremble before me, Shiva. What hope did you have? Kitana murdered your Shokan brethren. Shiva challenged her and suffered this punishment. Swear your allegiance, and I shall see her avenged. the hourglass. Eternity will be our empire. We'll have all the time we need. Shao Kahn, Sindel, come with me. Kronika has need of you. Kronika? Where was she when Katana stole my throne? We'll make a choke on her empty promises. Allow me the privilege, husband. It will be mine to watch you punish him. Your maker sends you to die, Geras. As she has done billions of times before. Each time, the perfection of her design grows closer. Fight! All that grows closer is her defeat, Garrus. Perhaps we should send the fleet. No. 
Shao Kahn and Sindel have unwittingly given us back the advantage. Their army will battle Raidens for possession of my crown, weakening them both. Then we crush what remains of them with strength to spare. The crown once again will be mine. When it is, the new era will begin. Captain Cage reporting for duty, sir. Uh, I mean, ma'am. Whoa there, 90s dad. You've already got one bullet wound too many. I'm healed, Cassie. Raiden gave me one of his Thunder Hands massages. Speaking of, where is Mama Bear? She's over there, waiting for Shiva at the rendezvous. But we cast off in five. Where are they? Gender, or is that sexist? Just zip it and try not to die. Enough prattle, fools. You will bow and serve the Empire. Make us, you authoritarian asshole. Deal with the Jester. I'll school this unruly child. You school me? You know I toasted Shinnok, right? Ha! <laughs> Shinnok schemed because he was worthless in battle. That you beat him only proves that truth. <laughs> now you understand true power. The poor man is heartbroken. Why waste tears on weaklings? Those women are braver and stronger than 50 of you put together. Okay, bozos. No jokes, no gimmicks, just combat. You wanna get nuts? Oh, ho, ho. let's get nuts. How many of his bones shall I break for you, wife? Surprise me. Twice you fought in the tournament, and twice you failed. Why Raiden thought you a contender baffles me. Fight. Was that your best?
Raiden and Fujin have gone ahead to storm the Isle. But we've lost all contact with our rear guard. Commander Cage and the Special Forces, Queen Shiva and the Shokan, and Mother. I am just going to say what we are all thinking. She did not betray us. Let's not jump to conclusions. Look! Is that the Special Forces? No. Elder Gods, damn you, Mother! Katana. No doubt the little princess is hiding. Nobody is hiding, Shao Kahn. Not after your epic failure at the Colosseum. That belongs to me, Sindel. Have it. I hope you have more than that for the heir of the great Kung Lao. Find Katana, husband. Why am I always right? You're breaking Katana's heart. A eunuch monk can't hope to understand the ways of mothers and daughters. You did not just call me a eunuch. <laughs> I could call you worse. used on you this time. Naive girl. Your mother is not bewitched. She never has been. She had a husband and a kingdom, and you took them away. <laughs> oh, Kitana. My first husband, your father, was a fool. Jared believed that we were no better than commoners. He refused to assert the privileges of our throne. He traded away our powers, our divine rights. Edenia grew weak and vulnerable. Then Shao Kahn invaded, embracing his power, taking what was his. 
Here was a man unashamed to assert his privilege, and who vowed to protect mine. I had found my true love, and to consecrate our bond, I killed Jared for him. You love Shao Kahn more than your own daughter? Let the women be, chosen one. You owe me combat. You should have stayed dead. Please, that wounds me, daughter. I am prepared to do much worse. Learn or be punished, child. was a false con, a traitor to Outworld. She conspired with Raiden to lead you astray. He seeks Kronika's power. Why? To destroy the Empire. All who follow Katana are complicit in her treason. Your sentence is death. But we will grant clemency now and riches in the new era. To all who renounce Kitana and fight under our command. Now, man the oars. We have a battle to win for the new era. shall be put in chains. Let her suffer the anguish of defeat. And what of him? Charge. Go. I'll cover it.
Time after time, Kronika's schemes have pitted us against each other. That cycle must end, Liu Kang. You will have to kill me. I would rather save you. <laughs> Sal Khan, he smashed my legs. Shao Khan. Sindel and Shao Kahn. I will do it. Save your strength for Liu Kang. No, brother. The crown is our burden to share. Thank you. Your lies are revealed, sorcerer. Shang Tsung? You should be more vigilant, Fuji. Now bear witness, as the power to decide destiny becomes mine. You are trapped in the void. Chronica was wise to banish me. With this crown, I am her equal. Your evil will not triumph. <laughs> <laughs> Spirit will choose another. I may die, but the mantle will live on. Fool. The mantle dies with you. His soul is not yours to take. His soul and yours are mine. You think us unprepared? Your treachery is expected, sorcerer. You are incapable of choosing the righteous path. The path I choose ends with your soul sworn to my service. 
That future is now undeniable. Fight! Now, I choose your destiny. No. Keep them alive. We can siphon their powers for eternity. All the better. Breached our defenses. Victory is still at hand. We will put down Shang Tsung's defiance, but you will require more assistance. Dearest Cetrion, you have served me admirably. Now there is one final service you must perform. Yes, Mother. I understand. be our privilege to wield it. Please, allow me. Shang Tsung, pretender to my role. Your strategy has been novel. But in the end, you will not prevail. Finish them! Chronica is my destiny. Yours is to serve me, my obedient subjects, projecting my influence throughout the realms. You're drunk on the crown's power, Shang Tsung. In your stupor, 
You forget your place. He is a dog who betrays his masters. Come, let's put him down. My service to you is over. prefer to be wiped from history. Sculpting the sands of time requires great power and skill. You may wear my crown, but you are not a titan. Fight. is mine. You should have accepted my offer, Kronika. I would have allowed you to wield great influence. Surely, service is better than death. I do not serve. I am a titan. <laughs> you were, Kronika. Liu Kang, I thought your duties required you stay behind. A lie, something you know well. I see now. The hourglass showed that only I could wield the crown against Kronika successfully. You let me win. And to ensure victory, you sacrificed the lives of your friends. How deliciously cold-blooded. They are not gone, Shang Tsung. They will live again in my new era. Your new era? You underestimate my prowess, Chosen One. I have the crown. 
I have absorbed Chronicus' power. You may have attained godhood, but I am the keeper of time. You are no match for me. Chronica said much the same, Shang Tsung. You will share her fate. Long have I had visions of this moment. I will savor your death for eternity. You are mad, Shang Tsung. Your visions are nothing. Delusions of an adult mind. Fight. <laughs> Existence ends in shame. All the power that was once yours is mine. Forever. are next. All realms will soon yield to your influence. <laughs> it has begun. This is your only chance. My only chance? This is my triumph and your final moment. Your worthless existence is at its end. Fight. <laughs> No mistake, Shang Tsung. You have chosen this fate. No more. 
more timelines will be twisted by your evil. Did you... Who... Who are you? I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Thunder and Fire. God of... Forgive my disrespect, my lord. Enough, Kung Lao. You are humble, not like the Kung Lao I knew. The Kung Lao you knew? A story for another time. I have chosen you as my champion, Kung Lao. We have work to do. You must be prepared. Trained. Trained? For what? Guided by Sinto, his ancestral sword, Ken Shi destroyed Shao Kahn and saved Earthrealm from Armageddon. But he had not yet exacted revenge on Shang Tsung. The elusive sorcerer had hidden himself somewhere in Outworld. Jax allowed Ken Shi access to a newly developed portal that permitted travel among realms. In return, Kenshi agreed to serve the fledgling Outer World Investigation Agency. After countless missions, he finally located Shang Tsung. With a roar, Kenshi plunged Sinto through Shang Tsung's chest. The magical sword drew the souls of Kenshi's ancestors into itself, leaving Shang Tsung a withered husk. His vendetta fulfilled, Kenshi left Shang Tsung to die, alone and powerless. Shao Kahn had used rain to crush the Edenian resistance, but had not granted him an army. For this betrayal, rain drowned the Emperor in his own blood. A grateful Raiden thanked Rain for eliminating the Emperor and saving Earthrealm. His heroics were befitting of a son of Argus. Rain's lost heritage was a revelation to him. That he was a direct descendant of an Edenian god proved his superiority. Power was his by right. His divinity confirmed Rain's path was clear. He would use Shao Kahn's army to rule not just Outworld, but all the realms. To Raiden's surprise and horror, Rain's first target is Earthrealm.
Shokan and Centaur alike were enraged that Baraka, Shao Kahn's trusted enforcer, had turned on their master and killed him just as Earthrealm was within their grasp. But their anger turned to admiration as the lifeless body of Shao Kahn transformed into that of the treacherous sorcerer Shang Tsung. Shang had attempted to claim the realm for himself by posing as Shao Kahn. The deception had not fooled Baraka. He had recognized Shang Tsung's scent and torn out his throat. With Earthrealm finally in Shao Kahn's control, Baraka's loyalty and bold action were rewarded. The Tarkatans replaced the Centaur as the Emperor's favored race. Though he had pledged his life to the Lin Kuei, Cyrax left the clan to help the Earthrealm heroes turn back Shao Kahn's invasion. For this act of desertion, he was marked for termination by the new Grand Master, Sector. Surrounded and severely outnumbered, Cyrax prepared to meet his fate when Raiden came to his aid. With him were 100 Shaolin monks, the Lin Kuei were defeated, though Sector was not counted among the dead. Cyrax was offered sanctuary at the Wuxi Academy, where he has begun a new life as an honorable warrior for peace. With Shao Kahn dead, Ermac was no longer bound to him. Anarchy erupted within Ermac as the many warrior souls that comprised his being struggled for dominance. Only one had the strength of will to quiet the chaos. The conflict resolved, Ermac returned to Outworld, determined to reunite with his past. Queen Sindel and Princess Katana were shocked to learn the truth, that trapped among the many spirits within Ermac was their husband and father, King Jared. Though he would never be the Jared they once knew, Ermac would forever serve and protect his queen and the Adenian people. Shao Kahn was defeated, but the intense battle rendered Jade unconscious. She slipped into a dreamlike state and found herself walking in an unknown realm. As she explored, her surroundings shifted and changed. Jade approached a lone figure who stood in the distance, a shimmering woman. She did not reveal her name, but spoke with an air of regal authority. Through the minds of countless mortals, the woman had been watching events as they unfolded over the centuries. She informed Jade that Shao Kahn's death was an outcome that must be reimagined. Jade was defenseless as the woman possessed her body and emerged in the waking world. After the invasion was thwarted, many of Jax's allies had seemingly disappeared, leaving him to clean up the mess on his own. He searched for Shao Kahn's remaining forces, utilizing a new cyber scanner designed to remotely access worldwide databases. Navigating its virtual reality interface, Jax inadvertently accessed Kano's brain through his optical laser implant. Their minds linked, Jax virtually battled Kano. Finally, he captured and quarantined Kano's consciousness within the Special Forces mainframe. A dangerous criminal had finally been neutralized. As the last remnants of Shao Kahn disintegrated, Johnny felt strange, as if he had lost control of his body. Suddenly, powerful energy burst forth, destroying everything around him. Johnny sought the aid of Raiden and Nightwolf, but their efforts did nothing to stop these random spasms of destruction. Desperate, Raiden transported Johnny to Sado, the realm of order, where he could be taught to control his power. Johnny Cage will transform into a warrior powerful beyond mortal imagining.
Victory over Shao Kahn came with a heavy price. Cabal's respirator was badly damaged, and if it was not repaired soon, he would surely die. Desperate, he tracked down Kano and forced from him the identity of the cyberneticist who developed Kano's eye laser. The good doctor was not easy to find, but he was more than eager to help for a price. Now Cabal is rebuilt. He is better than he was before. Stronger, faster. He will need to be in order to repay his debt. Kano made a fortune selling arms to Shao Kahn and used the profits to upgrade his cybernetics. The added connectivity of his eye implant gave him unparalleled access to global communications. Using his mind, he navigated the databases of banks, law enforcement agencies, and other networks. But his activities left him vulnerable to hackers. Jax infiltrated Kano's mind and trapped his consciousness in the Special Forces mainframe. It wasn't long, however, until Kano managed to free himself. His consciousness spread like a virus throughout the Special Forces network of automated weaponry. Kano has become a one-man army. Kitana had ended Shao Kahn's life for his betrayal. She had discovered the truth about Melina, but rather than slay her as well, she took pity on her half-sister. She offered Melina a home within the Edenian aristocracy. She was, after all, of royal blood. Melina cautiously accepted her sister's invitation. With Melina and Jade at her side, Kitana formed a fighting force dedicated to bringing justice to the realms. Never again would a warlord arise to create such terror. Kung Lao had avenged his ancestor's death and saved Earthrealm from Shao Kahn's brutality. In quiet reflection with Raiden at the grave of the great Kung Lao, he touched the modest stone marker. Images of past events, moments of someone else's life, flashed through his mind, concluding with a lost battle against Goro. Raiden theorized that Kung Lao had unlocked memories of his past life. The Kung Lao that stood before Raiden was in fact the reincarnation of the great Kung Lao, who had been defeated by Goro 500 years ago. He had accomplished in the present what he could not in the past. Having defeated Shao Kahn, Liu Kang believed he was the only one capable of defending Earthrealm against outside threats. During the invasion, Raiden had been more burdened than ally. Brazenly, he demanded the Elder Gods grant him the Thunder God status. In a one-match Mortal Kombat tournament, Liu Kang defeated his former friend and mentor. Liu Kang's request was granted. He was made a god, the new protector of Earthrealm. Melina killed the Emperor in a fit of deranged fury. But she was unaware that her victory resulted from Shang Tsung's designs. He had imbued Melina with the ability to drain Shao Kahn's dark magic, rendering him vulnerable. Now Shang Tsung was ready to execute the next phase of his plan. Murder Melina and take Shao Kahn's power for himself. But Melina instinctively wielded her new dark power against the sorcerer. Shang Tsung's end came quickly. Melina absorbed his soul, multiplying her strength. 
She then set out to claim an even bigger prize, the soul of a Thunder God. It took all of Nightwolf's power to destroy Shao Kahn. His spirit guide, the Wolf, had aided him in the battle. But in the aftermath, its presence was no longer felt. Nightwolf returned to his home, seeking the Elder's help in reconnecting to the spirit world. During their ritual, his wolf returned to him, changed. Shao Kahn had tethered his soul to the wolf spirit in order to cheat death. Now corrupted with Shao Kahn's evil, Nightwolf has transformed into his animality, his bite converting his victims into subservient lycanthropes. Through Nightwolf, Shao Kahn will conquer Earthrealm, one mortal at a time. Controlled by Quan Chi's sorcery, Scarlet attacked and destroyed Shao Kahn. As Quan Chi's magic subsided, she realized her unwitting role in his plot to bring ruin to Outworld. With Shao Kahn's blood splattered across her body, Scarlet absorbed his immense strength. She used this newfound power against Quan Chi. Brotherhood of Shadow Warriors raced to defend the Sorcerer, but their blood only served to make Scarlet invincible. In a battle between sorcery and gore-fueled fighting power, she avenged her fallen master. Having served her purpose, Scarlet disappeared into the shadows, awaiting Shao Kahn's rebirth. Having finally brought about Shao Kahn's demise, Quan Chi was then tasked with growing the ranks of the Brotherhood of Shadow. Many warriors had perished in Outworld's invasion of Earthrealm. Quan Chi stole their souls and remade them to serve his master, the Fallen Elder God. The task completed, Shinnok repaid Quan Chi's service by ordering his execution, thereby eliminating a possible challenger to his rule. Quan Chi had anticipated this act of treachery, however, and resurrected Shao Kahn, the ultimate phantom warrior. With Shao Kahn as his enforcer, Quan Chi struck down the Brotherhood of Shadow and Shinnok. Quan Chi forgives betrayal from no one, not even a god. After the victory over Shao Kahn, Sub-Zero learned from Raiden the truth, that the Lin Kuei were ultimately responsible for the deaths of both Sub-Zero's and Scorpion's families. Enraged, Sub-Zero offered Scorpion a chance to share in his quest for vengeance. With the might of fire and ice combined, they were a storm of vengeful fury as they cut down their foes. Once justice had been done, Sub-Zero and Scorpion disappeared into legend, emerging from obscurity only to avenge the innocent. The forces of darkness will never stop this deadly alliance.
Despite telling the world that he was simply doing his job, Stryker was made a hero for saving Earth from invasion. He received both the key to the city and the Congressional Medal of Freedom. Press and paparazzi hounded his every move. His biography spent a year on the bestseller lists. Striker action figures flew off the shelves and into every young boy's hand. But when approached by Hollywood for the rights to his story, Striker put his foot down. Never would he allow himself to be portrayed by Johnny Cage. The loss of friends and allies during the battle with Shao Kahn took its toll on Sonya Blade's sanity. She left the special forces and went into seclusion to cope with her grief. But her solitude was brief as she found herself regularly visited by an apparition who claimed to be her missing father. With her father as a guide, Sonya embarked on a mission to exterminate what remained of Shao Kahn's army. Shao Kahn's violent death shook the very core of Smoke's being and dislodged his earliest memories. Tomas Rabada was only a boy when he was abducted by an obscure cult and sacrificed to a demon. Burned alive, he returned to the mortal realm as an Anenra, a creature of smoke and vapor. His captors were helpless against his shapeless form as he lashed out with rage, killing them all. His murder avenged, he returned to his human form, remembering nothing of his former life. Now aware of his true identity, Smoke understands he is no mere assassin. His destiny has been revealed. The spell that bewitched Queen Sindel had been broken. She did battle with Shao Kahn and slew him. Punishment for the suffering he brought upon her and millions of others throughout the realms. She dissolved the sorcery that bound Edenia with Outworld and began restoring her realm to its former glory. The many races of Outworld were impressed. Not only had Sindel defeated Shao Kahn, but she had shown great leadership in chaotic times. They willingly offered her their allegiance. Under Sindel's governance, the realms of Edenia and Outworld remain merged in spirit. Shiva had recognized the signs. Her people were out of favor and in decline. The Centaur would soon dominate Shao Kahn's forces, while the Shokan would move inexorably toward extinction. Shiva's act of defiance, her murder of Shao Kahn, made possible a new home for her people among the mortals of Earthrealm, a world free of both Tarkatan and Centaur. With cooperation from world leaders, Shiva secured for the Shokan the continent of Australia. In return, they would protect Earthrealm from future invasions. For her leadership, Shiva was exalted, the most honorable Shokan in their proud history. Shang Tsung voraciously consumed Shao Kahn's soul, absorbing his immense power. Overwhelmed by his newfound sorcery, he fled to Outworld. Moments before suicide, Shang Tsung was visited by Bo Raicho. The mentor of warriors offered to teach him to control the dark magic, but for a special purpose. Lu Kang had become a god. The power had corrupted him, transforming him into a tyrant. He needed to be stopped. After rigorous training, Shang Tsung mastered the one technique that could finish Liu Kang. 
Vengeance would finally be here. Sector had dedicated his life to the Lin Kuei. His victories had brought honor to his father, the Grand Master. He had proven himself worthy. It was time to replace his father. In a bold attack, Sector smashed through a company of Lin Kuei guards as he pushed toward the Grand Master's chamber. There he found his father waiting. The Grand Master warned him that wearing the Dragon Medallion brought much power, but at a cost. Sector ignored the warning and slew his father, whose soul burst from his body and flew into the medallion. Sector had finally seized control of the Lin Kuei. Shao Kahn's death did nothing to relieve Scorpion's pain. The loss of his kin still weighed heavily upon him. For reasons he could neither explain nor understand, he was drawn to the home of the Shirai Ryu. Standing amid the rubble in solemn contemplation, Scorpion was visited by apparitions of his fallen comrades, who revealed the true mastermind behind their brutal deaths. Enraged, he returned to the Nether Realm. As the spirits of his kin immobilized Quan Chi, Scorpion slew him, finally avenging their deaths. Having defeated Shao Kahn, Reptile was feared by all. He forced Shang Tsung to regenerate his raptor race. The process took agonizing months, but soon Reptile heard the snarls of young broodlings throughout the flesh pits. Eventually, Shang Tsung had created an army of raptor warriors bred to serve Reptile. They stormed the realm, killing any Tarkatan, Shokan, or Centaur who opposed Reptile's rule. The intoxicating feeling of reuniting with his people blinded Reptile to the suffering of his former comrades. Reptile was home once more. Shao Kahn was gone, but the scars of the merging of realms remained. Remnants of the invasion force roamed freely and had to be dealt with. But Earthrealm is vast, and Raiden is but one being. He recruited four warriors, one for each direction of the wind, and divided his soul, placing one part in each of them. Through these new heroes, Raiden can combat the forces of darkness in four places at once. Quan Chi should never have resurrected Noob Saibot, nor should he have enhanced his power to defeat Shao Kahn. The revenant he created had broken free of his control. Noob had secretly formed an understanding with a cleric from the Realm of Chaos, and opened for him a portal to the Nether Realm. Shinnok, Quan Chi, and the Brotherhood of Shadow were unprepared as the forces of chaos overwhelmed them, leaving the underworld severely weakened. Satisfied with his work, the cleric, Havoc, returned to the realm of chaos. Noob Saibot remained to seize control of the nether realm. After destroying Shinna, Triborg turned his attention to the special forces. General Blade and the others fought valiantly, but their human weaknesses led to their inevitable defeat. Now with access to the SF computer network, Triborg used it to interface with the Lin Kuei storage drives from which he was spawned. He saved the brainwave data of dozens of his Lin Kuei brothers and sisters to the SF servers. The SF Laboratories provided the materials necessary for Triborg to create cybernetic bodies for each one. 
Soon the downloads were complete. The Cyber Lin Kuei had been reformed. But because Sub-Zero had forever sullied the clan's name, Triborg decided to begin anew. He would henceforth be known as the leader of the deadliest clan in all the realms, the Takunan. Having learned that Outworld was now protected by the Mortal Kombat Tournament, Bo Raicho returned to defend his homeworld. He was no friend of Kotal Khan, but no realm deserved subjugation. Bo Raicho began training Outworld warriors for the fight to come. With Bo Raicho's fighting skills and leadership, Outworld repelled the Earth Realm aggressors. His former friend Raiden had been denied. Standing over Shinnok, Tremor reveled in his power. Much had changed since the Black Dragon's excursion to the Dream Realm. Kano had sent Tremor's team there to retrieve a psych bomb to be used in Kano's theft of Shinnok's amulet. Exposure to that realm had increased Tremor's power and expanded his mind. He would evolve into an Earth Elemental, a demigod whose power would rival that of Raiden and Fujin. With Melina executed, Tanya's dreams of a free Edenia seemed dead as well. She and the other rebels were fugitives from Kotal Khan's justice. Her fellow Edenian, Rain, had proved a powerful ally and a satisfactory consort, but he had become useless to her. In exchange for leniency, Tanya informed the Khan of Rain's whereabouts. Imprisoned but alive, Tanya's plotting began anew. Remorse for his role in resurrecting Shinnok weighed heavily upon Scorpion's soul. His desire for vengeance had brought Earthrealm to the brink of destruction. Scorpion offered to perform Harakiri to atone for his offense. But Raiden suggested a more productive alternative. Instead of death, Raiden sentenced Scorpion to life. He imbued Scorpion with a small portion of the Jinsei's power, linking him to Earthrealm's essence. Scorpion and his Shirai Ryu clan would protect the Jinsei and Earthrealm forever. Grandmaster Sub-Zero knew his Lin Kuei clan would need more than martial arts to stave off future threats to Earthrealm. In the frozen reaches of Outworld, he found the answer. A female frost dragon with a clutch of eggs. With his ability to freeze, Sub-Zero hatched the dragonlings. They accepted their Lin Kuei masters and their training as combat mounts. With a force of dragon riders, the Lin Kuei's ferocity became legend. None dared risk conflict with Earthrealm. With Shinnok defeated, Takeda and his father set out to find his mother's killer, a member of the Red Dragon Clan. Special Forces Tech enabled Takeda to locate the clan's base and disguise himself and Kenshi as they infiltrated their ranks. Deep within the mountain stronghold, Takeda discovered an actual dragon, a prisoner of the clan. The creature used its magic to divine the murderer's name, then transport Takeda and Kenshi to a faraway cave. There they discovered a man encased in a stalagmite. The dragon had said this man would also have reason to confront Su Chin's killer. Takeda began to free him. Exhausted by her ordeals, 
Sonya slipped into a deep sleep and began to dream. Kano held Jax and Cassie hostage. He made Sonya choose who would live and who would die. Seeing no way to free them both, she chose Cassie and screamed as Kano killed Jax before her eyes. Still screaming, she was awoken by Johnny. He had horrific news. Jax was dead by an assassin's bullet. Earthrealm belonged to Shinnok. It became the staging area from which he would finish his war on the Elder Gods, which began eons ago. The Elder Gods had lied to the denizens of the realms. They were not individual beings, but merely parts of a greater collective known as the One Being. Shinnok would merge the realms and awaken him. Whole once more, the One Being devoured the Elder Gods. Shinnok watched with satisfaction. This reality had finally come to an end. After Shinnok's defeat, Reptile was ordered to Earthrealm by Kotal Khan to assess the damage. Such intel could prove useful in future conflicts. Stumbling upon a collapsed cavern, exposed during the crisis, Reptile was shocked to see raptors emerging from within. Unlike the rest of his race, these raptors had never left Earthrealm for the doomed realm of Zaterra, and thus had remained safe and hidden. Alone no more, Reptile vowed to remain with his rediscovered people and reclaim their Earthrealm homeland. After millennia of fending off Earthrealm's enemies, Raiden began to wonder if defense was the best path to peace. In a change of tactics, Raiden and the Shirai Ryu attacked Kotal Khan's armies before they could rebuild. They decimated the Emperor's forces, leaving Outworld at their mercy. The victorious Raiden claimed dominion over Outworld. The first of many threats to Earthrealm had been removed. Quan Chi had long been a servant of Shinnok. His role in freeing him from imprisonment had not gone unnoticed by the Elder Gods. Shinnok was no longer a threat, but Quan Chi's actions had given rise to a new power. After much deliberation, the Elder Gods contrived a plan to rebalance this power before it grew further. Free will was burned from Quan Chi's soul and replaced with a single directive. He must kill Raiden. Overcome with exertion, Melina collapsed and felt her soul gliding through the ether. She awoke in an incubation chamber. Nearby were countless others, each containing an exact copy of her. Melina found she could read each being's mind and they hers. They quickly realized the benefit of so many fierce warriors sharing one mind. As they plotted revenge on their enemies, the architect of the Melina's awakening laughed quietly. With Shinnok defeated, Liu Kang explored the Nether Realm, a world that, without Shinnok's controlling power, had descended into chaos. Liu Kang was no sorcerer or elder god, but his fighting skill was more than enough to beat Nether Realm's demons into submission. Liu Kang realized that Nether Realm was his for the taking, and that ruling appealed to him. 
he would assume Shinnok's throne and ponder the conquering of other realms. After Shinnok's defeat, Kung Lao found himself trapped in the Nether Realm, his soul corrupted by Quan Chi's dark magic. There he would have remained but for the aid of his cousin Kung Jin. Together, their Shaolin strength repelled the evil sufficiently enough for Kung Lao to escape that dark realm and control his inner demons. Compromised but not lost, Kung Lao now exists as an agent of vengeance. He will show evil no mercy. For his role in saving Earthrealm, Kung Jin's family created a statue in his likeness for inclusion in Raiden's revered collection. But Kung Jin's thoughts were with one no longer accepted by his family, Kung Lao. Kung Jin set out to locate his cousin and found him in the Nether Realm. Raiden believed Kung Lao's tortured soul was forever trapped without Quang Ji's magic to free him. But Kung Jin knew the Shaolin were stronger than any sorcerer's spell. He vowed to help Kung Lao fight off the evil that had remade him. Kotal Khan returned to Outworld determined to rebuild his forces. But Raiden defeated him in a surprise attack and claimed dominion over Outworld. Desperate, the Emperor called upon the Elder Gods to aid in preserving his sovereignty. They granted his request, invoking the most sacred of contests. Now, once every decade, Kotal Khan must enlist his greatest defenders to face Raiden's challengers in mortal combat. Kitana found herself walking the streets of a magnificent, shining city. This was Edenia, a realm freed from Outworld, and Kitana was its beautiful queen. This was the timeline unaltered by Raiden. Earthrealm had been destroyed by Shao Kahn, but Kitana had survived Armageddon and united the other realms to destroy him. Long-lasting peace was the result. Kitana awoke from this vision to find herself in the Nether Realm. She was not the queen of Edenia, but a revenant of Hell, and she hated Raiden for it. Having defeated Shinnok, Kenshi joined Takeda on his quest to avenge his mother Su Chin's murder. Their travels took them to a cave where he and Takeda freed a man, Taven, encased in a stalagmite. Kenshi told Taven that his brother, Dagon, was the founder of the Red Dragon Assassin Clan. Dagon had not only murdered Su Chin, but his and Taven's parents as well. Together, Kenshi, Takeda, and Taven lay siege to the Red Dragon base. Dagon fell victim to Kenshi's rage. Su Chin's murder had been avenged. No. No. Kano had always been a survivor, but even he would one day succumb to fate. His ideals of ruthless terror would die with him unless he could pass on his methods to a new generation. Combat, weapons, high-tech sabotage, torture, all would be part of the curriculum. But before his students could learn his techniques, Kano would beat the weakness out of them. They would understand, or die trying. Kano's first pupil? His own son. Class was now in session.
Johnny Cage's life had turned out to be stranger than any science fiction film, but he knew the final scene was approaching. With Raiden's direction, Johnny was able to sail to Shang Tsung's abandoned island fortress, where his adventure had begun to contemplate his future. Amid the rubble, Johnny found an ancient tome. Its pages revealed that Shang Tsung had unraveled the secret to Edenian long life. Johnny Cage's retirement would have to wait. After Shinnok's fall, the hospitalized Johnny Cage asked Jax to fill in as leader of his squad. Jax agreed. It was a chance to spend time with and protect Jackie. Boarding their transport after a routine mission, Jax's greatest fears were realized as the mercenary Aaron Black sprung from the cargo bay and fired on the young heroes. Fortunately for Jackie and company, Jax's quick reflexes and bulletproof arms deflected the assassin's rounds. Jax quickly subdued Black, then slipped into shock as a red stain engulfed his chest. After his incursion into Earthrealm, Kotal Khan had become a prime target of Special Forces surveillance. Jackie Briggs was assigned to monitor his activity. Jackie followed Kotal Khan to an equatorial jungle, where he entered a hidden pyramid. Inside, he retrieved a glowing crystal skull. Jackie attacked the Emperor and raced away with the object. Jackie was praised for her work, but couldn't help thinking her interference was what Kotal Khan had wanted all along. The Shokan had become outcasts for refusing to aid either side in the Outworld Civil War. But with the conflict over, Prince Goro decided to re-enter the political landscape. Kotal Khan's armies were weak from years of battle. Melina's rebels were scattered. It was an easy matter for the Shokan to seize control. The newly crowned Emperor Goro had his rivals exterminated. No Ashtek, Kaitin, Edenian, or Tarkatan would usurp his throne. For many years, Farah and Tor were a symbiotic pair, as is natural with their species. But that bond was broken when Farah came of age and began the Great Transformation. Farah Tor returned to the Tarkatan Wastes, where Farah began her metamorphosis. The process took an agonizing three outworld years, during which time Tor withered and died. Now a brute, Farah will be chosen by a rider. A new symbiotic pairing will be forged and new battles will be won. Nearly 150 years ago, Aaron Black had been hired by Shang Tsung to assassinate an Earthrealm warrior. In return, Shang had slowed Black's aging process. He could therefore afford to be patient. If an employer wanted someone dead, they would be in time. A team of young Earthrealm warriors had caused Aaron Black's current employer, Kotal Khan, much inconvenience. With the patience of a viper, Black eliminated them all. Alone once more, Ermac searched the labyrinthine corridors of Shao Kahn's old fortress, searching for the source of a faint voice calling to him. Suddenly, a wisp of dust brushed his chest, wrenching free one of his many souls. The dust took the form of a man 
who began to consume soul after soul. As the weakened Ermac stared helplessly, he recognized the mysterious figure, the sorcerer Shang Tsung, returned from death. Devorah's ultimate plan was not to destroy Shinnok, but to enslave him. She implanted larvae, her young, in his body to gestate. Having consumed the godlike power of their immortal host, Devorah's offspring were unlike any Kaitin ever born. As they matured, they spread like locusts throughout the realms. Her army of Kaitin super drones brought glory to Devorah, their beloved queen, and destruction to all. Cassie Cage's impressive victory over Shinnok led Raiden to give her a new important task. Hunting down a soul stealer. Cassie did not have to be told that the suspect could be a resurrected Shang Tsung. Having tracked him from the site of his last known assault, Cassie confronted the withered old man. He fought desperately but was ultimately defeated. As the old man lay dying before her, Cassie asked his name. With a mixture of sadness and relief, he whispered, Shujinko. I didn't ask for this war, but once it started, I had to finish it. Hands down, Kronika was the toughest enemy I ever faced. All my tactics, my training meant nothing against a god like her. In the end, it was a battle of wills. It never occurred to me that for winning, I'd get her hourglass. At first, I hoped to right every wrong in history. But then I figured out doing it meant I'd have to decide the fates of billions. Picking who lives and who dies for eternity? It was going to kill my soul. I'd end up no better than those old men who sent us off to war, not giving a shit about what would happen. And that's not the man I want to be. It's time to walk away for good this time, leaving the pain and the ugliness behind. After all I've been through, I've earned a little peace. Kronika was dead, the hourglass taken, and Adenia's future mine to command. I had obtained all I had wanted. All except that which I had wanted most, to know the true story of my parentage. That I was a bastard I knew. Born of an illicit affair between the Edenian god Argus and a mortal woman, Amara. But what I didn't know until the hourglass showed me was that I and my mother were both victims. She hadn't abandoned me. Thanks to my father's lies, she had thought me stillborn. I was stolen away and left to rot among peasants while my mother died from grief. Argus hid his scandal and his shame by killing the one person who ever loved me. For that, he will die. As will his sons, Taven and Dagon. His beloved wife, Delia, she I will let live. Let her heart break as my mother's did, as she weeps over her children's corpses. With the hourglass won, my thoughts turned toward my sister. I was born from her flesh. We shared the same blood. I wanted us to be family. But she wanted me dead. I was not her twin. I was a monstrosity. 
how horrified she would be to know that I've used Kronika's power to take her place. Under my parents' adoring gaze, I ruled the realms as Conum of Time. My sister's friends, <laughs> her lover, they cherish me. Katana is forgotten, her name buried in the sands of history. Yet even I can't reign forever. Like all queens, I need an heir. Someone to carry on in my name and see my will done across the eons. Unlike my sister, my daughter regards me with awe and wonder. To her, I am no abomination. I am perfection. Kronika's power was mine. Mine to share with the tribe. In the new timeline I built, Tarkatans would be slaves no more. We would rule. We easily took a denier, then Outworld and the Netherrealm. Last, we challenged Earthrealm in mortal combat. Within a thousand years, all realms fell to Tarkatan blades, and we have not run out of meat since. <laughs> For the second time in my life, I kicked the living shit out of an immortal. My prize? The hourglass. Now I can change history. Talk about redonkulous cosmic power. But despite what you may think about Beverly Hills Girls, that is so not my style. The chosen one thing is for the Liu Kangs and Katanas of the world. In the next timeline, all I want is to be a model soldier to command the next generation of special forces. We were born to defend Earthrealm. Just like the heroes that inspired me. My parents. Okay, so there's one more thing I want. My mom back. Not just for me, but for dad. He and my mom deserve a happily ever after retirement. <laughs> we'll never know how different things were the last time around. But we'll be together. A family. And that's all that matters. Though I first denied their truth, eventually I realized the wisdom of Liu Kang's words. There is virtue greater than my mother's desired balance. Good must be allowed to flourish. But no matter how I reshaped time, Rooting out evil proved impossible. Though freed from want, mortals still killed each other. Divided by realm and race, they easily justified their hate. Hubris, greed, envy. To appreciate my gifts, mortal sins must be cleansed. Which is why I baptize the realms with fire. For eons, mortals will battle evil, eventually achieving victory. And when they emerge from the darkness, they will be humbled, eager to embrace the light. Vermin. That is the humanoid word for the chitin and our fellow insectoids. But with the hourglass, this one can review history and give lie to that myth. Humanoids live to kill. Without a common enemy to fight, they divide, destroy each other. Insectoids live to survive. No conflicts divide us. We build upon each other. Kin does not kill kin. So tell this one. Who are the vermin? Time for this one to write a more just history. One in which pesky humanoids finally take the places they deserve. Scrambling beneath our feet.
Truth be told, it surprised me, putting down Kronika. <laughs> Not bad for a scrawny kid from Wicket. Now that it's done, now what? I don't cotton to being Lord of Time, stuck on some island at the edge of nowhere. No, Aaron Black likes being in the thick of it. Seems to me time ought to stay all mashed up. It's been a hell of a ride. Gotta keep these thrills coming. Which means making sure no one gets a chance to screw this up. Once the hourglass gets dumped in the sea of blood, ain't no one ever shaping history again. What happens next? <laughs> hell if I know. And that's just the way I like it. Sub-Zero dismissed me. Raiden dismissed me. They all did, even Kronika. Until I froze the smug looks off all their faces and became the Lin Kuei's new Grand Master. The Hourglass offers even greater prospects. With it, I'll mold history to carve my name on everyone's lips. But even its power has limits. My vision can be upended by people's individual choices. Unlike Kronika, I won't let these imperfections fester until time itself must be restarted. The Lin Kuei will be my time warriors. Traveling through history, they'll get rid of those whose actions threaten my vision. From now on, no one will overlook my greatness. I'll never be dismissed again. As the new Keeper of Time, I was overwhelmed by my responsibilities. Who was I to design the destinies of mortals? As their protector, I had spent eons safeguarding them. But while I had grown to appreciate mortals deeply, I understood precious little about their daily existence. So I used the hourglass to live hundreds of thousands of lifetimes, to span the possibilities of realm, race, gender, and faith. Most importantly, I learned the simple joy of ending each day in a warm embrace of family. Humbled by my new wisdom, I bend the arc of history, not to my will, but to the service of those who must live it. While it is beyond my power to guarantee outcomes, I will give mortals the chance to have better, more peaceful lives. Kronika's endless cycle of rewinding and restarting timelines had destroyed my spirit. But she refused to grant me either freedom or death. So I took her power to do what she could not. I would create one final perfect timeline. Then I would rest. But the task was more difficult than I imagined. Mortals refused to follow the paths I set for them. Timeline after timeline, my frustration grew. I began to understand why Kronika had been driven to madness. Perhaps mortals do not need a Lord of Time. I will sacrifice my body and my mantle to re-sculpt the sand so that the hourglass runs itself. And for the first time in all eternity, I can rest in peace. The hourglass was there for the taking, and I could think of only one thing. Dad. Killed. Made a revenant. Resurrected. Since coming back, Dad's never forgotten the things he did for Quan Chi. I thought with the hourglass, I could fix all that. And I can. Dad won't die in that massacre. 
he'll never be a revenant. But turns out, what my guts told me since the start of all of this is true. Dad and Mom got together when he was in treatment. He doesn't suffer. They don't meet. And I'll never be born. And you know what? I'm good with that. I'm not just protecting Dad. I'm protecting everyone he'll risk his life to save. In my shoes, it's what he would do. It's what a Briggs does. I know you'll never hear this, but... Goodbye, Dad. I love you. I held the power to shape time and destiny, but I was lost. Which Khan should be restored? My lover Kotal, or my loyal friend Katana? I heard Kotal's voice call out to me. Follow your heart, Jade. So I let my heart lead, and it took me to an unexpected place. A faint memory of home and... my mother. I restored my parents in Adenia, building a new era without Shao Kahn. And what a happy childhood I enjoyed. But as I matured, I sensed that I was no ordinary child. Kronika's power dwelled within me, calling me to a higher purpose. When I came of age, I ascended to godhood as the protector of Adenia. Armed with the knowledge of past timelines, I challenged Shinnok and Cetrion. Without Kronika's children pitting the realms against each other, all could be at peace. And remain so under my watchful eyes. All I wanted was to fix my life. Now I have the power to fix history. Raiden warns me, I can't fix everything. Change too much and I could lose Vera. Lose Jackie. But this power is bigger than us. If I think only about helping myself, what kind of officer am I? What kind of man? I've been lucky. My family and I have lived the American dream. But most people who look like me haven't had that chance. I owe it to them to put things right. And I'm not waiting centuries for people to get woke when I've got the power to speed things up. I don't get it right the first time, or the second, or even the third. But eventually, I knock it out of the damn park. My family's back. The world's a better place for everyone. Turns out, you can have everything. Anyone who says you can't needs to dream bigger. This whole adventure, capital I insane. I marry Sonia? I have a kid who actually likes me? Inquiring minds want to know how the hell that happens. So I get the hourglass to show me how kicking Shinnok's ass, which I did beautifully, turned me from Hollywood megastar into global icon. So far, so good. Until I let that fame screw me up. Didn't hit rock bottom until I saw just how badly I'd let down my little girl. I finally got what old man me was saying about needing humility and maturity. But I also knew I couldn't get there without living the same life he did. So, I restored the timeline just as it was. With one tiny little difference. Sonya's story won't end underneath the rubble of some busted up netherrealm castle. Because Johnny Cage flicks always have happy endings. This was my dream vacation. I saw mayhem, mutilation. It was all a gas for a while. But these nincompoops, 
They didn't really get me. Not even that pretty boy, Ninja Mime. Good night, sweet prince. I'd finish just about everyone worth finishing in Earthrealm and Outworld, even lovable old Netherrealm. I was a lonely heart in search of new friends. But as luck would have it, I had just the gizmo to find them. And oh, the hourglass spoiled me. Havoc and I are going to be bosom buddies. And what's that? My new pal knows an entire realm devoted to law and order, and he exists solely to disrupt it. Well, I say, he and I need to get busy. Meet the League of Misunderstood Maniacs. We're giving Order Realm an enema. And when we're done, who knows where we'll crash next? Maybe we'll come to your house and slip live grenades under your pillow. Maybe we'll gut your favorite pet. Or maybe we'll just break your TV right now! <laughs> Shit sounds cool, right? The power to control time, immortality, destiny. Well, let me tell you. This job sucks. There's no pay, no weekends, and your shift lasts forever. The only smart play is to turn back time and give it back to Kronika. Bet your ass she's grateful too. I didn't ask her for much, just a chance to take out anyone who's ever tried to burn me. Black Dragon was always more of a gig than a brotherhood anyway. Now I get to live large, enjoying the simple life of a well-to-do family man. And if Shao Kahn or Shinnok ever come knocking, my family and I'll take them down. Just like I took down Shinnok's mom. <laughs> I'd cut a lot of deals, but none spiffier than this. I spared Kronika, and she gave up the hourglass. The power to shape time and history to my liking? Oh, oh, oh fuck yeah. I set it up so that everything came up aces. Every desire, every wish, every whim I ever had, done and done. But I realized pretty quick I'd suck the fun out of things. Without a fight, winning was worthless. Nah, the fun wasn't in the having. It was in the getting. So, I changed things up one more time. Now, what I want is always just out of reach. I gotta earn it. I score lots of wins, but not always. And when I do win, Oh, it's something to say. As I gazed upon the hourglass, I knew what I must do. Restore my homeland Adinia to existence. Experiencing Adinia's verdant lands for the first time, I've never felt such joy. <laughs> but that joy was short-lived. Adinia's traditions, its languages, its culture, all were completely foreign, having been forbidden to me by Shao Kahn. I fit in with my people no better than a Tarkatan. The truth was hard. Though Adinian by blood, I am not an Adinian. I am an Outworlder. Not only that, I am Outworld's Khan. I will use ancient Adinian teachings to make myself a better sovereign. With them, I will fulfill my life's mission to better all of Outworld's people, including Adinia. Kronika made big promises. Not big enough, though, for what my people suffered. Our hands built the Colosseum, the palace. We were slaves. 
We served or we died. Every coin I took from Shao Kahn's tributes outworld owed my people. Not that my Naknaran brothers and sisters joined arms to help me. No. Every great treasure I have won, I have won myself. I do not wait for handouts. I take what I desire. That is why I am now Khan. Netherrealm, Earthrealm, Orderrealm, Chaos Realm. I want them all. And I will take them by right of mortal combat. <laughs> In her last moments, Kronika tried to tempt me. Spare her, and she would rewrite history. With Jade as my queen, I would rule an eternal Oshtek empire that spanned all the realms. But Kronika never understood the Oshtek heart. Our lives are cloth, woven from choice and circumstance. Pull even one thread, that cloth is torn asunder and made worthless. Now that I am tasked with keeping time, others beg me to have their histories rewritten. But as long as the hourglass is mine, I will not shape destiny in any one being's favor. History will play out as determined by its players. Let the sands fall where they may. Of course I defeated Kronika. And when I did, there was only one thing I wanted to do with the hourglass. Undo the defeat of my ancestor, the Great Kung Lao. In my timeline, the Great Kung Lao is the undisputed Mortal Kombat champion. Earthrealm never loses another tournament. For generations, his example inspires millions to join the White Lotus Society and defend Earthrealm. They in turn inspire rebels to overthrow Shao Kahn in Outworld. The realms make peace. Until, inevitably, a more powerful enemy comes along and finds Earthrealm backed by Kung Lao, immortal lord of time and warrior supreme. Beat that, Liu Kang. What does it mean to wield the sands of time? To be the chosen one? It means making choices that break your heart. For the protection of all, I shared Kronika's power with the people I trust and love most. Together, we replaced the Elder Gods that Cetrion had betrayed and became eternal guardians of the realms. Still, my heart longs for a simpler life. The kind one cannot have being the chosen one, let alone an Elder God. What Kitana and I would not give for those simple pleasures. Hmm. Perhaps in another timeline, they could be ours. Before I was Nightwolf, I was a fool named Greycloud. Born into poverty, I resented my ancestors for giving up our future to colonizers. Kano offered a way out promising riches if I stole my tribe's most sacred relics. I was sorely tempted. But then I realized that by saving myself, I'd be surrendering the last of my people's dignity. For the first time, I defended the Matoka's pride. Kano was unimpressed. But as I lay dying, the Great Spirit came to me. By rejecting Kano, I had proven worthy of an ancient honor. The mantle of Nightwolf, legendary defender of the Matoka. Now, as I inherit Kronaka's mantle, the way before me is split. 
The Keeper of Time cannot also be my tribe's defender. Which path do I choose? Even here, at time's beginning, the Great Spirit's wisdom guides me. She calls me to restore history. The Matoka, I must leave to another. To the next Night Wolf. Like all our sacred relics, the Night Wolf mantle belongs to the tribe. Any Matokan can prove worthy of its power. I enjoy imagining who will defend us next. Kronika said I would lead the new era's deadliest clan, but she made such promises to many. She could never keep them all. So I betrayed her before she could betray me. When Kronika's sands fused with my shadows, my ambitions grew. Why be a ruler of mortals when I could rule destiny itself? Mortals resisted but could not stop my blanketing history in gold endless night. All is dark. All are shadows. I have had many names. Now I am become death, destroyer of worlds. Kronika had manipulated me. In timeline after timeline, she stoked my anger and fed my arrogance, turning me against Liu Kang. My nose rubbed in my own fallibility. I was humbled. How could I be worthy to accept the mantle as Keeper of Time? I thought that to control time and destiny fairly, I must purge myself of all human emotion. Summoning the strongest magic, I burned away my fear and anger. All that remained was pure logic but I learned quickly that the logical choice is often not the just choice, unless tempered by compassion and heart. Logic leads to decisions no better than those based on anger or fear. Now I am once more at time's beginning, but on this journey through history, I will infuse logic with love. In this timeline, I will finally achieve peace for the citizens of all realms. OCP built me to serve the public trust, protect the innocent, and uphold the law. So when I found Kano dealing arms to old Detroit's gangs, I had one duty, apprehend him. I never thought the chase would take me to a different universe let alone end in a fight with Kano's protector, Kronika. And when Kronika went down, something unexpected happened. Her power washed over me, sweeping away the limits my designers had put on my programming. For the first time, I saw the depth of OCP's corruption. It wasn't just a couple of greedy executives. It was the whole damned company. OCP is making a killing playing both sides, selling to cops and criminals. When I get home, I am bringing them to justice. It will not be fast or easy. OCP has too much cash and too much firepower for me to clean things up alone. It is a good thing this will be an interagency effort. Welcome to the future of law enforcement. I made my future self a promise that I would not stay mired in the past. But once I controlled the hourglass, I could not keep that promise. I had to restore my family. Over and over, I crafted the sands of time. Yet in every new timeline, my family's tragedy repeated. I was powerless to change it. After eons, I learned the truth. Kronika was not alone. 
She was one of many titans, each more powerful and ancient than the Elder Gods. It is they who conspire against us. Myself, my family, we are pawns in their game. Why? I do not know. But I will find out. And then, I will have vengeance. Kornika's power overwhelmed me, such that I would have been driven mad had I not spent centuries mastering the dark powers beyond the grasp of ordinary mortals. Now, I am the master of time and fate. But Kronika's fall proves that even Titans can be defeated. Though my new power lets me roam infinite timelines and feast upon the souls of billions, I am vulnerable. To survive, I must return to the shadows, avoid confrontation, and work my will through the hands of others. More specifically, through the hands of my fellow Titans. These monstrous beings are applied easily by appealing to their greed, vanity, and fear. Through them, every soul in eternity bends to my influence. In my new era, morality will be exposed as the illusion it is. The cunning will prosper, while the good suffer. This is a word of Shang Tsung. Have a nice day. I conquered history like I conquered realms, merging billions of potential timelines into a singularity. The universe has been remade in my image. And all is as it should be. The weak serve the strong. The strong compete for power, wealth, and my favor in mortal combat. For centuries, the tournament's champion has gone undefeated. That champion is me! Hail the conqueror! Hail Shao Kahn! <laughs> A lifetime of battle prepared me to conquer Kronika, but as the keeper of time, I must be a creator, not a conqueror. I thought of the many sons and daughters I've lost in battle through the years, imagined a better destiny for my kin. A history where the Shokan build, rather than destroy. The results were catastrophic. <laughs> Comfort and ease extinguished the dragon's fire that once lit the heart of every Shokan. They became weak, corrupted fools. The timeline had to start again. War, for all its tragedies, is the forge of Shokan will. My people will fight, many will die, but I will lead us to victory. And in the aftermath, the dragon's fire will blaze in Shokan hearts for eternity. Of all his daughters, Shao Kahn made me deadliest. He pulled me from the gutter, bound me to the blood code, made me fight for recognition. Perhaps he will commend me when I bind the blood code to the sands of time. Now a blood god, I demand more than Shao Kahn's recognition. I demand worship. I'll have temples, ministers, acolytes, prayers, and sacrifices. 
Rivers of blood shed in my name, purging heretics who dare to reject me. <laughs> How proud Shao Kahn is now. How proud and how obedient. For the only thing better than my master's recognition is to make him beg for mine. All will worship me, or there will be blood. In the beginning, Shao Kahn invaded Adinia, <laughs> murdered my husband, Jareth, and forced me to be his bride. That's the story. <laughs> but it's a lie. One I told, lest I lose the faith of my subjects, or of my daughter, Kitana. The truth? Jared was weak, destined to fail. By betraying him, I gained a better lover, and the ultimate weapon. A conqueror to unite all realms, and put them at my beck and call. Then, Kronika upended history. And I found myself confronting a future in which I had been dead for centuries. My so-called family had failed me in every way. Katana broke my heart worst. Instead of uniting the realms, she sought to liberate them. As if the wasteland savages could ever be more than serfs. Ever the caring mother, I had to discipline my little princess. And after that, I had to discipline a titan. Now, I have defeated Kronika, outgrown Shao Kahn and Kitana. I have no more family, no more rivals, no more gods. I sit above them all, on a throne that unites all realms and all realities. Whoever you are, wherever you are, when you are before me, kneel. For I am Sindel, Empress of Time. And you exist only to serve me. None of us saw Kronika coming. Not even Raiden. But with the Hourglass, I can see every terror in the realms. Any sane person would run screaming at the sight of them. It's my duty to take out these ancient, all-powerful beings. But to do that, I need an elite squad of immortal gods. Turns out, to make a new god, you've got to destroy an old one. So I hunt the oldest I can find, an omni-deity from a forgotten, unpronounceably named realm. It's the fight of my life, but I've got something this god doesn't family. In my past, these were the people who mattered most. Now, they're my god squad. My daughter, my brother in arms, my goddaughter. <sighs> yep, even Johnny. But only because Cassie insisted. And maybe I missed him a little. Just don't let him know that. I'd snuffed out every devil in hell until Netherrealm Invader showed up to piss me off. It would have cost a lot of power fighting them alone, but they were being hunted by my new friends. Call them Fire and Ice. They argue constantly, which is why I usually like to roll solo. But when it comes to killing demonic assholes, these guys don't flinch. I can get along with that. The Grandmasters tipped me off to Kronika. Said she was resurrecting some netherrealm god named Shinnok. But that's not happening on my watch. Kronika's just as much a devil as Malvosia. Both make promises, both tell lies. Both underestimate me. That's why I'll make a new hell for them. 
where they can burn together for eternity. <laughs> the Nether Realm's locked down, but there's still eight hells left to purge. It's time to bring up the reserves. I made choices in my life that sealed my fate. I'm beyond redemption. But even the damned are capable of doing some good. So all you devils out there, making false promises and spewing lies, we're coming. And you don't have a chance in hell. Once I gained the hourglass, my first thought was to rewrite history and redeem the Lin Kuei's honor. But then I thought of Bihan, his life consumed by evil. Before I could redeem my clan, I had to redeem my brother. With the hourglass, I wound back time to our childhood. I studied every second of Bihan's life to understand why. Why he embraced Sector's corruption. Why he reveled in the vile power given to him by Quan Chi. Armed with that knowledge, I re-sculpted the sands of time. I changed Bihan's life and unfroze his heart. Now, we are comrades, not rivals. Together, as joint Grand Masters, we lead the Lin Kuei in defense of Earthrealm. It was an epic accident that brought the Terminator here, rather than to his own Earth's past. But it didn't take long for him to adapt. He figured that terminating Kronika and taking her hourglass gave him the best chance at achieving his mission objective. Destroying humanity so that the machines prevail. Turns out the hourglass wasn't the ultimate weapon. No matter how many times the Terminator rebooted history, the war between humans and the machines always ended the same, with their mutual destruction. He realized this war was a losing game, the only way to win was not to play. So the Terminator used the Hourglass to build a future where machines and humans don't fight. They cooperate. The Terminator knew that to preserve this future, no one else could learn about the Hourglass. The information stored in his machine mind was dangerous. It had to be eliminated. That's why the Terminator threw himself into the infinite depths of the Sea of Blood. No one would ever find him, or unlock the Hourglass's secrets. If you could ask him about it, he'd tell you he made the only logical choice. But in my book, that machine's a hero. <laughs> <laughs>